Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just 48 entries yesterday, 14 through. Uh, Kevin Frame, cheat leader on 268. That's Robbie Bull jumped out of the high roll and jumped in the main, got bagged up 145. That's a nice stack to be having. Uh, Cassandra Young making it through. Tom grinding away as well. So well done to those. GK making it through with 57. Dave Doherty got 60. So expecting a decent day today. Don't think we'll hit the heady heights of last year's numbers, but uh, Edinburgh folk will turn out during the day, and we are just starting. Uh, earlier finish than normal yesterday, Jay, what did you do? Just slept, went back to the hotel, <laughs> had a half a roast chicken, some spinach, and uh, yeah, went... Uh, a bit of Popeye. Yeah, yeah, a bit of Popeye. Yeah, you. I went straight to bed, went straight to bed, alarm went off, jumped out of bed. <laughs> and thought, well, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. Afternoon all, how are you doing Razor Kev? Uh, WPT did a poker cruise, GKPT cruise sounds a great idea. <laughs> uh, how, did they, how did they work? Did, I have did, no idea. Did Ladbrokes just, did Ladbrokes just like hire they're, they're, a ship? They're new ones now, they've got the WPT cruise, happening happened last week. So, so did, did they just hire the ship? I don't know, I don't know. How does it work? You can't hire the ship, it'd be absolutely millions. How does that even work? Anyway, so we're off. Here comes the water boy. I wonder if he's got the hole of the moon. Mr. Rob Duras coming to the table, bringing the water for the team. Look at that, thanks very much. Stevie Key sat there. He's not even sat on, t on the feature. What a guy. Just <laughs> what a guy. He's just not sat there. Just uh, Anybody want water? Anybody? <laughs> Early stages, 200 big blind poker. How long was the Frogger this happened this morning? Uh, Frogger was actually all right. I was, uh, I timed it well. I come out of petrol station with my coffee and the traffic lights, this side was stopped. So I walked out halfway in the road, Ooh. waited five seconds and yeah. uh, was across. Because you can wait at them lights sometimes for six, seven minutes. Literally, they take six, seven minutes yep. to change. Yep. All was good. So we're off for day 1B. Plenty to give away. I don't know if you've got the spreadsheet. Have you got the spreadsheet? Just pulling it up now. There we go. Worst thing that happened yesterday was that Scotty Shefflin had the game of his life. Yep. Best round he's ever had What's around tenor? Augusta. Can't believe it. Tenner for me. Yep. I was pretty confident with Brooks Kepka, even though it was like Scotty Scheffler was favourite to be first round leader, and I thought Brooks would do it. I just can't believe where I pulled Moronk from Tower but plus six. Moronk. I don't know where you pulled him from. I think he's second last, isn't he? Yep. And somebody who was about eighty. He's not. He's, he's last. Anyway, full day poker, and we will get the table sound sorted at the break, so we'll keep rabbiting on. Uh, we had a slight crash just as as, as we started for some reason, but uh, we will get the table sound on. Oh, Rob Duras is at the feature. He's wandered all the way around now. He missed the big blind, that's what he did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got everybody water. So early stages of day day one B, it will be uh, quite a poker to go along. We don't see will any see any. What well, we could do, obviously, could see dramas, but uh, big stack poker at the minute. Well done to Ankit yesterday for winning the high roller. Yeah, great performance. Dominant performance. And a great little story about him and Dave Doherty just having a chat in the airport of the Irish Open. Remember a few years ago, I think I saw you in Malta 2019, I was never going to go to Malta, and I was at a yeah. cash game with my mate, night before he goes, we're off to Malta tomorrow, book a flight, come out with us, got the, the hotel with uh, a CFO, yeah. went out there, done about 10k. <laughs> Thanked him for that as well. <laughs> Thanks to Malta. It, it can Thanks. go both ways. Thanks for telling me about Malta, I've just done 10k. <laughs> Spent... 500 euro on a room I never stayed in. It was uh, 
He charged you that much? I don't, I don't know how much he charged me. He wouldn't have charged me that much, but it can go both ways. It was nice to watch Hank here yesterday. <laughs> Afternoon, Gary. Gary, all about all kinds of all kinds of music festivals to go to this weekend. What's on this weekend, Pixie? There'll be some thrash metal be, to go and listen to. Glastonbury coming up, ain't it? No, we don't do that. Don't do that. He's a thrash metal uh, punk kind of guy. Like Slipknot. And absolutely. Yeah. Then we can't understand what they're saying. And they call it music. Like they're singing cheer if you're in a different country. Them lot. How did they win the Eurovision, that Lordy? Oh my word. They were like Slipknot. Lordy? Is that yeah. not the Australian singer? The, could the girl? Be. Some, could be. There's some kind of band from Finland. Will never be royal, is that one? Oh yeah, that's Lordy. Is that Lordy? I'm sure that's Lordy. Oh, there must be a different name. Something like that. They were from Finland, they were a rock band, you couldn't understand the word they said, and they won, they won the Eurovision. I had two choices this morning. Two? Two choices. At the breakfast? Breakfast, or a swim and a sauna. Why didn't you do both? Didn't have time? Didn't have time, because it was ten, ten, it was ten o'clock. I either eat, yeah, breakfast, really nice breakfast across the road in the Marriott, or I go for a swim in the sauna. I can just imagine just towering the sauna with a plate of food, eating his breakfast. <laughs> just taking me, taking me Agnes into the, into the sauna. What are you doing with that? Agnes and sauna, Agnes and, Agnes and bacon, tell me. What did you go so for? So which one won? I'm guessing breakfast. No. No. Went for the other. Actually, it went for a swim, walk past, Jordy Mike's on the treadmill. What are you doing? It's the only bit of work I've done all week. <laughs> he was on the treadmill. Oh, was he? He was, yeah, he was. Yes, so we ended up breakfast or a swim and sauna. Oh, yes. Swim and sauna one. A change man. <laughs> Afternoon, Chris. Chris Ankin watching on Facebook. I hope things are good. Full day's coverage till round about half twelve. Full twelve hours of live streaming today. At least Dennis Shaw would be happy. Good old Dennis. Good old Dennis. Got us a drinking for the team at the other day. Eight hour day yesterday, short day, he said. Short day for you. Another, another short day yeah, for another the team. short day. <laughs> Eight hours. He's 10 suited for your fight. Opens to 300. Ten five across for Michael. Chucks into the defending, the big. Oh, and then Chrissy, afternoon. Afternoon. Bradford City Football Club. BC. Could not be Could be Bristol City. City, yeah. Birmingham City. Yeah. A lot of BCs. A lot of BCs. Far too many. Just continue for all your fight. Barnsley a crap. Birmingham Football Club. <laughs> Birmingham are getting relegated. Well we're we're already relegated. We're already down. Did you see? Oh no. I'm not being funny, but did you see the worst penalty decision in the history of football on Tuesday night? Champions League? Roth when West Brom versus Rotherham United. No. You have to watch it. Have to watch you it. You have to watch okay. it. It is the worst penalty decision I have ever seen in the history of football. Really? Really. Okay. Literally, literally. Literally. Okay. You'll get three points of us. Whoever you support, Stephen. Worse than worse than a Champions League final, yep. 2019. Worse. Liverpool Spurs. Yeah, yeah. Sissoko, that, Sissoko's got his back turned to the ball, and the ball hits him on the hand. His penalty, Champions League final. Yep, yep, yeah. Worse than that. Worse than that. Yeah, you have to watch it. Yep. 
It was the worst decision in football. <laughs> Honestly. And, I, and, we're, and, we're, and we're being relegated, so it makes no difference. We were already down. Am I talking about the handball five yards outside the box? Yes, I am. Oh, was this against my mob, West Brom? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, whenever you, whenever you play us, back, back yourselves, because I don't think we'll win, win another game all season, Rotherham. That's got to be match fixing, ain't it? It hits his head for a start. Well, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> have a quick look. <laughs> yeah, the other team should have rolled it to the keeper for the for the fair play award. You're, you're absolutely right. But no, they needed to win. They needed to cheat to win. Jay's just watched it. Yeah, that's uh, strange. Yeah. I think the Arsenal one was all right. Uh, I don't think Saka's was a penalty. I don't think, even being a Spurs fan, I don't think the uh, Gabriel pickup was a penalty. I know he's handballed it, but same in poker. Common sense. Someone bets five hundred. It says five at big blind five hundred and wants to bet five k and there's thirty k in the pot and they yeah. say five. This claw will come over and go common sense. It will go as five k. Yes. And I think sometimes, regardless of rules, you do just need to apply common sense to situations. Michael going for free bet here. One versus hijack. This deep money going to come to the party. Suiting one gapper involved. Michael's pot, small size pair board. Might just take up another sports hour, dedicate my life to a different sport, forget football. Forget football. Have you ever played anything else? Golf. Um, take up golf. Uh, have golf. lessons. Yeah, golf. You said two years ago you were going to have lessons. Yeah. How many had? Uh, zero. <laughs> I've, I've actually paid for a few though, but I still haven't had any. I remember when I signed up for the Hertfordshire, I booked some, I booked some lessons and the mistake was I booked them at like early morning, 10am, 11am, stuff like that. Paid on. No, never ended up going to any of them, unfortunately. But uh, my mate John Virgo's on TV next week. Snooker World Championship starts. It's all Ronnie's to lose, isn't it? That snooker. It's just which Ronnie turns up on whether you back him or not. I'm guessing he's always favourite. Is it that much warm in Edinburgh that guys are walking in in shorts? Yes, I, I think I think it's a comfy kind of thing, sitting in a card room that's not cold, all day. Yeah. Drove probably drove in with the heating on, heat on in the car, and uh, sitting down all day just in in your comfies. To be fair, I'm, I don't mind shorts in like minus one. They're all right in like. Mm. Legs are all right. It's when yeah. you've got your ears out and your your arms out. <laughs> the bits that get cold. <laughs> your ears out. <laughs> your cousin will be number three seed. Who's that apocalypse? We had a few in Blackpool that were going to make it and then just like hit the fringe. And 
of um, just just TV, TV snooker, same as golf. You see 150 players in golf all year, that's it. Mm. You don't see any more. It's like snooker, you only see 32. You don't see any more. Same in tennis. And darts. Same in every sport when, tower, when, right? When you go on to, yeah, but they should show a lot more, though, because there's millions of people play all these sports. Get better. Not everybody can be as good as <laughs> Scheffler. Get practising, get out on the range. <laughs> I just like to get out when it's not raining. Johnny Scott says to me, when are you coming up to Edinburgh then? When, 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 when are we going to buy another umbrella? <laughs> See, it's not my fault it rains every time we organise golf. That is Steve Vicky on the feature. You see number four with the blue hoodie and the dark bluish blackish cap. Callum Gordon as well. Then Gordon, they just say, see number one. Rob Duras in seat number eight. So the early stages of day one B. Numbers will increase during the day. Yeah, top pair, top kicker for Dan, just playing in flow, checking to the aggressor. Can have some ideas of leading now on the turn once flop goes check, check. It's still going to get a streak from Ace King, still going to get a streak from Ace Jack, stuff like Jack's in there, Ace 10 that opt to check back second pair. However, Ace 8 of Hearts, one that just complete with no draw for your fire, just dry over card to the board. And then probably hand done. So we'll start with 20,000. Blinds are 100, 160 minute levels. First break of the day will be at 220 on the stream. The Grand Nationals changed times. What, on Saturday? Yeah, it's now four o'clock. Well, you know why, don't you? No. Your treble is on at three. Ah. Uh, you got to get that out. Was it? Was go. it? Like, has it come earlier or later? It, it's earlier than you. It, it's earlier. It was five, five, it, it yeah. was five fifteen, and now they've changed it. They realised it was too late, so now they put it back to four o'clock. Okay. And it used to be three forty-five. Always was. So you've got your uh, lucky 63 to do tomorrow. Lovely. Tell the world. Your lucky 63. <clears throat> oh, oh, Mel, I'm glad I missed breakfast this morning to go swimming. The delivery will be about half past two. Just on break. Oh yes, we're on break at 2.20, Mel. I'll see you at 20 past two. Perfect as well. Good timing. I better cancel my pre-order for <laughs> Pit Boss Chicken at three o'clock. <laughs> was it busy, the pool sauna this morning? Or was it... Uh, half a dozen people. Half a dozen people. Half a dozen people. It was lovely. Really enjoyed it. It's a great sauna. You know when you get a hot sauna. I can't. I can't do saunas. Can you not? Nah, I'm not good. Good for my nasal. Good for good for my nasal passages. Very good. And the steam room. That's yeah. even worse. Really? Yeah. You don't like it at just, all. Just, just the breathing gets too hot. More the opposite. I you think. know, it could be 40 degrees in Vegas, don't you? Yeah, I know that. I know that, but I'm inside with the aircon all the time. I just don't like it when it's too hot. I'm a, I'll happily do a plunge pool. I'll happily sit in a plunge pool for a minute, but sauna. A plunge pool? Yeah. Minus two and all that malarkey. Oof. You're supposed to do that after after the sauna, aren't you? Because they do it and then just jump in one of them. But not many people have them. Good for the body. Early stages, rest of the week looks like this here in Edinburgh. 
you want to get involved, they won't be cash out satellites and the turbo tonight. So it should get a lot busier later during the day. Tomorrow is when the cup starts at 12. Uh, 2 30 sorry the main event day two starts at 12 which we'll be covering and then on sunday plenty going on day three of this day two of the cup seniors plo and the closer and don't forget the online closer on monday for grown poker two day events and we'll have plenty to give away for that yeah. during this week yeah got lots to give away we've got mystery bounty 30 euro tickets 50 euro mini high roller tickets for this sunday and then obviously close a ticket yeah. for the Monday as well. And then if you can't make Edinburgh, Manchester next week for the UKPL, the 888. And on the same weekend, Glasgow, Coventry, Luton, Portsmouth and Stockton for the 2550s. And then a couple of weeks after will be Luton GUKPT. Nice. Looks good. It is. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Stevie K opens Callum with the ace queen goes for the free bet ace of diamonds in hand seems like one that could definitely continue here there's Callum free bet coup does go for third yeah, when Stevie K is going to call here does have free to a flush and look who's just rocked up. Where's he appeared from? I know. You ever seen him before, Tower? Not seen. New lad on the scene. New lad on the scene. New lad on the scene and a nice trim. Yeah, he seems to know, know a few people. Yeah. Man's on fire. Wow, that's it. Juicy, is it? Yep. Stevie Key. Let me check calling. For sure. Well, that's 1.8. Yeah, that's all the member of 1800. Yeah. And the snap call. You can see he's been out kicked. So Cal Morial, there he is on the back. First place in the leaderboard. And when the updated leaderboard looks like this, 395 points. I said this yesterday. But if you took the difference of Cal and Gallum Gordon and you took the difference of just under 160 points, you would be good for top 10. Or top 11, but... Unbelievable. Outstanding. And look at this table there. Mm -hmm. Cal, Dan Gormley, Rob the Rass, Stevie K, Callum Gordon sitting second in the league. Yep. Tough table for early stages. Mm -hmm. Pies are coming off too. Oh, cool. Fancy that. We'll need to speak nicely to the chef. We will indeed. Thanks, Mel. We need to speak. We'll speak to the chef. He'll be all right. He was all right last time. He threw him in the oven for us. Good old Andrew, the old GM. Had a quick word for us. Straight in the oven they went. Straight in the oven. Okay, finds the goods. <laughs> the old boots raise us to 300. Dan's going to be calling with the King Queen Seward. 
Yeah, and one that we could even go for three better this stack depth. Be perfectly fine. And does go for that option as Dan. Makes it 1k to go. And Stevie K going to be licking his lips at this. Three bet, four bet size in position. Probably going to be around 2.2, 2.3k. What I expected to see. But they're going to mix in a little flat here. Setting the trap. Gets a lovely looking flop here. Guess we prefer to have the opposite aces. Both combos of ace four suited are a thing. But always happy to just call here with position. Keep our range wide. Make it look like we can have stuff like sixes, sevens, nines, some stuff like nine, ten suited, jack nine suited. To the nine of hearts turn and just not much going on for Dan here now. Just the dry two over card, so just going to be shutting down, I assume, with the king, queen of spades. Check any check, Danny boy. I guess we do have the suit that unblocks all the back doors on the flop, the diamond, the club, and hearts. So it looks like it's going to choose this one. I guess if we are barreling, it's the nice one to choose, the one that doesn't interact with any suit on the flop on the rainbow board when Stevie K will have all these like floats with similar hands with the backdoor flush draw. Uh, fires again and Stevie K just clicking the call button as he should be. Wants to keep bluffs in of his opponent and now over to Dan and is he going to go for the treble here? As mentioned it is probably... We are going to be barreling King Queen, the King Queen of Space, probably the best one to choose out the lot on the 844 rainbow. That does shut it down and going to be clear as day value bet now for Stevie K. Just comes down to what size because we make the assumption that Dan's going to continue going for value with like Queens, Kings, Aces. So once he does knuckle here, maybe going to be thinking that Dan not working with too much and he's just elected to shut down the bluff. That does go for bet, snap fall from Dan. Minute six. And Mel says, freshly made today and should last you all weekend, there is 14 pies. 14? And she thinks they're going to last all weekend. Four, yeah. 14, I like you, that. You go on Grosvenor Sport right now that we are 1 to 14 <laughs> to still have a pie come Sunday, Mel. <laughs> I'll have two, PK will have two, Mike will have two, <laughs> Tower will have six. <laughs> what do you think I am? What is this? You had a swim this morning, you got I ruined. Did. I had a swim in a sauna, it was blinking lovely. I love the freshly made today as well. Tens are done on the button. Making it 300 to go. 10 7 of clubs in this small for Cal. Goes for free bet, makes it 1.1. Back over to Dan, and everyone's going to be thinking, what's going on? This is level one, early stages. This is sixth, maybe seventh, free bet so far today. Dan's just going to proceed with call. Cool. Top pair for Cal. Dan Gormley with the over pair. You see some chips put in the middle. Cow starts with just north of 20%, 500. Dan, easy call with position. F 
three o'clock's turn. Maybe one just going to be going check, check. This stack depth, button versus small, like Dan does still get to peel all this A6 suited, King 6 suited, 6 5 suited, 6 8 suited, all this type of stuff. So Cal just shutting it down and Dan with the 10s. Interesting one. Whether to go for a street here, flush out some equity of overs. Going to do exactly that. The sixes are more in the range of Cal, aren't they? Than the small. Uh, no, Cal was the free better. So uh, it, oh, yeah, it went, bit, it went yeah. open free bet. So Dan's going to have a lot more six x as mm. the call up with position. Making the call. It's Cal. Yeah. We're gonna chop it up. Don't you know we'll mm. chop it up unless we're gonna try and share. Sure. I'm not sure if we are, Tao, because Dan here, as I say, pre-flop, like, Cal not going to have as much 8x as we are, especially 8. Cal's calling anything. I don't think so. I think he's. I'm on it that Cal's calling. You're on it that Cal's calling. Okay. No matter what the bet is. And I think he's just going to knuckle back. Yeah, told uh, you. Don't think we get to as Dan. Yep, love it. Nice and big, just using that advantage in terms of range. We're going to have more straights that aren't the board. It's tough to call for Cal. These spots are really difficult, Tao, because you need to be right so often because we're not calling to win the pot. We're calling to win half the pot. So essentially, we're putting in 5K to win 5.3K. So it's nearly one to one on our money, so we actually need to be right so often. That's cool. That's fine, the call. Ta da! Ta da! Yeah, I was just thinking that Cal was, Cal was calling to split. It's just one of them things, Tao, that if we call every single spot like this when yeah. there's a straight on the board, mm -hmm. when we're calling to chop, yeah. we start losing money in the long run because there will be times we run into the 8x. And when we're calling to win just half the pot, like over the long run, these spots we are just meant to fold unless we have some sort of read that our opponents just at it here. Yeah, yeah. And that's why Dan goes so big as well because he goes near pot size 5k because simply Cal's price now is just awful calling to win half the pot. And even if he thinks we're up to no good, it's so difficult to actually make the call because we don't win the whole pot, we only get half the pot back. That credit to Cal finds it. In a spot where I think many fold. I think Ludo mentioned this about Cal when he joined me in the booth in Manchester. He says he's got a really good feel, just sat at the tables. Maybe some live stuff going on. Day 1B, underway numbers will increase all day. Turbo at 9 o'clock, cash out satellites also on today. Bernie from the threes. This stack depth, this stage of the tournament, could have just gone with open, but throwing it back old school. Round to Dan and the cut off. That's open to 300. Stevie K 
goes with cool, one that we can free bet at this stack depth, these sort of more of a condensed range. 100 plus deep, obviously gonna have all our ace, king, ace, queen, aces, king, strong hands, but the ones that we like to mix in are these sort of condensed middle in hand, suited one gappers, suited two gappers, suited connectors. And we got action, we got your five with trips, we got flush draw for Stevie K, and Dan continuing. If I'm sitting at this table to start the day, first couple of hours of a day one, I'd be thinking this is this is tough. Check raising going on, on flops from the big blind on paired boards, lots of free betting going on. Wouldn't be the biggest fan of this table. <laughs> Looking at round the room tower, what else is out there up for grabs? Don't think this is where you want to be sat. It is a toughie. What's the tips on the national today? On the nationals? Well, on Aintree. On Aintree. Has anyone got any tips? Gary McGaffney let me down yesterday, yeah. as, he, as he always does. Yeah. Why? He put a tip in the chat. Oh, did he win? No. Oh. Okay. He wouldn't have let me down if it won. Oh, that's true. Did you back it? So Gary owes you basically. Yeah, he owes me. He owes me. He owes me. Uh, let's think what he owes me. He owes me a bottle of water in Vegas when I see him out there. That's twenty dollars. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Depends where you go. Just going to be a third street coming in from your fight here. Just thinking about what size to go. What's it look like, Stevie? K's range looks like calls the open so not really going to have any do sex himself unless it's ace do suited specifically just one combo so target the middle in pairs the queen x of spades this type of stuff 2.1 on the end from your fight and stevie k now just out of there so we're in the stages edinburgh Plenty going on. But it's main event day today. Day 1B, flight 1C, and the cash out satellite. Fold to the freeze as well. Uh, no guaranteed on the main. No, nope. never any guarantees on the main events. Well, obviously, we had Blackpool last leg where mm -hmm. one was thrown on, but you, yeah. don't, you don't see any guaranteed main events for GUKPT. It's a rarity. Not really guarantee since coming out of lockdown, apart from the one that they stuck on in Blackpool. Callum goes with the big bet on the eight seven three. Does the trick. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. Oh. Tea on its way. Stephen in YouTube says, Bernie just texted me to say he only half looked at his hand. He thought it was 8-3, three, not 3-3. Three, three. There we go. That's why he folded the threes. How are we doing, Mr. Ferry? Steve Ferry in the chat. The news is getting round. Putter from 200 yards. Shocking. <laughs> You should have seen. It's one of, one of the best pars you'll ever see, Steve. Honestly, I'm assuming you spoke to Sir Bondi. Drive up, putter, wedge, putter, four for four, stroke index one. Thank you very much. On to the next hole. I'm getting warmed up for the golf trip, Steve. I'm all ready to go. There's ace nine for Callum, opens the 400 over the limp from your fight. Rob, 10 eight of spades in the big. Do expect him to come along, even facing four X here, first level of the day. Doubt he's expecting your fight to have any limp raises from cut off, so I think we do just get the call this. There's the call from your fight. Freeway action. So the King Jack Six Rainbow gets checked through. With for both Callum and Rob, nothing going on. Unaware of your fires holding. Yeah, I can't wait either, Steve. Gonna be a good weekend. Looking forward to it. Always look forward to the golf trips, mate. I don't even know if I'm on your team or not. Am I on your team or I'm not on your team? Oh, you're not. The news has got round, Tower. Uh oh. Someone's just come in the chat. They've heard on Sky Sports News about yeah. my par on stroke stroke index one. <laughs> it's getting round. Like the news is, is getting round. Is it going across the bottom in yellow? Putter from two hundred yards. Layup. It was a layup. I Driver, putter, wedge, putter. <laughs> what, what else am I meant? If I can't get over the wall with the second shot, I've got to lay up, right? What better way to lay up than a putter? <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing the Hertfordshire again? Uh, no, we played a course called Mill Green, which is oh, a uh, very nice course, actually. Where did you trip away? Uh, East Sussex Golf Course. Oh. Oh, East Sussex Golf Course. Very nice. Jack eight, queen, flop. Much ado about nothing, but we've got Jack Queen, top two. How do we hold Jack Queen, both of them? And they comes Jack Queen. Mm. 
Smiter says, pick a Doria Aintree today, Jay. That's the tip. Uh, this is always getting chopped up at the river. Not really much to say about this one. Need it. Yeah, that's the other thing, Steve. Looking forward to catching Ooh. up with everyone. I haven't seen a lot of her faces in a while. What do you think about seat nine here, Steve? He looks like Colin Minty from our golf course. <laughs> it's absolute spit of our mate Minty in seat nine. I thought we'd travel to Edinburgh for the GUKPT. Lovely clean turn for Michael to see. I'm just going to continue barreling here. Lots to get called from in Cal's range. The overpairs, the king queen, the ace queen, jack ten, jack nine suit, this type of stuff. day two of diamonds river so just going to be bet call i assume unless michael goes really small here but i think he's going to go fairly chunky against the bigger size don't expect to see any raising from cow Depends on size, 3.2. Hmm. Hmm. It's close against half. I think top two would probably have to tower. Still Jack 8, Queen 8 to get some value from. I know 9 10s out there pure from the big, but I think it's actually fairly close against mm. half, whether to raise or not. Yeah, and does go for raise with the top two, making it 8.7. And Michael, just gonna call, we'll chop this one up. fold not once we go half as well and Cal might even go for a queen eight suited potentially will be someone that could capably find a bluff maybe like an eight nine suited something along those lines our hand just too good to be folding as Michael here I think top two we have to call blocking queens blocking jacks I know nine ten suited is there four combos but there is the call and we're going to chop this one up. We're going to chop it up. Don't you know we'll chop it up. Thanks lads for the email details. Got your ticket change, your trebles in today. Very nice John Bond. John Bond and he's got himself into the Goliath. What day are you playing John? We're going to chop it up. So Jay Bond's gone with the 220, Sonny Gino, John Bond in the 330. How have you got a horse named after yourself? <laughs> Is it yours? And Shanna Bob in the 440, there's his treble. And how are we doing, Ariane? Ariane Kashani. Hello, boys, hope you're well. I'll see you both in Manchester next week. 888. Eight, eight. Awesome. Good to see you. Well done in Ireland, sir. Tracking results. Well done indeed. All that old work paying off. Thank you. 
<laughs> Ronnie's lost his receipt for your life. Can I just turn up? Absolutely. Just turn up. Tell us who you are. And we'll try and find your Tesco receipt. Looking forward to Goliath yet again. 25th of July it starts. Gonna come round quick, I'll tell you that, it won't be mm. long till we're there. Yep. At the CBS. How are you doing, Barry Whitehead? Jay and Tower. Easy, yeah. Uh, Bring in Westlife Barry through later for one seat. We'll try and stop by the booth with some surprises. There we go. What, the rest of the band? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the whole of Westlife in, in his little mini, <laughs> mini bus. <laughs> Be good to see you, Barry. Be good to say hello. <laughs> I heard you guys require my expertise in the eye roller the other day. Sorry you missed it. Yeah, exactly. All the information wasn't there. Callum, slight cheer leader, just early stages, blinds up in six or seven minutes. Good luck if you're watching the Masters and watching the live stream. And they've got the entry going on as well. All the lads from Liverpool will be with round at Boothies tomorrow when the Aintree lads getting together. Always a great weekend. And we actually got the winner last year of the Grand National. Because he were number 26. Uh, day 1B of the main event has started with uh, 34. Just 34 in day 1B. Obviously it's going to pick up during the day. And there's a turbo one and a cash out satellite as well. So just 34 at the minute. Be more than double.
Afternoon, Stu. How many entries so far, Ars Aaron? I will tell you now. Yeah, I reckon about 34. Yeah, I reckon's about 30. Oh, yeah, all right. What? 34. Is there? Yeah, good no one. No way is the 34. <laughs> 34 so far in today. If I rivers trips, get small payment from Callum. Goes for third on the river, it looks like. Sorry, goes for half. So 200. Quick call from Callum. <clears throat> what are you doing to change your game, Slug, anyway? Keeps winning in Blackpool. The Stuart. Does it? He keeps winning in Blackpool. There's something something amiss. Something going on. Why did he not used to win? He's been awful, awful for years. Awful for years. He's been watching the stream. Been awful for years. Then all of a sudden, back to back to back to back. He wins them all. I think he won three times in about ten days. <laughs> oh, tell you what. What's happened to your game, Stu? Some DJ Slug. Stages blinds just about to go up. There you go. Hard work paying off. Good lad. Good lad. Nice as you in the winners enclosure in the local comps. No cards to show anyway, we've just changed the deck. Now we another change of deck very soon. No cards showing on this one. Did you did you come up and play? Come up and play day one. No, you can't come up and play day one here. Did you come up and play the mini? Should have been here. Unfortunately, the golf all got cancelled last week, so we didn't travel up to Edinburgh early like I'd planned on doing. It all got cancelled due to weather. We have to have a round this year, Tal. You have definitely, to. definitely. How much is a Hertfordshire? Um, not much, probably like 35 green for you, I reckon. Is 35 it? 35 quid, yeah. Get, get me in. We'll have a round. It just sounds good. The Hertfordshire. The Hertfordshire. It's a nice course, it's a nice course. <clears throat> Lots of bunder around, though, left and right. If you don't hit it straight, and you go left or right, you're in the bunda. Bunda? And you can't get out of the That's bunda. That's a drink. It's, it's, it's like really long grass. Ooh. Ooh. The PGA at the Belfry. That's tough. That's got long grass. Fourteenth in the mini. Nice one. See, if you carried on the good form. You came fourteenth in the mini. Very nice, good shout. So Yamo on Monday, and he, he told me you were uh, he told me you were travelling up. So Yamo on the Monday night, and he says uh, you were travelling up to play the mini. Good choice. 
Drive up, play the minute. Should have stayed for the main. Guessing we will see you in Manchester at some point for the 888. Good festival going on for the 888. Stay out of the lake. It's always a good plan when you're golfing. Stay out of the water. Early stages, blinds just about to go up. No guarantee on the main, Barry. No guarantee on the main. There's only been one guarantee uh, since we come out of lockdown. And that is Towers Treble going down at R3 every Saturday. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> how very dare you. Oh. Got to start looking for tomorrow because we're in Scotland. Are you doing another Scottish we one? Did, well, it came in last year. Yeah. It came in in there. Do you remember when we stood breaking in or everywhere? Yeah, I remember. Breaking city. The knowledge is immeasurable on Scottish football. Jesus locked down his West Life Barry making the live stream. <laughs> He's played a lot as Barry Greenham. Yeah, saw him first time Leeds last year, I remember. Mm -hmm. King Ten Queen. Two pair for Rob. Redraws uh, Stevie Key. Yeah, nice one for Rob to just continue with. Bottom two. Still plenty to get some value from. Got a shot for Stevie Key and a heart in hand. Dependent on size. Maybe coming along for one more. Guessing Rob's gone with the big bet. Mm. Yeah, went with the big bet. Makes sense why we fold.
to the bunny. Should we roll one more? more? Temper Rob gonna open. Yes, <clears throat> yes, Jack Five. A little bit for Rob. A little bit for Yiffy. It's for 300, you're not going anywhere. No, ball flopping. A pair. Nine of clubs turn. Where did Cow and Dan go? Balance the tables. Balance the tables. Balance the tables. Everyone excited to see uh, Cow leave, and then <laughs> looks like we got higher roller champion about to take his seat. <laughs> And kick coming to the table. Seems like one that wants to check as Rob now. Yeah, which is done. Oh, and uh, potential bluff opportunity for your fire wouldn't be working. He is just going to check. Yeah. I guess we do have do three, four, three, four, do suited that may be better candidates to choose stone cold bottom of our range to bluff with maybe we turn like some queen five king five type stuff into a bluff with bottom pair uh, rob just going to go for value now and we'll be hand over i can't hero this off with a five in play. So second level of the day and High Roller Champion comes to join us. Good old Anki. And he gets a lovely looking flop to kick things off. Queen 10, 6, mono here. We'll do a lot of checking here to our yeah, Anki on point. Just straight away knuckles it over, just recognising hijack versus cut off. We'll be doing a fair amount of checking out of position. Jack of Diamonds on the turn. for some value gets it through <clears throat> if you are thinking about Manchester next week this is what the schedule looks like <laughs> <laughs> alright there's no need to laugh we've got a week off apparently we've got a week off there's no schedule there's no schedule 
in Manchester next week, so don't bother. Uh, we'll be there Wednesday. We'll get the schedule up very shortly. It disappeared. I feel like Paul Daniels. But, uh... So Edinburgh day 1B has started the cash out satellite later which are always busy. Andy McKenzie got himself a token last night. Good lad old Andy. Goliath final table last year. A quick attempt for Callum. Opens to 300 and Bernie going to be doing some Three betting here. Makes it 1k. Definitely go bigger here as Bernie could even veer towards 1500 at this stack depth. Either way, we're going to achieve the same result. Callum forms the Queen 10. Do we know if Stuart McDuster McNally or Colin <laughs> Colin allergic to play or Gildan are in the field today? I'm surprised uh, I haven't seen either of them. No, not all week. Seen, not seen either. Oh my word, would you look at this for a setup? You fi Ace King face with a free bet in front of him. But it's gun plus two. And we're in the hijack that does just go, wow, look at this size, makes it 4k. Like in general here, like size your fire should go theoretically. It's going to get rid of Anki though, isn't like it? Like 2.5 at the most tower here as your fire. Four bet size in, in position, generally around 2.2x. Out of position, generally around 2.5x. But this is just way too large from your fire here need to opt for if we are going to choose the call for which we should with this hand but yeah. 2500 tops here that tower. Big, i'm always i'm always raising steamy key i'm not just flying the aces i might say raise make it 11. go on get him in and now that's five bet makes it 8k nice five bet mm. size choice now back over to your fire here when he's made it that big, I'm going bigger. It's just really strange sometimes when you're sat there and you're you're met with a size that you ne you never usually see, yep. like an opponent doing something that they're not supposed to do, and sometimes it can put you in a bit of no man's land. Not sure how to play against it, but when you're sat there with aces, it's no struggle because I guess we just always put more chips in. Now. You fight in a tough spot with the ace king offsuit, getting three to one to, on a call with position. 
How weird is this? We go massive with Ace King and then with contemplating. Are we contemplating for me? I'm guessing he is. Because why would, why would you think about it for so long? Is it? I'm putting them all in. Is it pointless? Is it worth just calling? I don't think it is. I've made it big and I've been five bet. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously not in front. Yeah, Aaron. I always say should be making this decision before we put the four bet in in the first place. Yep. Don't four bet with no idea what you're going to do if we're met with a re raise and uh, does just get out there with Ace King. I'd never expect Stevie K to have Ace Queen or worse, so one of them situations, sometimes he'll have Queens we're mm -hmm. flipping against, then Crush versus Aces and Kings, but could have definitely saved some chips there, your fight. Could have saved like 15 BBs potentially. Just opt for a legitimate four bet sizing. Either way, well played to get away from it. Once the five bet comes in. Aces again, this time for Callum. This must be the fourth, maybe fifth time they've been out already today. First session. Making a fair amount of appearances. This time Callum Gordon, the beneficiary, and no action at all. Some giveaways today, guys. Gonna go to the first one next session. We are round about three ish, three o'clock. First giveaway, give you a quick rundown of what's going on online as well. Now, running Goliath satellites are on the clients. If yes. you want to get into the Goliath for cheap, they are up and running online. There's live event credit satellites weekly, 20k guaranteed weekly for them live credit event satellites if you like your smaller stakes check it out we've got a million euro guarantee micro series on grove and poker as well as well as a 200k guarantee bounty series going on alongside that and live stream free roll as always coming up at 6 p.m on sunday so check it all out guys grove and poker online so much going on so much to play for all different buying levels and we will do a giveaway when we return for the next session. Still got a good 40 minutes left of this one, though. We're picking up on King 6-5, two clubs. Bernie had one that could have gone for a little stab here with position. Some nice removal to some stronger King X and some backdoor potential. It does just go with the check. And once again, just going to take a freebie with position to the King River and Stephen here could definitely choose to go for value but not going to ace 10 going to be good Afternoon product, how you doing?
We, us two should start our own podcast. <laughs> I do a product. On what? Anything. That's the thing. They don't talk. They, that... they don't have given subjects on podcasts. They I've just been, talk. I've been, I've been told I've got to watch Gary Neville's. Apparently it's amazing. Pete watches loads of them. Yeah. From anywhere. You you talked about Desham, Bryce and Deschambeau. That's that not a podcast. It's Bryce and Deschambeau's YouTube channel. Oh. One of the best golfing YouTube channels I've ever seen. Right. Just everything, the production, yeah. what he does. He's, he does a series at the moment called Break 50. Okay. And he gets like another professional golfer or a YouTube golfer and they go out and they play a two-ball scramble and they try and get 49 or under. 49? 49. 49, yeah. I think 51's the closest he's come so really? far. Yeah, 51. What, a pitch and put? Uh, no, no, normal courses. A real normal course. Courses, yeah. The bit of 51 yeah. between them. But but it's great because his partner, when he's with his partner, they always tee off first, he goes second. And yeah. if they hit one straight down the middle, he's like, I can go for this now and tries to like drive the green or something. Yeah. <laughs> but great, great YouTube channel. If you like golf, Bryson DeChambeau's YouTube channel. Really, really good watch. So the smart one is Stevie Smart and Stevie Key. <laughs> we already know Matt Davenport's going to final table. <laughs> So level two of the day. Afternoon, Richard. Richard Whitmore's watching. Still celebrating the old posh winning at Wembley last week. Winning the old, whatever it's called, Bristol Street Motors Cup. Malarkey. I didn't even know Liverpool were playing last night. And then I heard a cheer, so I went running out, and they were losing 3-0. <laughs> I 
I thought, I didn't even know they were playing. But it was that Atlanta, that uh, Conference Europa League malarkey. They won't be making the semis, that is for sure. And gonna double barrel and just gets the dream river, the offsuit 10. Gives him the nuts. It's a tough call. One's Rob Betts. Rob Dunas is gonna bet. Maybe got three quarters. Apocalypse says we could easily have zero teams in any semi-finals. You're absolutely right. Real Madrid are no pushover. Villa? We're at Villa. We're at Villa. They only won 2-1. Yeah, they'll get through. West Ham got thumped. Yeah, so Rob going for the triple here and really difficult for Callum to call. Not much that we beat now. Like some 10-9 suited, some Jack-9 suited, although Jack-9 suited probably going to check turn. And then hands like 7-8 of hearts, 9-7 of hearts are not always going to open from early position here. It's a very difficult one to pay off as Callum would be surprised if he flicked the call in. Yeah, I'm not calling So second level of the day, break at 20 past two. Half an hour to go until then. And Kit comes to join us, high roller champ. Took it into his breakfast. Paulie, Paul, Paul, Paul. We've been back since Wednesday afternoon. Where have you been? Exactly. Three weeks. Three weeks. You won't have to wait that long. We've got Monday, Tuesday off. And then we are back Wednesday at the 888 in Manchester. Uh, and a couple of weeks after that, it'll be Luton. Rotherham are relegated. Well played, Rotherham. We are indeed. Is that yeah. a good thing? Uh, well, when you sell your best three players and replace them with League One players from beginning of the season, you know it's going to be a tough one. Uh, so, yeah. It was always, always going to be tough. There's no money in the club at all. Average crowd's about 10,000 in the championship. It's never going to get much better than surviving. Liverpool aren't out. They are. No, they're not. They are. Shall, shall I take you back to? Do you want me to take you back to 2019? Uh, three 0 down against Barcelona in the Champions League well, watch that. quarter final. Watch that. And they they go they go to Anfield and they win four 0 yeah. and they're through. So, yeah. who would you rather be three 0 down against Atlanta or Barcelona? They were at home yesterday. 
<laughs> they were at home and, and they're in Atalanta right, next week. Fine. That's the bet. Liverpool to qualify. Aces again? This time for Steven. Michael defends with the 9 6 in the big. Gonna get one street of value here. Just south of 40% continue. Expect Michael to call once with his middle pair. Off to the turn. Quite a space. Not changing anything. Michael clear check. And Stephen gonna be wanting to go for another street of value here. Yep, that's the other one, Maverick. AC Milan, Istanbul final. That was 3-0 at half-time. Forget the first leg. All right. Indeed. They won't win. <laughs> uh, was that 2005, was it? Yeah, really? 2005. Wow. 2005. Wowzers. I think you'll play half a team and concentrate on the league. That's what he's going to do. I didn't even see the team last night. I'm guessing he put a weakened team out last night. Not really. No? Salah was on the bench but came on for the second half. Michael strapping in for one more street to the Jack of Diamonds River and Stephen goes for some more value with the Aces and not really the most appetising river to call with just a nine on. Go behind some of the bluffs now. We are still beating stuffs like Ace Queen, Ace Ten. It does get out of there as Michael. Luke opens, Ace King suited, raises to 300. Steve is in with the 10 9 of spades, and Kit defends Jack 10 offsuit. Surprised to see this from Ankit after yesterday's performance on the high roller final table didn't really put a foot wrong in terms of theory and then no, goes no, no, no. for the donk here on Jack 4 5, which I don't think is a thing. Don't think we get any donk leads on this particular board from the big blind facing gun and plus two specifically, but did go for the donk with his top pet. Now to the eight of hearts turn. And Luke firing for 1.5k. Just shy of two thirds. 
And over to Ankit now with the Jack-10. Ace has rolled off here, drawing to just five outs. We are up against an Ace-X holding. you look at this goes for the check raise here making it 4k turning his jack into a bluff here blocking ace jack and luke not going anywhere he'll make the call and big river coming up here if Ankit is thinking about unloading nine of club seems pretty bricky not really going to change anything not improving any of the hands Luke will have here. So, Ankit, are we going to go after it here with the Jack-10? But it's going to shut down and check it over to Luke. And now, decision point for Luke. And I think value is, is probably in order. But one thing I will say, it looks like Ankit is just working with air. Do we want to open ourselves up to another check raise? And does just knuckle it back and Jack-10 behind to the <coughs> ace-king. And Kip loses 25% of his stack. It's an awkward one for Luke there because once Ankit donks flop and check raises turn, like his value is going to stem from two pair upwards. So when we get to that river and it's checked to us as Luke... It's one of those situations where Ankit's never really raising a one pair hand on the turn. So that's the assumption we make. We know he had Jack-10 and he was turning that into a bluff. But if I'm Luke, I'm thinking he's never raising one pair on the turn. It's two pair plus or a bluff. So therefore, I can understand the logic in checking back the ace-king. Not going for value. Just thinking he's either betting into an air ball or betting into a hand that has us beat after the turn action. Interesting one from those two. And aces again, this time for Rob the Rass. I think this is seven, maybe eight times. We've seen aces this session. Eight I flop, but we've got a bit of action for Luke because he's up and down with the five six. <laughs> Rob bets five hundred. Luke. UKBT champion should be calling. Which well, raised? He's raised it up. Ninety-one point eight. Yeah, don't mind it from Luke at all. Need to find some check raises that aren't just value. I'm gonna choose the up and down here, facing the late position open. Rob calling with position. Ten of hearts turn and 
Luke on the turd continues getting after it and King of Hearts River do have a heart in hand here as Luke is he thinking about going for the barrel off here never going to win with a check with six high do have a heart in our hand could this be a triple about to unload from Luke Porter winning leg one this year GUKPT London No, I need to check to you, mate. And this should be check. Check. I think Rob's going to be uh, yeah. up in a seat. Like, like Luke might still knuckle some of his value raises. 7-8, seven, 7-3 eight, seven, suited, 8-3 suited. All this type of stuff probably going to be knuckling River. So it's difficult for Rob to ever get called by worse here. No River top pairs in there either once it rolls off. Maybe King X of Diamonds, actually, River's top pair. Uh, but other than that, not really too much to extract from. And as well as that, with a check for Rob, we'll get to see Luke's hand. Luke, last aggressor, get some information. And then, maybe thinking about going for value, but does check. Yeah, he has checked. Wants to see the cards, shows the 5 6 and flips over the boots. 20 minutes to go until the end of this session, and then a break, and back with a new table. to go until the first break of the day guys when we return we will have some giveaways occurring next session Seven, two heart board. Michael as the opener here, not choosing to continue. Checks it back. Uh, Queen of clubs on the turn. Steve, it, Mr. Smart, and the fold from Michael with the ace five. On to the next. Holly Poor says, My local side, Tetbury Town, were once 6 0 down after the first leg of the Dairy Lee Dunkers Cup. <laughs> we turned up two weeks later at their place and won the second leg 8 1. Never give up. That's the thing about the Dairy Lee Dunkers Cup. So many magical stories. <laughs> yeah. 
That can't be a thing. The Dairy League don't just go. Set for Stephen. Not much going on for Luke. Well timed check back for Luke with the nine height. I'm just going to fold to the turn lead. Dairy League Dunkers. That's great, ain't it? <laughs> Imagine if that was real. He said they sponsored it. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you can have Bolton Wanderers renaming their, renaming their uh, stadium to what it is now, you can have anything. <laughs> the Derrily Duncan's Cup. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. oh, brilliant. This is again? What is happening? It's actually crazy. Sometimes you got a whole day without seeing aces on the feature. Mm -hmm. This is getting close to double figures. I can't believe I ever Googled it like it was a thing tower. <laughs> <laughs> they got me. But believe it or not, in basketball, uh, there was, in the year 1999 to 2000, there was the Dairy Lee Dunkers Championship. Get away. Yep, the Dairy Lee Dunkers Championship, which was a basketball championship for a year between 1999 and 2000. Do you know the biggest surprise in that? Go on. Is that Dairy Lee Dunkers have been out that long? <laughs> <laughs> the Dairy Lee Dunkers Cup. <laughs> what a turn for Michael. Drills off the nut boat. Delicious. He'd like to see a jack. Yeah, not going to get that opportunity though. Just fires. No. Um, End of hand. Everyone going to be folding, you expect. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the Aces have one every time too, Maverick. Can't remember him getting cracked. to go and that will take us to the first interval of the day been a good feature table to start lots of names notable faces we've seen aces once or twice or three or four five or six mm. to the blinds over to Callum in the small. Jack I flop, Jack five six. Snacks bottom pair does rock.
better from Callum, unbeknowing what we have. But uh, bets 300 gets called from Rob. Rob turns two pair, so I think he's going to fire again. Know what's coming in 20 minutes as well. A break. Mel Simpson. Oh! With some pies. Da, 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 We're actually on break in eight minutes. Bet, bet here for Rob. Mm. Mm, too sure what he's thinking about. What size the guy? The size of two. Well, there's only two point three in the middle, so are we going three claws? One point six, maybe one point seven. Uh, eight, not really changing much. Nine seven folds turn. I guess seven four would be the worry, but so much more to get paid from yeah. the jack x the six x non-believers Taking one, bed into the break. Six or seven minutes to go until the end of this session. Oh, nice ranking. Well, he's going to raise. If they are nines. Interesting. Guessing what they had. That's an interesting one. Well, uh, I've asked the action tracker about that one. Surely Van Kitt's got nines, as they were in the box before the card had even come out. So. Yeah, check back nines, now go for the lay C bet, would make sense. See if he is working with what we think he is. It's just strange that he had no cards in front of him and the graphic appeared top left. <coughs> so we just uh, got PK just told us that uh, this is going to be the last end of the session because we're going to re-add the table mic and it was only a 15 minute break and obviously we're on a 20 minute delay so we're going to miss the last couple of hands of the session because we need to re-add the table mic so you can hear them all chatting so we'll see you in 20 see you in 20 
I don't want to see a jack or a six. No! Jeez.
to 44 players as it speaks, and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short staff and now I'm just leader. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. And um, you just sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and called <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight Thanks ever. A lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, as well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Hi, Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yeah. And making good plays, so yep. I've been happy. Yeah. Mixing, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your tables today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can, especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. You, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that, but 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44, and then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can I'm dream, excited. can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Paul, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all-in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
And there is the call from Ariane. Yeah, and Cobb really fought him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The Queens! The set of Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queen's full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in. Straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, Inny. And do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Tim Slater. So that was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer <laughs> fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green 8 2. That is that it. Is it. We've we got have a champion. champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, go. Rutter. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Five. Fantastic, well done.
I don't want to see a jack or a six. No! Jeez! Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history! <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been, and people are still buying it. and clubs and queens fall on the end. in the stream. <laughs> there we go, the shout in the stream. Let's go, he says.
to 44 players as it speaks, and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just doing that. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and cold <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight ever. Thanks a lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, guys, well. Keep Thanks it going. Lot. Nice Cheers, one. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Hi, yeah. Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yeah. Making good plays, so yeah. I've been happy. Yeah. Mixing, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your tables today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can, especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. You can, you, can, you can manipulate that, but 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Just cracked it on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Oh, the table sound. So the table audio looks like we've got an issue with. So we might have to just turn it off. Hopefully, I'm uh, not crackly sorted yet. Yeah, it sounds like the table audio we have an issue with. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so there'll be no table audio, I'm guessing, for this session. <laughs> so we're sounding good again. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Just a shame. But, uh,
so the sound's good again. Two pair for Kyle. Queen nine nine. King Queen. <laughs> so, so while well, he's having. Tracy Dunn came in, she's on her birthday month, it's her birthday on the 28th of April and she's going to replay the seniors in Malta at the Malta Poker Festival. She's just brought me this in for my birthday, <laughs> which was obviously the last time we were in Edinburgh and she never made it. Scottish slang word and phrases. Uh, I'm not sure if I can read any over the TV, but uh, I do lie. <laughs> A face like a skelt ass. <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere. Uh, so thanks for that. I'll be reading that and using it. Uh, the Scottish slang. <laughs> thanks to Tracy. I'll be using that. Uh, they're off to Malta for the Malta Poker Festival uh, at the end of April. And it's Tracy's 50th. Actually, on the day of the seniors, which you can actually play. So she's going to be playing the seniors as the youngest senior out there. Cards not showing. And cows. <laughs> Frankie, how are we doing Frankie? Not working Edinburgh this week, he says, fancy, fancy a coffee to Coventry, G. you're not in Coventry are you Frankie? Is Coventry on this week? The 25, 25s? Let's have a look, what's on in April? It is, <laughs> it's next week, <laughs> we'll get him to send one Frankie. <laughs> Coventry to 25.50 is next week while Manchester's 8.880 is on. <laughs> Igor did thank him when he got to, when he went to Dublin.
So the 10, 7, 9 flop. Checked. Anywhere from Matt will do it with the fives. So Gordon in C2 comes to the table. Is it Gordon Huntley? There's a G, I remember. So the new table, Cal back at the table in a different seat in seat seven. Nice one for Jim. Yeah, right. Gordon going for bet here. Seven of clubs on the turn. flush on the river so probably going to see this one go in check check King nine, King seven, so we're going to get us out of the way. It's Wells. 
10 7 Sue are going to open from plus one. for King Chook, <coughs> going to defend in the big blind. Jack I flop, look at I fold in the King 70 clubs, comes Jack 4-3 old clubs. Uh, just going to go for a one and done here. Maybe we'll have some potential to bluff four line to flush as well. That king is going to take one off of this bottom pair. up a gut shot now so we're gonna barrel on this six and they're gonna be difficult for king to continue now nice free suit just got to go into the mark good timing i got a birthday present you got a birthday present my birthday was february the 18th yes i was just about to say that last time we were in edinburgh mm -hmm. tracy dunn didn't make it okay so she got me that Scottish slang words and phrases. <laughs> a not as good as wink to a blind horse. <laughs> yep, I agree. Ack away and buy your yahid. Ack away and buy your A face like a scalped ease. <laughs> what else we got in here? Bampo, <coughs> what's a bampo? I, I know Belter, Jerry Cinnamon. Belter. <laughs> <laughs> I know Belter. <laughs> it's a Drake day. <laughs> like it, a lot of uh, Scottish slang in there. <laughs> Nay bother, I know that one. Don't worry about it, Nay bother, I know that one, see. <laughs> She's got a tongue that would clip a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a tongue that would clip a hedge. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thanks very much to Tracy. I see Frankie's in the chat as well. How's he got this leg off? Fancy a coffee? Well, when we're in Manchester, yep. he's working Coventry, same time. Ah, okay. So he's expecting you to get no, on the app? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a St. Mirren scarf. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, dear. St. Mirren playing black and white. Oh, okay. Black and white stri damn yeah, stripes. Yeah, yeah. Seems like a St. Mirren scarf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. <laughs> Before that just gets it done for Ed, it'll be good. Oh, I'm getting a bit peckish. How was the. Uh... Oh, look at that. I tell you what, you found your like, favourite. Like they're, they're... It's one of those you've got about 10% of your food left and you're full up, but you still eat it. It's just yeah. gory every, every last bit. You do like it. Best one on tour. That could be the podcast. No? GUKPT food coverage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one delivered cakes. No, Chrissy. Nobody's delivered cakes, but we have had the pie delivery. And I think I could down two right now. Hey. Hey, 
against Jack for Jim. Makes it 400 to go. Ben with the King Queen here. Both options available. Just going to go for the cool with position. Eight deuce of diamonds for Ed. I think we can flick in and defend. Six and a half to one on a call. Eight nine Jack. Top top for Jim. Good shot for Ben. And bottom pair for Ed. <laughs> So I doubt the way of his bottom pair. Ben got a call with two over cards, backdoor hearts, and got shot to the nuts. Just slams top pair on the turn. value now as Ben just assume that Jim gonna be better in a hand better than ours after bet and flop so gonna go for some value here with a king queen seems nice Jim with a quick call two of spades on the river yeah, lovely river for Ben to go for value clear value bet when checked too same scenario as the turn, just expect Jim to continue barreling a hand better than ours on this king turn. Deuce not changing anything, so nice easy bit of value for Ben. Go after the Jack X, go after the Queens. You gotta bet there, Tower. Got to go for value there. Once Jim checks turn, it's just not playing any traps, never has a hand better than ours in my opinion. Maybe missed a slight bit of value. What have we got here? Cheers, Paul. Mm. We are going to be uh, putting on some pounds today, Tower. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> we've just we've just had a we've just had a delivery from Greg. I just had the biggest dinner I've had all week, and now all the food starts piling in. It's like I ate my last bit of my dinner, and then suddenly, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, might need to go back to the gym tomorrow morning. <laughs> that bag is it's full. full. It's full. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we'll, I'll tell oh. you what. We, so we, we could do a food podcast just from Edinburgh. Oh, dear. Ben McCann, one of Edinburgh's up and coming stars, said Dennis. Nice one, Dennis. Thanks for the info. Yeah, right. It might be against some. Uh, we check back, but I just think that it's very difficult for us to ever be behind. And Jim is the type that will call some Jack X. Will get sticky with some nines. He's just going to. He's the type of player that's going to continue betting Ace King on the turn. He's going to continue betting two pair plus. Therefore, it's pretty easy to deduct that we're going to have the best hand enough of the time to go for value and still target some. Jack X, some 9X, some Queens, some 10s. Interesting flop here. Flush draw for Cal. Gordon flopping top two with a Queen 9. Continue a 400 from Cal. And both options available for Gordon here. It's just going to opt for court. Head to the turn. Now, Jim Bet flop. 
I'm worried. It went bet from Jim on the flop, call and fold. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Jim bet the ace jack. I can go and check it for you. Spot on. You're all right. It was Ben that bet the flop. That does change things. That changes things a lot. Cheers, guys. It does make more sense for the check back now. I think if it's bet call and then we take the betting lead on the turn, a lot more clearer to go for value. Whereas when Jim bets flop can definitely understand it. Uh, when um, Ben bets flop and Jim check calls can understand it from him. Thank you guys. My mistake. Nice from Jim actually as well. Going for the check there. Out of position. Direct left. Cal getting one picked off there with the ace jack. Jack of diamonds seems like a nice candidate to choose. But not getting two pair to fold. <laughs> so, second session of the day, Edinburgh. Cardinal starting to build. <laughs> so just the fifty nine in the main, but getting bigger. Starting later tonight, nine o'clock, and the cash out satellite starts. It started at uh, two, so that's an hour in. Gordon, going with a fairly small free bet here. Out of position in the blinds, could definitely put more meat on this. Matt, just going to take the price and come along now with position. Set Matt going to make the call with the ace nine offsuit. Does have gut shot. <coughs> How do we get paid? Says Gordon. Half seems nice. Goes for 3.6 into 6.6, .6, so just north of half, but ace nine and Matt now just has to get out of the way, does let it go.
ginger out of the way, so to Matt, all falling round to the bottom, Gordon Huntley. That's a sight to see for Jim. How many times have we seen aces today? I reckon we're into double figures now, Tower. I think you're right. And we're in level three of ten. Yeah, I think you're absolutely spot on. Definitely gone a day without seeing them before, and now it's just seems every orbit someone finds them. Jim's turn to pick them up in the small. Facing the 400 open from Gordon. Jim goes for 2.2k. Meaty, five and a half X up. And just gonna lose his customer. Much prefer big than small though. We are out of position. Much prefer the north of 5x rather than the south of 3x. Jack 10 for Matt. Makes it five. Raise and take. Owen and Simon, uh, no scoo uh, scooting, looting schedule, schedule released as of yet. We'll try and get it up some point over the weekend. Uh, but hopefully we'll be out within the week. I know it's only a few weeks away now. Lorinus comes to the table. Lorinus! <laughs> 
and colours, you know. Lead part, singing the Bronx Tale. Has this schedule been released for Luton? You done that? MPL leaderboard behind on the big screen. Cow well out in front. It's nine for Jim from plus two. May you fancy getting amongst it with this one. It's going to open. Queen 10 suited for George. We're going to play cool from hijack here. At 100 effective, we'll find some free bets from time to time. Have a little mix of both. When's the giveaway coming, says Dennis. I'd say about quarter to four. Matt defending in the big. Personally would have let this one go, 9-4 off. Can't just defend any two, even getting a nice price. He does choose to defend on this occasion. Jim with ace nine, not too much working. Does have this nine of spades in hand, but Probably wants to be checking this over to the in-position player a fair amount of the time. He's going to take initiative and fires. Matt does have bottom pair. He's going to have a look at the turn. is the eight of diamonds and probably gonna have to be shut down now for Jim will be a lot of 8x that call from the big blind also gonna find it hard to fold out some 5x once this eight pairs still ahead of all this gut shot type stuff some spade draws four on the river so nice one to see for Matt and gonna go for some value now it's a 2.1 and really difficult for Jim to find a call here. Yes, it's a double pair ball. We have an ace that would play, but flush is complete. 8x we lose to, 4x we lose to. Uh, if our opponent has a 5, he's just going to check, so not worried about that. But do beat some of this, like king 6 suited, queen 6 suited, jack 7 suited, this type of stuff. But good fall from Jim, not the river we want to be calling on. King Jack for Jim. Expect to see another open. It makes it six to go. Then with the call. And that's in with fours. Over to Ed in the big. Are we going to be going four way? No, we're not. Oh, there we're eight five off suit.
10 6 deuce rainbow. Not much for the two hands we can see. The two overcards to contend with for the fours and Matt. Jim on the 10 highborn. I think we've been on our direct left. We are meant to do a fair amount of check in, but do have the two overcards. Back door straight on fairly dry texture. Goes for 30%, just shy off. We will lose Ben. And Matt, already seen, not one that likes folding, so can't see him letting the fours go just yet. Uh, lovely sight to see for Jim. And now I'm going to get to go for another street here. Target some 10x, some non x, some non believing 6x out there. Jim. Now, difficult for Matt to continue. He's getting a nice price. 1.8 into 3.4, just north of half, but good fall from Matt. Doesn't get sticky. Jim takes that one. And we do a man of straw. Hi, Taron J. How are your golf bets going? Don't ask. Terrible. Uh, Matt's yarm is plus four. Aberg's plus one, Fagala's plus two. Uh, and then uh, we've done a, a little sort of golf dream team. P pick six players. Each player costs X amount. You have 55 points to spend. I pick six golfers. And uh, four of my six golfers that I picked at the moment, one's plus seven, one's plus seven, one's plus six, and one is plus eight. So uh, I think I'm out the running for that one. I've picked six golfers and somehow I've managed four of them to be plus six, plus seven, plus seven, and plus eight. How do we run? It's okay, Jay. I've heard the cuts go into plus nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just me and betting, Kev. You know how you've known me long enough now. We had that bet up once in 2012, and then since then, that's it. Littlewood just shouts in the booth, it's okay Jay, I hear the cuts going to plus nine. <laughs> Jack nine eight. Not much for either. Ben does have better lead here, but he's gonna check it over to in position player. And it is a board that will be all over the calling range of map. All this Queen Tan, King King Jack, ten nine suited, these type of hands all gonna be in there. Just goes with check fold, like it with the fours. know what's worse that or towers treble j there you go i don't know what's worse either to be fair it's hard to do so i picked six golfers out of 90 and of those six golf of them golfers that i picked out of 90 four of them are in the bottom 15 but there's still time loads of it we've still got three rounds to go Matsy Armour's going to go around in 64 this afternoon. Market sixes for Lauren S. Opens to 500. Gordon in the small. Ace eight of spades. Versus EP, more inclined to just play cool. Does opt to. Jim. 
in the big. Probably about a squeeze up. It says no, I'm just going to defend. One of the merits of this time is that we do get them ace high, queen high boards that look good for the original raise up. We can just comfortably check all down, induce some bluffs from an opponent when their perceived range is stronger than ours. But I think once a small blind calls, maybe we do want to squeeze slightly more than flat, but we'll have some merit to it. Playing cool. Decent board for Lauren Ass to continue on, just the one over card he's met with. Does continue for 40%. Turn. Jim going to be calling once with ace queen height on the flop, still ahead of any sort of ace jack, king queen, queen jack. You get the gist. Lauren is going to shut down. With the nine of clubs on the river check mark for Lauren us with the sixes. Jim I think always, Jim's going to check. Always playing check. Still beat those hand we, hands we mentioned on flock. And then it's an interesting one for Lorenus here. Whether or not to go for value. Jim in the big blind range as an overall spectrum. Going to have some 5x, some deuce x. We could potentially have some ace highs that he thinks he can be good against. But he's just going to elect to check it back with the sixes. And maybe two cutthroat to be going for value there. If we expect the 10x to start leading rib up, maybe we could think about it. There's Paul Clemens just walking in, brought us the goodies first. All the Gregs. All now, the lot. Now I've got a cup of tea. you got your cup of tea, which would you like? Would you like a chocolate eclair? Uh, pass. Or a chocolate donut? I'll go with the latter. Really? Really? What have we got here? Chocolate donuts, ladies and gentlemen. Chocolate donuts. Oh, let's have a look. Well, that's one each, one for the left hand, one for the right hand. Oh, <laughs> vegan, made with all the goodness of vegetables and fruit, apparently. Well, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Zero calories? Yeah. Oh, we'll have some of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, DJ Scotty, the last time we were in Edinburgh, the Tower's Trouble came up. It did. It was up. As in up, up. <laughs> Man of straws says, bin it. Got, <laughs> bin no it. calories, bin it. <laughs> Yep, the pies have arrived, Kev. Mel brought us in the pies. They're all sat next to us. We got Arthur Greggs. We got 14 pies. And we got some more goodies coming in this week. Money on King. Room for King Shock in the eight seat. As we go four ways to this flop, and the cow continues for 1.1. Going to be a bit wary of this as Ben. We do have top pair, oh, now we get to fold. Nice. We like Gordon calling. So Ben can now let this go. Once Cal bets into the field with three players. It's just not really going to have any bluffs. And then once Gordon calls as well, I just find it very difficult for our Jack 4 to be good. I know we're getting a nice price, but I only really want to see a 4 on a turn. A Jack could be a disaster. 
but it's going to take one off nonetheless. We do have top pair, difficult to fold top pair, but just need to recognise the situation. Cal continuing into field. If Gordon folded, yeah, take one off. But I think once Gordon calls here, we don't get to overcall this top pair specifically. No backdoor flush draw. It's just Cal's going to have a very strong range once he continues into field and into two players that are in position on him. So there's the all in for 3.9k. Now over to Ben. I just think Cal's always got it here. He does choose to let it go on the turn. No, it seems difficult to just let go of top here, but once you just break down the situation, like Cal not going to continue into the three players there with ace king, ace queen, king queen. Queen 10 suited might be one that's in there that we are ahead of with the gut shot back door flush draw, but I think a lot of the time he's just going to have the over pair, he's going to have the better jack X. Let's have a look how many in so far, guys. It's picking up around the room. Still think we'll get over 250 for this one total. Yeah, loads in today already. 65 in today already. So entries up to 121. Expect that to more than double by the time registration closes tomorrow. There's Jim opens on the button here and George in the big. Going to go for the free bet with the ace queen suited. Jim makes no time in making the call with the jack eight of clubs. He's straight in. And we've got action. Top pair versus middle. Both with the backdoor flush draw to go along with it. Nice flop for George. We should just continue. Won't be going large. Let's go tiny between fifth and quarter. Jim, easy call. Facing this size with position. Oh, and slams it on the turn. Jim McLean is going to love to see that. And George just recognising going to be a lot more Jack X for Jim than there is for us. And now going to be going for some value here as Jim. He can get called by the Ace X. Yeah, they're all gone. Oh, yeah. This is the last one. Dave, you were too slow, man. <laughs> There's loads. We've got we've got the lot. We've got everything in here today. We've got about 20 pies. We've got about another three donuts, a couple of eclairs, a couple of pies. And people are bringing more stuff in. The floor has come over, wanting some of our treats. News gets round fast and this is going to be a real toughie for George on the river here with the ace queen suited. Going to be a real grim spot for him because once Jim does set him in, repping a jack or better. So ace queen just going to be a bluff catcher and as you say that, what have we got now Tower? What have you just gone and got? Who's brought more stuff in? Thanks Valerie! Ah. <sighs> Thanks, Valerie. Oh, it's warm in here, isn't what, it? What's she got in there? Well, just things, you know, just like things. Proper things. Some millionaire flapjacks. Dairy Lee Dunkers. 
maybe. Dairy Lee Dunker Cup, wagon wheels, um, with jam in the middle, my favourite. We're jamming in the middle. Just going to jump back to the hand guys, because big, big spot for George here. Oh, it's um, great, Edinburgh. Got to really think here in the situation, is Jim just going to take off with a king-queen, queen-10, queen king-10 ten type hand here? Would he not just take a freebie and George thinks he's just too high up and he's going to pay off and sees the bad news up against the Jack-8 suited? And we are going to lose George Wyatt from the tournament, Jim up to 48k. Uh, we're on a delay, Gary. We are indeed. Uh, 20 minutes. I didn't actually realise he was on the phone drawing the hand. If he was, he should be getting a telling off from the dealer. Yeah. Yeah, very, very few people use the phones while they're in the hand, but some obviously miss it. And uh... Are you just going to stare at that? Or is uh, it... I'm, I'm going to have it in a minute. Oh. I'm waiting. You're just taking pictures of it, Ian, and send it into your, uh, into your fans. Podcast on Edinburgh food could be a long session. <laughs> King taking a break from the PLO strips. Says John, John Bonner needs his horses one. Huh? He's won John Bon one. Even money favourite it was. Where's he played, Connor? Because I play that game pretty regularly. I've never seen King about. I'm guessing he plays up here, Scotland. Does he ever dabble into the London area? And the last day for us is Sunday. When we will crown a champion, you can still buy in up to day two. for Jim. Scotland area, I take it, Dennis. in the six card streets north of the border. Didn't know they knew what six card was up here, Tower. I thought it was just Scottish and Holden they played. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't bother with the gym tomorrow, Tower. As uh, Tim just said, you're never burning off this amount of calories, what we've been brought today. It's actually incredible. And if you're watching in the field, staff, player, can just pop into the comms booth because we've got a little tuck shop going here. Fiver, fiver for three things. Jim's got the chips now, so going to open up. 9-6 off from Hijack, gets involved. Donut. You're never full. Um, the dinner set me back, I'll tell you that. That's why I was sitting there, Sal, because in my head I was like, I'm still full, but it's just looking at me. Who eats the donut like that? On a plate? No, half and oh. half. Half, top half, top bottom half. <laughs> you didn't even bite into it? No, well, I, I had it like a, a jammy dodger. Are you like the ones that uh, that take all the <laughs> take all the chocolate off a of Mars bar? The Twix. The sides. The Twix, I do. Oh the Twix, you bite the top off the Twix and you just leave a nice bit of chocolate at the bottom. That's how you eat a Twix. You literally bite the top off. Yeah. 
So, Jim, gets out of the way. You like this for a bit. My mate, my mate sends me his bets through. He's had, he's had one, he's had two bets. Yep. L literally on the on the on the goal. first two rounds. Yep. Literally two bets. His first bet is Bryson DeChambeau, who's leading to miss the cup. Yep. And Brian Harmon, who is last to make the cup. to make the cup. Well done. There is two bets. He sounds like me. <laughs> he literally sounds like me, Tyler. <laughs> there is two bets. Brian Harmon was two under after ten holes, and his last eight holes he shot eleven over. I could do better than that. That's, that sounds like a me round. <laughs> <laughs> to be in the move and you to explode. There is four. There is four of us enjoying all the goodies. It's not just us two. And it's much appreciated as always for everybody who's uh, everybody who's treating the team to a few snacks. It's really nice. Lariness. With the ace check, three bets to 2.1. Ben in four. Is Frank going to sit down? Go on, Frank, what are you doing? Are you going to sit down? No. Is it easy? No, nope. it makes it too. Well, oh, yes, it's four bet to six point three. <laughs> it's four bet to six point three. He's not even sat down yet. Here comes Frank. I don't think we're playing the stand-up game in the tournament, but uh, oh, it's. <laughs> it's just said I might be clearing the spot for somebody else. <laughs> so we get a call from Laurinus with the ace jack of diamonds. <laughs> And an ace king ten flop. Frank hasn't sat down yet. We're betting five. I haven't sat down over here yet either. <laughs> <laughs> Frank put the lot in. He's getting snapped by Laurinus. Can't fold, surely. Well, he's cleaned the table for somebody. He's said hello to the table. He's not sat down yet. Oh, he's going to sit down for. His <laughs> he's going to sit down to see his cards. What's the card protector? He's got the, pro <laughs> the card protector, and there's a call to see that he's drawing to like four percent. <laughs> so, Frank's going for a re-entry. 
Frank's offer a re-entry is at the shortest uh, to feature table ever. He's cleaned it for us. But he has sat down. And that's it. So he now stands up. He's sat in the chair for 28 seconds. And uh, he's cleaned the table. Cheers, Jim. He says, Jim's like, what's happening here? Frank's off. <laughs> Somebody gets a clean spot. Frank's off. Well, that was quick. That was entertaining. <laughs> he spent longer cleaning the rail than he did playing the game. <laughs> Was like the Royal Rumble where they're only in for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh. What did I miss? What did he get in with? 8 6. Just randomly? He, just he, he, four, he four bit with eight, four bit pre, not sat down, then then cleaned the rail for two minutes with his, uh, with his cleanser, get it a good old wipe from uh, seats four to six, and then uh, clock come Ace King 10. Uh, he's up against Ace Jack. And then he put the rest in. Merry Christmas, Lawrence. Then, then sat down and then stood back up and left. And at four o'clock, guys, going to do the first giveaway of the festival. We are. For a stab, and that does have gut shot, so we're going to make the call. changing anything it'll be difficult to stick around for another street as Matt if met with some aggression looks like King Shock is going to go for a second barrel should be hand over He's a regular here, Dennis. I've seen him all week. He was in Ireland as well. I remember seeing him in Ireland. Yeah. Remember the headgear? question should be that Tim how many calories in 200 donuts it's probably what we're going to consume this week and aces yet again <laughs> it's day of the aces I've never seen anything like it tower 
I'd actually go as far as saying is today is a record for most aces ever seen on live stream and we've you still don't only seen that in a week and we've still got seven hours left of the day if we did the live stream of goliath for the full eight days you wouldn't see it or nine days or whatever it is if you want aces get yourself to the feature So what do you want guys? Do you want a J or do you want a tower fix? First three names. I've got the best question ever. Alright, I'll go first. Alright, forget that, I'll go first. We're gonna do another one today, ever. I've anyway. got the best question ever. We'll do another couple. Two minutes. You got any paper? I need Sharpie, I need paper. I've got a Sharpie. Ta -da! I've got I've got paper. Piano cats in the building. Uh, no, Mike, I don't really back the old horses. I'll have a flutter on the national tomorrow, and that's about it. He's doing a lucky 63 for everybody. Yeah, I'm going to, Tower's going to put out his treble. I'll put out my lucky 63. Indeed. And then you've got the six horses that you want to lay for the day. Because none will be winning. <laughs> Another big hand, this time Kings for King. Kings. What's your biggest win on the national? My biggest win? I've never had a national winner. Never? Never had a national winner. I've had a place or so, but I've never had a national winner. And I've probably backed the national for 20 plus years. Because when... Oh, like, as you do. When, when yeah. mum and dad... Dad's going to book big, his... Mum and dad, big horse racing fans, like when we were little, who pick, pick a name you like in the paper... It'd go and have a pound each way on it for us, and uh, yep. still yet to get a national winner. And what a flop for King. Dry as you like, with top set. So, rightly so. Checking it. Trying to let someone catch up on the turn. Complete rainbow board now. Oh! Frank's back! No way! How's that even possible? Do you, reckon, do you reckon, even though no one has sat in his seat, do you reckon the rail still gets a clean? <laughs> How's that even possible? <laughs> so check on the flop is going to get one street from Matt here. I'm going to stick around with his four. Five of hearts on the river. So clean as you like for king. Six three, not a thing. Six eight, not a thing. So we have the effective nuts. Just going to get to go for value. Even ace three suited, going to fold on the turn just with a gut shot. Avoid Jay's national bets tomorrow. <laughs> like Towers treble. <laughs> Avoid both, basically, what you're saying. The last Towers treble in Edinburgh came in. Yep, it is a shocker, man, a straw. If I pulled up my betting history for the last 10 years, I reckon 0.0.0.0 0 
one percent, I reckon, coming. Probably one in a thousand, I reckon I am, close to, something like that. Mm -mm. But there's still time. The next ten years is when we're going to hit the variance. We're going to go on this, the upswing. And think the hero in this off here, Matt, with just the four. Maybe a non-believer because of the flop check. Maybe thinking after king checks flop, not going to have king X or better and not going to value bet worse than the king. So, potentially thinking about hero in here. But king betting into three players on the turn and continuing to barrel river. I'd be surprised if he called this off. So straight out to the sand. Just theoretically, Rory. 8 6 suited, 6 3 suited, can't call. Well, they're not supposed to pre flop facing the MP open from King. If you've got 6 3, 8 6 on the button, should just be hitting the muck. And then the other thing is, as well, the turn bet. I doubt they're going to call with one card to come. Up and downs will be in there, but I doubt they're going to call when King bets into three players with just a gut shot, just four outs, one card to come. Seems optimistic. How long is Frank gonna last? <laughs> Goes with a free bet, gets it done. <coughs> Run through them rules. We have, we've not been streaming for three weeks. Is it giveaway time? It is. All right, he's cut it three minutes early, but oh well, a uh, quick rundown of the rules, guys. You've got a good chance as well. Only 300 people watching, so great chance yes. if you're in the chat right now. Tower is going to ask me a question. I will write the question down on this, the answer down on this piece of paper. Closest to my answer is going to win themselves a 50 euro bounty series token. It is, it is a great question. There you go. 50 euro bounty series question. One guess per account. If you multiple guess, you will be disqualified. And do not guess until we say go. Don't give me any clues in the chat box, please. So... No clues. What is currently your favourite place in Scotland? Lossiemouth. What's the population? Population of Lossiemouth. Ten things. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. I didn't even know it was a place. It could have been anything. Three. Two. One. There we go. What is the population of Lossy Mouth? Go! No, yeah, no guessing. No guessing. No, <laughs> no double guessing. No multiples. We've got these F12 buttons and all that malarkey. What do you press these days for that? Uh, control F. Control F. And then I type the winner's name in, and yep. if it comes up with a two in the box, I know they've double guessed. Oh. And then they're right on the chopper. Where's Frank gone? <laughs> Frank's, Frank's disappeared now. To go on to balance the tables, you see. What is the population of Lossiemouth? What is the population of Lossiemouth? For a £50 token, you can either wait to see if Jay can give you any clues, or you can write it down because Jay's guess will be miles off the correct <laughs> answer. So we had to go and balance the tables, did Frank? So what is the population of Jay's new favourite place in Scotland, Lossiemouth? I'll have to have a trip there. Is it north? Is it south? Is it east? Is it west? It's... I think it's proper north. Proper north. I think it's proper north.
population of Lossy Mouth, and it's me guessing. Lossy Mouth is a town in Moray. Oh, it's a town. Now you tell me it's a town. Whoa, 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 now, now you tell me whoa, it's a town. Whoa, no. I, I thought Lossy Mouth was capital of uh, uh, capital of Scotland until <laughs> Edinburgh become capital. <laughs> It's up north. It's 122 miles from Edinburgh. That's what it is. Shall we go? Ace five suited for Ed. See, the biggest question is what would what, what, what would be the dialing code? If you got that, I'd have been impressed. Let me tell you, plus four four, right? <laughs> What is the population of Lossy Mouth? Get your guesses in it's for about five minutes. It's for the £50 token. And anybody get the guesses correctly or as close to Jay's guess and not the correct answer, which you can Google, obviously. How do you know it's not the correct answer? Well, I don't, to be fair. You've been very close in the... I make them nice and easy for you. Yeah, that was easy. I get... I, I get to the cube root of 48.3 X's of all sorts. Okay, I'm just going to take a stab with the five height. So, that's, yep, that's the trick. For the first token of the week, what is the population of Lossy Mouth? Lossy Mouth is 122 miles north of Edinburgh. Well, there we go. <laughs> Mori Firth is beautiful, says Piano Cat. There we go. Might have to take a trip. RAF Town is Lossy, up next to Elgin. Elgin's a football team, isn't it? It's in the northeast. <laughs> the answer is a loss of people. <laughs> Lots of people. <laughs> How are we doing, Paul? Are you playing the 2550 Glasgow next week? Are you making an entrance to the Turbo tonight? <coughs> so Queen ten two flop checked ten pairs the turn. <laughs> Lovely river for King. Just assume we're going to go for some more value. So keep the guesses coming in, and we'll give you the correct answer after this hand. I'm guessing Jim's got a check back queen here on the flop tower. Maybe a check back trap flush. In the 
old tank. Mmm. Could he have something like King Queen? Yeah, he could. Check back King Queen, potentially. King Queen, King of Clubs. That does let it go. He has got out of the way. So, a few weeks ago, we heard Lossy Mouth for the first time. And now I want to know the population. The actual answer, Lossy Mouth, is 122 miles north of Edinburgh. It's on the coast. It looks stunning. It's in the town of Moray. And its population is 6,840. Do you know what? I'm kind of tilted now that you've told me that. Because I put them in my Scottish body part treble a few weeks back. And if I knew they had a population that I'm probably the 12th best player in that town to have. I'll move to Lossy Mouth. I'd, I'd be on the bench for their team. <laughs> 6,000. 6,840. You've got a minute. Has he given any clues? I could move to Lossy Mouth, get in there starting 11. <laughs> and play myself. Have a fag at half time. Yeah. <laughs> Bet they do. <laughs> You've got a minute. Six thousand. To get your guesses in. So we have more than that at the Goliath. It's <laughs> not a lot of people. Six thousand. I didn't think it would be massive, but 6,000 is, is not many people, Tower. Mm. It must be tiny. So has Jay given you any clues? Amya says, should have waited for the clue. 10, 6, 5, 2 diamond board. Gordon chooses to continue for 800. That blues Jim. But do we expect Matt? Oh, maybe not actually. I've just seen Matt stack 7.4k. Um, should have jammed pre as Matt here. Starting the hand with 28. Pure jam, in my opinion, with Ace Queen here after an open and a call. Squeeze shove seemed like the best way to proceed. Lord pairs on the turn. But now we get it. It looks like Jim is going to go for float with Jack Nine. Wrap round that ten. Checks through to the Nine River, and Jim must have known River's the best of it. But it's a, it's a bloody hard question, Tal, because if you, you're unaware, if you just know a place by name, you don't know the size of it, it's a very, very difficult question because it could be anything. And Edinburgh's population over half a million. So there you go, says Piano Cat. So this checks through, and Jack Nine going to be good for Jim. Snags the pair on the end. So, we've got a final 20 seconds to get your guess in, and then we will be closing the comp. What is the comp population of Lossy Mouth? And I'm going to put the comp. It's closing now. Ten seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Nine, <coughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Close that comp. Make the mod. Where's make the mod? I'm working, I'm guessing. So there we go. We have closed the comp. So the correct answer was 6,840. And he's on the bench for the next match. What did you say, Jay? Well, it was a hard one, but the starting point I had was Lossy Mouth when I looked there in like the fifth tier of English football. Have you already uh, checked? Scottish football. No, I've done the treble, the body part treble. Last oh, time you we did, in yes. I remember them being in the fifth tier, and yep. fifth tier teams, they're not that big. It's no. not like a city. But I didn't think it would be as small as 6,000 because I couldn't think how a, t uh, a population of less than 10k 
would have a football team okay. in a competitive league at least. So I went slightly higher, a bit more higher. It's not bad. 17,000. 17,000 on the dots. So it was a difficult one. I didn't I didn't have a starting point. There was no way I yeah. could sort of have a educated guess. It was just a number. Well done. Good effort. Really, really good effort. 17,000. Not bad at all, I thought. And the good thing is, yes. someone is going to win themselves a 50 they euro are. token for online. And that someone yes. is O'Rafo on Twitch. You guess 17,200. And 23. Very nice indeed. So, oh, Rafo on Twitch, uh, Purple Poppy, and there was another one on Twitch that guessed just over that very as well. Close. So, uh, Fuzz the Duck on YouTube. Uh, we're very close, but the winner is oh, Rafo. We're going to do more giveaways later today, guys. Congratulations. Uh, dinner break in 30 minutes. They're so going to concentrate on the action until dinner. Oh, Rafo, can you please drop your alias that you play under on Grosvenor Poker into the chat? Like it. And that token will be sent to your account at some point this week. Well done. So stick in the aliases. Nice one, Urafo. Uh, no, no last minute guarantees this time, Robbie. Good to see oh, you this week as oh, always. I, I wonder why he said that. I know. Unbelievable. Massive stack yesterday. Well done, 145,000 day off today. Sitting with seven startings. I'm trying to get. Mm. <laughs> Kev Frame, to be honest with you, we get. 200 runners, let's say, 250 runners, let's say, for that. 5 million play. Yeah. It's got 206k, 20, uh, average for 20 left. Yeah. Assuming we got 250, but. 268. Good stack that, Dave Doherty, as well. But a uh, nice one, Robbie. Good effort. And uh, fingers crossed for a good run tomorrow. Yeah, what a stack for Kev. Good luck tomorrow, Robbie. Nice day off to, today. Big blind starts at 1,200 for day two. So over 100 bigs for Mr. Ball. And there's a coin lose for two spades. The flop. So we need a file, won't it? A raffle. Oh, raffle. Come on, old raffle, get your name in. We'll have to do, oh, we'll have to do another one. Uh -oh. Give him six minutes. Six minutes, old raffle. Can't just guess and leave. Otherwise, it's going to be going to second place. Must be here to claim. None of this, put your answer in. Disappear for two hours, come back. Did I win? Who, who 
Apocalypse. Yeah, exactly, Apocalypse. The raffle, are you there? You can't just guess and leave. Point in that. You have your money token taken off you. Is Fuzz the Duck there? Ooh, Fuzz the Duck, are you there? You want to sweat Fuzz the Duck on YouTube? We'll give him till 20 past, if not. I'm gonna have to give it to Fuzz the Duck. Fuzz the Duck okay. is on a sweat. Ten minutes is enough time to make yourself known in the chat box. Fuzz the Duck's not there. The other one I'd wrote down, the third place was Purple Poppy. So make yourself known if you're in the chat. If our original winner doesn't make themselves known by 20 past, we'll have to drop down the pecking order. Because gotta give it away. Three better here makes it 2.8 from the small blind. Queen Jack six rainbow. Yeah, if it, 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 no one wants this token tower. Nobody. 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 No purple poppy. No fuzz the duck. No arafo. And we got uh, Joe Benson. You there, Joseph Benson? <laughs> Who was fourth place? Does anyone want it? The <laughs> arafo. You got two minutes. Raise the kev was that far away, he just wants he voided. Yeah. <laughs> Fuzz the duck. Fuzz the duck is there, there we go. That's the second one. You've got two minutes, we need we need your alias for growing the poker, and in two minutes time, a Rafo does not win. Yeah, so a Rafo's got till 20 past, he was first with the guess, you were second. So if a Rafo's not in in one minute with his username. Put your alias in the chat, Fuzz the Duck, and we will get your 50 euro token sent to your account. You can't just join the giveaway, put a guess in the chat, and then bugger off for two hours. Exactly. Come back in. Did I win? Who won the giveaway? What was the answer? Unbelievable techers. Not won it yet. But uh, we're going to need an alias in one minute's time if you are still there. Jack 10 for Jim. So go on then, Foster Duck. You've got it. There you go. Foster Duck. Ali alias in chat. You've box. got one minute to give us your grown alias. Uh, Mukhtar is here. He yes. is playing. He's played everything. 
He has played everything. We've got 20 minutes to go until we head out on dinner. Our dinner break, I'm assuming. <coughs> so, Fast the Duck needs your alias. 20 minutes to go till dinner. He's just loading it up. So, 40 minutes. That's the break in 20 minutes' time. King 10 for Matt raises to 600. King 9 suited for Gordon. I think versus Matt's stack size. Probably just get out of there. Like if Matt was deep enough, one that we can use as a free bet for sure. I think versus stack size, we just go with fold, but Gordon is going to free bet. There we go, Fuzz the Duck, uh, 70 in the main event today, uh, Bob Marley, 70, there's a uh, cash out satellite running now, there's a turbo at 9 o'clock. Every token was credited for Blackpool, you won one there. Fantastic, well done. God, Paul Clements has gone all out for us. They got muffins as well. I didn't realise there were muffins do, in there. Do, do you know what? I feel sorry for whoever was behind Paul Clements in the queue at Greg's. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Uh, yeah, I'll have two eclairs, please, uh, and four donuts. Uh, two chicken uh, bacon lettuce baguettes. Three muffins as well. On top of that, uh, two cream cakes and a couple of pies. Yeah, can I have uh, two steak bakes as well, please? Paul, uh, Shout out to Paul Clements, bringing us in the lot. <laughs> As Matt moves in with ace 10 for 20 over the hijack open from Jim. I think this is nice. And Jim shouldn't be calling off ace 5 suited, but he's got the chips. Brianna Cat, you're more than welcome. Don't forget the 14 Scotch pies that got delivered at 2.30. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> mm. I think eating's underrated. I really do. We got cakes and Snacks and savouries off Val, Valerie Wiley. Thank you very much, Valerie. And that will seal the deal other than a chop. One of the best of Flopsy in the five. That instant service for Matt King of Clubs on the turn for him. Said. We know Jim likes to put it in with the when he's got the chips and did call it off for 20. Nice double up for Matt there.
So a 40 minute break in around about 15 minutes time. Gary McGaffney in the chat with his tip. How did we get on yesterday, Gary? Yeah, how did we get on yesterday, Gary? Here we go. Let's give us another one. Did we win any money yesterday? Lines one three with a three. Jim's cards unfortunately not showing. Lauren us out of the way. Count with the king six. Won't be doing anything. Oh no, Weston was beaten by a nose, he said. Oh, it fluffed the last fence. Oh man. Jim chip leader 42,000 lines at 1 3 with a 3. 12 minutes to go until the end of this session. Fluff the last fence, did it, Gary? It did. I didn't watch it. No. Fluff the last fence, or would have been quids in. Quids in. And now he's again as one for the 515. Good luck to everybody who's on Dens with if anybody fancies a little Gally McGaffney flutter. Afternoon Whopper, how's things? Just the hundred balls at the range. Nice one. Nice one. Come round the old links one day. Good to get on the range. I need to. Flipping it. Do I need to? Ed Swales out of the way. Round to Gordon, who also folds with the King Nine. Jim McLean. 
Been on the feature a couple of times. Uh, the break is 40 minutes, Jerry. And in about eight minutes' time, it'll start. 40 minute break on its way. Jim flops, trips, jacks. But the flush draws there for the Lorinus, and now two pair for King Shook with the King of Spades on the turn after he's checked all the way around. Now Jim leads. Lorinus with the flush draw gets out of the way. It's about 12. Don't know why we're still on gym when the camera's changed angles. The river. Here's the two of spares, the back doors there. Again, like a nice bad juke, is that over oh, half? One, two, three, three point eight. Into four point eight. King Chuck with the two pair. Back doors got there. Yeah, it's a good fold. It's a good fold for King Shook. So heading towards the break, around about five minutes to go until the end of this session.
tell us you're old. King Nine calls the 300 out of the big. <coughs> Doesn't hit any part of it. That's see that should end proceedings and on to the next. players on its way 40 minute break bring us to 20 past 5 5 20 p.m. Seven raises up, makes it one point two. Oh, seven hundred, sorry, makes it seven hundred. Boom, cow. Just calls the seven out of a small. Oh, King Shook with the jacks. What a setup. Just King Shook won't be just calling. He's going to definitely raise him. Makes it about three. 3.1. Three bets to 3.3. Three. And this should be. In from Cal. Oh no, no, yep. In it goes, and a call. So Cal's got the Kings just with a call. Gets him a big chance to double. A near starty stack. Jack in the pot. Needs to fade the Jack of Clubs and Cal Monreal will get back up to 17. And does. So back up to near starting. Last hand of the session. Jim King, ten of diamonds, makes a call. Four 
14 minute break just started. We are off to the flop because Matt's going to see a flop with sevens. Last hand of the sesh. Any flops about for Ed? Ace, Jack, Nine, but it is all clubs. up as the sevens get out of the way. Give me a check again. And this might just go no head firing out then. And that'll be the end of it. <laughs> Jim's not calling this. He's off for his 40 minute break. in the old spiel. He's still folding. And there we go. And that is it. We will see you in 40 minutes as the dinner break is on. Back with the next session at 20 past five. Yep. We're down to 44 and then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Well, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very very soon but what an amazing day we have had 1125 runners we got in the money instantly 21 all in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble we burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners tomorrow we are going to crown a champion of the biggest goliath ever but who is it going to be Join us tomorrow.
and there is the call from Ariane. Yeah, and Cobb really fought him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The queens! The set of queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not queens full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in. Straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, Inny. And do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, no, he hasn't as well. He's 5 3 for Tim Slater. And that was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green, eight, two. That is that it. Is it. We've we got have a champion. champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, go. Rutter. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Fantastic. Well done.
now. I don't want to see a jack or a six. No! Jeez! <laughs> Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history! <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been and people are still buying it. Clubs and queens fall on the end. in the stream. <laughs> there is the shout in the stream. Let's go, he says.
144 players as it speaks, and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leaning up. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and you just sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it just, yeah. yeah, just couldn't lose a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and cold <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader, but uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight ever. Thanks a lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully it goes well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Hi, yeah. Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yep. And making good plays, so yeah. I've been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just, you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your table today? Well, I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they say at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. You, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. We're down to 44. And then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Well, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all in the calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
there is the call from Ariane. Yeah, and Cobb really news. fought him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The Queens! The set of Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in. Straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, Inny. And do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, no, he hasn't as well. He's 5 3 for Tim Slater. So that is a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green, eight, two. That is that it. Is it. We're we have a champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, go. Rutter. Get out of it. Get, Get out of it. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Fantastic. Well done.
now. I don't want to see a jack or a six. No! Jeez! Wednesday we announce a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history! <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been, and people are still buying it. Kings and clubs and Ooh. queens fall on the end.
to 44 players as it speaks, and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short staff, and now I'm just leader. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. And um, you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight ever. Thanks a lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully it goes well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, oh, yeah. Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. Been getting nice cards. Yep. And making good plays, so yep. I've been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your table today? Well, I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they say at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. That's you, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44. And then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Well, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
so, so sharp. Roasted. That was that high. And you said they're sharp. It's a small thing with the other man. Did you say that? Uh, Mike, Mike, you Here we go. Another session, all been watered and fed. Sausage mash, garden peas and gravy. <laughs> Looking forward to my pies later. <laughs> all of them. Well, good ask the chef yet. Yeah. Chef! I'll be supper. He will. I reckon about nine o'clock. Ish. Could be 25 past five, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> So off we go, Matt Davenport on the feature, Paul Clements on the feature table, and the Orcs bit. Plenty going on. Paul Clements sat in the same seat as he was in the eye roller. They're going to need to uh, finish fifth in this pool just to get back what he spent at Greg's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to the man. <laughs> off the bag's gone already. Always get treated here in Edinburgh as Mark defends with fives. <laughs> so the next session is upon us. Matt's just joined with uh, with Sinead. here from Andrew. The mark with the fives, paired board rainbow, do expect to continue. Aaron does go for this approach, see a lot more of that this day, these days on these paired boards from the big blind, going for check raise with some two pairs, some under pairs, some 7x there for example. It does get the fours out of there, we did actually have the best of it, first pot going his way. Another giveaway coming up at this session, be about six o'clock. I've got a good question for you as well. Have you? It's actually a really good question. Okay. King Jack for Paul. Raises to 800 and marking the small blind here. Both options available. Near 90 effective. Just going to go with Call. Good free bet versus LP. Flat fine as well. We'll have some of both. King Jack to Paul Clements on the Queen Eye flop checks. Marking three. They're just making an assumption that going to have the best of it enough of the time once flop checks through. Still got Yarny to worry about behind, uncapped, just checking to the aggressor, but just flushing out equity of overs. Another pot going his way. 
So funny, you missed it earlier when you was out. Uh, someone asked me about my golf bets. Oh, I was right. talking to the stream and I just hear a shout from outside the comms booth. Keith Littlewood, don't worry, Jay, the cut's at plus nine now. <laughs> Moronk still wouldn't make it. Great month for sport in April. You get, you get the Euros this summer as well, forget about that. <laughs> We're concentrating on the main event. Action should start to pick up a bit now. 100 to 200 big blind poker can sometimes be rather dull. When hands aren't colliding, you haven't got a superstar on the table. And now, every pot important. Pull opens again, raises to 600. Matt flats with position, Andrew. Nice one to defend from the big blind. Flop checking through to seven of diamonds turn. Don't know what Paul on that hold, but Andrew should be checking again here. He does check it over to Paul. And that with position. Looks like gonna fire here. We'll have hands like Ace 10, King 10, Jack 10. The 10X are the first thought that comes to mind. Turn set of sevens. Also some Queen Jack in there as well. Seems like a Fairly nice check handed eight three weight. It's just gonna get the nine out of there. Pick up for Matt Davenport. <clears throat> no pies being tried yet, Mel. Glad you're back home safe and sound. Streams on with the little lad. We're having them a selection for for, for uh, supper. Around about nine pm ish. Could be earlier, could be later. We'll let you know. But thanks very much, Mel. As always, much appreciated. Now you've done the school run, Mel. Giveaway coming up in half hour as Go well. Go on, then. So make sure, stay tuned. Incoming. I see it for Mark. We'll be getting involved. Great start to the day. Nearly three starting stacks. Not even at the halfway mark yet. Makes it seven. <coughs> Andy ought to be out of the way. David Johnson also. <coughs> yeah, I went through Tower's book. I was reading a few on stream. But my favourite one actually come in the chat box. I, I had a phone call. Go on. Can you tell Jay he didn't pronounce any one of them correct? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite? Uh, the one that was in the chat box when I found out what colour a St Mirren scarf was. <laughs> Teeth like a St Mirren scarf. <laughs> Let's have, a look. Let's have a look. Lang me your rumney. <laughs> it gives me the bocky. <laughs> I'm guessing that's bulk, isn't it? Mm. He's got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Oh, that's an that's Yeah, that's an <laughs> A face like a scout is. <laughs> Ack away and bile your head. 
<laughs> Am I getting on all right? This it takes me back to school. This like reading from a book when the teacher picks you and you've got to read aloud to the class. A nods as guid as a wink to a blind tay a blind horse. Excuse my Scottish. Oh, there's some there's some belters in here. No pun intended. Gallivanting. My mum loves that word, gallivanting. She uses that all the time. Are you off gallivanting? Yeah, she used to use that all the time. Like it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jack of Diamonds on the turn. Paul turns a pair. Up against the flush draw. Paul Clements. McCauley versus Clements. I'm probably just going to check here as Paul uh, looks like going to fire his jack. Seems like a nice one to check behind now, picking up a healthy amount of showdown. But maybe knows his customer, going to get a streak from a flush draw. And also with position does get the option to just check this back as Paul on all rivers that aren't a jack or a nine. Three clubs river. May not get Completes. It the option to check it back because Paul Clements has rivered a flush and may have some lead in in mind. And that does go with lead here. And the pull with just a jack. Difficult one to call. There is some stuff bricking out. But the thing is the diamond drawers through the back door that brick out are gonna contain a pair a lot of the time. Ace X of Diamonds, five X of Diamonds, which are just gonna play check. But you could have maybe like a three, four of diamonds, something along those lines, but it looks like Paul McCauley gonna pay with your second pair. And Paul Clements gets paid for his rivered flush. Smiling and laughing, he's paid me, he's paid me. <laughs> Polly, pop, 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 pop. He's, he's checking his updates as he, on his bets. That's all he's doing. He's on J, and I think his bets are as good as. <laughs> well, I shan't, I shan't say anything, but it uh, does need to work over the weekend. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah. Matt's the arm, I was my main bet, Polly, Paul, Paul, Paul. But the, the annoying thing is, we've done like a fantasy football, but for golf. Yeah. Pick six golfers, yeah. and four of my golfers combined. A plus 30 between them. I've got one at plus seven, two at plus five, and one at plus 13. <laughs> so, uh, isn't it the highest score? Sure, wins? Sure, yes, what I thought it was. If no. Stato's watching, is it the highest score wins? <laughs> Hope it is. <laughs> plus 30 is going to be hard to beat. So, uh, not, not the weekend for me, Polly, but we've got the national tomorrow and towers treble, so there's still time for it to go drastically worse. <laughs> Under the gun open from Matt, Jack eight of spades, both pulls in the mix again. And Queen Jack Deuce, the flop, checking through. We're going to check back with the middle pair. Nice one to use, seven of diamonds on the turn. <coughs> Go either way here for Matt. Check, I think, fine. Small turn, probably fine. Wants to check two twice. Does check back once more. And eight on the river, so does river two pair, but losing to any bare diamond now. And Paul 
Is he going to have a stab? No, he's not. Checked over to Matt, and I'm guessing we're going to be good enough for the time. <coughs> Maybe lose to a small diamond some of the time from Paul McCauley in the big. But he does check behind and take that one down. 57,000 big stack with the blinds at 300. Day 1B well underway, satellite running as well, there's also a turbo at 9 o'clock. Bob Marley says, Mr. Incredible for the National. I don't even know the runners and runners. Oh, I don't even know. Not a clue. Not a Scooby. Sure we'll get on it tomorrow and have a look. Makes it six. Pulls in in the small in the form of a three bet. Makes it 2.5k. Nice size. Hand a bit dubious. But aggression prevails. How are we doing, Mehmet? Hi, Mehmet. 130 in so far. Yep. Jack this time, opening from cutoff. Seven hundred to go. And raise and take, not much happening. Twenty minutes though, going to have another giveaway. Will be a tower finks. Got lots of tokens to give away over the course of the weekend. Do a few spot prizes as well. I think it's time we come up with a new game as well. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. I'll leave it with you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. <coughs> uh, we land Mehmet at about 2 p.m. I've got the Monday off, so I think it's just going to be some time with the other half. No no drinking, just probably. What? Little, uh, I might have a couple with dinner or something, but I won't. I won't. I won't. Be silly. So I think that the Monday I'll probably just be exploring, having some food, getting an early night. <clears throat> Paul Clements involved again with the 10-7. Opens to six. Side flop, A7-6, a world catch a piece. And Paul checking back with his second pair. Queen of Diamonds turn. It can go either way here, Gianni. It's just going to come out firing. But these raggy aces from the big on the ace high board, when we check the aggression, they check back and we get a clean turn off. Oh, okay candidates to check again a lot of the time we will get the lacy bet from our opponent once checked two twice on the ace high board 
but just goes with the stab and top notch fold there from Paul Clements not paying off one street with third pair. Must be really warm in here because you have stuff looking at me like Is Paul Clements going to get a fold a hand in no. this session? Not yet, do you know, this one. Makes it 900. Nine off for Andrew here. He's just going to defend. Maybe thoughts of three bet in there, just because of how active Paul, Paul's been. Like standard, yeah, we're just going to defend a lot of the time, take a flop, but maybe as an exploit, a guy that's opened basically every pot since we've been back. No, that's not a bad flop. Yeah, could have potentially got after it, but takes the standard approach as you expect. Then, lovely looking flop, the top two pair. Three clubs turn. Yeah, and Paul's timing impeccable, not going for C bet or delay. And the four spades on the river and the upper on it. Ball will get out of the way and we'll move on to the next. Cheers, Mehmet. I will do. I'll see you there. See Paul's cars this time, but he's raised again. Was that five on the trot? Yeah, and Tom sits down and takes advantage of it straight away. Free bet into 2k and over to Andy in the small. Cold four coming in from the Hawks. <laughs> I would say if Tom hadn't just sat down, this is Tom's second hand, I think, Tower. He's literally just got to the table. Mm -hmm. Like, if he hadn't sat down, this would actually be a really good cold four spot with a decent blocker as a bluff. But Tom's literally sat down, so he's unaware of. Paul just opening basically every pot off the break. Yep. So I'm guessing Andy probably had it there.
How are you doing, Peter? Good evening. Just logged off work now, setting in for a night. It's great streaming. Nice one. We've got a giveaway in 15 minutes. We were sweating the golf, I'm not anymore. <laughs> You'll need to re bet after Tower yeah, Stables out I'm, I'm probably going to have a post cut bet. <laughs> Queen Jack offsuit from Gun. Tom with the free bet. And Paul not going anywhere, wants to get involved here. Richie Byrne has got Danny Willett at 500 to 1. Whoa. And he's up there. He is about 3 or 400, isn't he? Danny Willett. Rotherham Golf Club professional. Danny Willett. Was he? Yep. He was indeed. <laughs> Seen that uh, video on socials. I'm not sure if Paul's thinking about leading here. I think we're going to have better candidates, but he's in there in the free bet coup out of position with Queen Jack off. I'm not going to take a stab. Tom has picked up Will Draw here. See what he comes with with the Ace 10. So, check, check. And Paul gets there. Queen of Hearts on the end. But does bring four to a flush, and Tom just going to show the ace high, and Paul going to be good with the queen jack. <laughs> yeah, saw a video on social. Yeah, uh, tw Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, new, new club pro at one of the golf courses. Mm -hmm. Got all the cameras around. This is first tee off on the first tee box. Yeah, only goes and tops it left, doesn't it? <laughs> Nearly it's the people, all the, all the bystanders. <laughs> new, new club. Take two. Yeah, new, new, new club pro. Everyone there watching his first tee off <laughs> tops it. Uh, Happens to the best. Take two. Uh, I don't think he's looked yet, Zuma. Tower's Grand National I teams. will. Uh, I'll do the horses. Leave the horses with me. Tower will do the football. I'll have, a, I'll, have a, I'll have a Grand National pick tomorrow. It starts at four. I don't know if they'll be pausing the clock to, for the players to watch the Grand National. I think they should. Maybe take the dinner at four o'clock instead of twenty past. Yeah, I'll put out a lucky sixty-three. See, uh, we're we're actually two for two. Last two horses. Yes. We'll forget about the few before that, but few. <laughs> nearly <laughs> fifty. <laughs> Forty-six. I actually requested to Jim next year that the UK Open not clash with uh, Cheltenham Week. <laughs> right, I'm never going to open from Tom. And that free bets to 1.5k. Cold four from plus two from Mark. Now this is as nutted a range as it comes here. Shame we haven't got whole cards tower, but cold four, gun plus one, plus two. Like ace queen off would probably be a bluff here for Mark. Like ace queen off would probably be the bluff in this given scenario. But it looks like Matt not wanting to go anywhere so he calls but we're playing two very condensed ranges now gun open plus one free bet plus two four bet premiums eight i flop eight three six yeah, so Matt's not going to have pocket eight sixes or threes, so no set advantage going his way. However, we still have the aces, the kings, so expect to see high frequency continue from Mark. That goes fairly chunky here. 3.6 into 8.8. .8. 
So 40% sizing, tend to see smaller sizes in 4 bet coups, but maybe a function of how deep these two players are, over 130 to start the hand, so maybe a larger size choice, bet 40% to do with exactly that, wanting to try and play for stacks by a river, which could make sense. I guess we also do push that over pair advantage as well, aces and kings, obviously both in our range. But would love to be able to see whole cards here, Tower, because it's a very intriguing pot. It's a unique situation that you don't see too often at a poker table, four bet pot with these positions. And this is something that I'm shocked to see Raise? Raise from Matt here to 12.5k on a board which, as mentioned, is going to be marks. Aces and kings in there. Matt's not going to free bet eights versus gun, I don't think. Maybe in there at a small frequency, chucking one or two combos, but this raise is interesting. Would love to know what was happening there. But we'll never know. <clears throat> Have you got any paper tower? We've got, got ten, right. ten minutes. Oh, Do you want to go get the teas ready for the giveaway and bring the paper yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, I don't think Matt raises jacks. That's the thing, Simon. I'd love to know what he had. bringing him because he's good like that. Another three about this time mark the 1.2. Paul McCauley in nine. Flicks in a four bit. Paul getting after it, love it. Just unfazed. <laughs> I think this has got to be some sort of card reader error going on. Yeah. I, th I think Matt and Tom's cards have mixed up. And maybe Tom's got the Ace Five suit. Well, we're gonna find out anyway. Here we go. What is going on on this table? It ain't Ace Four and Ace Five. If it is, we're closing down for the day. Could be Aces against Aces. Oh, that's it. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming. We'll see you later. What? There you go. Catch you later, guys. Apologies. We never doubted anything was wrong. Three, four, or five. Is four a bet, five bet. Ace, four, ace, five. Chop it up. Let's chop it up. What has happened there? What have they put in the sausages? <laughs> what did they put in the sausages? I have no idea, Tower. That was fun. Maybe Matt, Matt, uh, we gave Matt and uh, the the four bet pot before a bit too much credit. Absolutely.
Well, this is a fun table. Nine deuce now for Mark, yeah? Is this, is this, am I seeing things correctly? Do I need, I don't, I don't think we're going to go to the giveaway if this carries on. I think we're going to, oh, they might have the straddle on. Okay, they're doing a round of straddles. It makes sense, it makes sense. Ben Teague's a genius. That's it. In the tourney, he'll stick a straddle on. So it was actually a four bet from Tom Legs out with the straddle on, so not 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 saying that that makes it any better, but How are we going, Sam? I don't, Sam. We will see Sam in Luton. We're checking it up, Tom. I've messaged uh, someone a lot better than me to oh, man, run a little spot. And they said they don't think there's any raising going on on that board, but they're going to check for us. The person was the tower. The person that I messaged. There you go. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, message just come through. He says four bet. I don't four bet. I'm just all in. Four bet. Four no. bet's not a thing for I the don't tower. Four bet with jacks. Interesting here, the fact that comes an ace of hearts on the river. Don't really expect too much ace x to be out there other than ace x of space, but we've already seen some carnage from Paul McCauley, let's say, to start this session. <laughs> Looks like going to go for a small quarter pot. And Paul just says, you know what, have that. I'm turning the eights into a bluff. You want to choose this small size, sir, you're going to get punished. <laughs> and I, do you know what, I hope Andrew faults here because I want Paul to stay on the table tower. The chat box probably don't because we're going to a giveaway and I'm going <laughs> to postpone it while this action is occurring but great little 10 minutes here and Paul just saying don't think you ever choose this size with an ace if you want to call me off with a 10 you're going to have to pay sir These are really tough, these spots, Tower, against opponents that you know are capable but can also rock up with it. Like, Paul's the type, even in a single, like, even on the button here, the straddle was on. So, even on the button, he can peel deuce three suited, he can peel king deuce suited, queen deuce suited. Oh, these type the of hands, but top notch call from Andrew, and he's going to get his reward. Very well played, Andy Hawksby. Credit to Paul McCauley for getting after it. Paul McCauley has entertained us and Andy Hawksby has taken him out with the call. Very good call, Paul. Uh, Andy, nice call indeed. So, should we do it? Great. Should we do it? I forgot what my question was there. I had a question lined up. What was my question? Did you? Yep. Great. Have you got paper? No. Yes, you have. And you got a pen? No. You got nothing. I have a 50 euro. Oh, great. Bounty series token to give away. 
Yeah. We're going to do a Tower Thinks. Quick rundown of the rules if you're new to the stream. I'm going to ask Tower a question. He will write Great. them down. He will write the answer down on that piece of paper. Closest to Tower's guess will win the giveaway. One guess per account. If anyone guesses multiple times, they will be disqualified. And do not guess until Tower has wrote his answer Good down. luck, get close. This is actually a really good one because I like good it's, it's not a big number. Right, three. So you can't get that far away. Eight. And T boys here. Oh, so you went you went and got the T's before the giveaway, I see. I, I said, can I have two T's? He says, I'm busy, I'll bring him to you. Thanks, Bob. That's the kind of guy Bob is. Full Bob might well. want to listen to Tower Thinks anyway. He might want to get involved. He might get on his Facebook and then start Hello. doing his questioning. So, uh, probably going to be a fold here from David. Four bet. We're not. Oh, it's not four bet. The straddle's throwing me off, Tower. There's no so, straddle. There is 600 straddle from Yarny. Oh, yeah. Under the gun. I like it. What a great table. Everyone's putting the 600 on. So this is just an open from David. So maybe the fact that this isn't technically a four bet because the straddle, although it's not a force blind, they've agreed for it to be a force blind for an orbit. Maybe we do get to call, but then again, I, I don't know. It's just part of the game tree where you're not going to... Former champ Dave Johnson gets involved. Know what's going on, really, because... You don't play MTTs in a free blind structure. Well, there we go. That's why we're calling them the threes. They've been disguised. Boom. The only says make it about nine point two four k, four and a half. Nice call from David. Just keeping the bluffs in, keeping our range wide. Delicious. Beautiful. There's no deuces in play. I'm yeah, probably on it. Gonna be shutting down here, Yanni. Gonna be some King X out there for David, the King 10 suited through to King Queen suited. Is in a check back. Six of Hearts River. Brings the first to a check. I'm going to check all this long, Jacks. Here's. over half pot. No, 7.8, just under. I like the size actually because once Yarni checks turn and river, doesn't look like he's ever working with a king or better here, so maybe all in it's going to fold out all these queens, jacks, tens, nines, maybe some ace high heroes with a heart. I think this is a tidy little size from Dave just because it does look like Yarni always working with less than the king and he's going to get his reward, he gets paid off. Yeah, to see the bad news, the Jack's fault. Come nice. on then, Pop. Right, so guys, hold on a second. Pop, do you need payment for the tees? He's having a look at Tower oh, Tower oh, Thinks. He's, he's having a look at Tower Thinks. Oh, he's, he's waiting for the Tower Thinks. He's listening to the question, then he's going to get off, and then he's going to put his on Facebook. He's waiting for a tip. Yeah, tip is bring him quicker next time. <laughs> Uh, so guys, I did just run you down the rules. I'm not going to run you down them again. Uh, one guess per account, that's the most important thing. Uh, the question is, Tower. Yeah, 11. It's the Masters weekend. So. It is. It's going to be a Masters related question. Uh, and what I would like to know. Yeah. Jack Nicholas is Four. the all time record holder for the most amount of birdies at the Masters. But what I would like to know is how many birdies has Jack Nicholas had at the Masters? How many birdies has Jack Nicholas had at the Masters? And we're gonna give it tower up 10 seconds. Really? Really? Blinking egg, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. No idea. We're good. We're go, good. Go, 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 go. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we know Bob's not involved. Amazing. So there we go. 
That's a good question, actually. Oh, I thought it was good quite, question. quite a nice little. I don't, I don't even know how many. What was, what was the player? Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas. I don't even know how many years he's been playing. The. Uh, I don't even know how many, how many years he actually played the Masters. It's hard to do in ten seconds. It's not. It is because I don't I can't work maths out. We had a piece of paper in ten seconds. So get your guesses in, ladies and gentlemen. How many? birdies as Jack Nicholas had at the Masters? What a good question. What a good question that was. Now we're doing the Black Flash. Paul Gupta's on his own Facebook now. How many birdies do we think Tower thinks Jack Nicholas has had at the Masters? I'm going to take that one. This 600 stride alarm is spicing things up. And there we go for the 50 pound token. How many birdies does Tower thinks Jack Nicholas has had at the Masters? Good question. Like it. <laughs> and Val Wiley asks, what's a birdie? <laughs> it's it's if, if, if it's a par four and you get it in three. One under on the hole. <laughs> so obviously the easy, the most, the highest score is always a par. Unless you're Moronk. Yeah, Pete, the straddle isn't live. No. Everyone's making it live, though. There seems to be a raise every pot. So, basically, every hole has a designated number of shots. If you get it in one less than the designated number, then that is called a birdie. So, if it's a, if it's a par five, you should get it in five. If you get it in four, you've just got a birdie. Simon Johnson says, can he change his answer, please? I heard birds, not birdies. How many birds has Jack Nicholas had at the Masters? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Probably close to the actual answer. Uh, no, that's not a hole in one because the, the, the shortest hole is a par three, which means if you get it in less than three, that's two. But you can actually get it in one if you're very, very lucky. Here's a question for your tower. And good. What is four under par? So you get it two, two under par, it's an eagle. Yeah. Three under par. Is an albatross. What's four under par? Is there ever such a thing? Yeah, well, there like is. Rolling one under par and, five. And, the, and the only reason I know the answer to this is because it was at a quiz night years and years ago, and I never forgot it, when I was like 18 maybe. Yep, cards up has got it. A miracle. A condor. A condor. Very good. Condor. Nobody's ever had one. One for the quiz. Nobody's ever had one. It obviously had to be a bird. Had to be a, real, a big, really, big bird. A big, a big bird. <laughs> a bigger bird. Yeah. Ace coin for David. This is a free bet. The six hundred 
non-live straddle is on. Everyone's agreed. Um, spicing things up for the stream for us. And after this hand, I'm going to reveal the correct answer. Kev, there's no such thing as a double eagle, so it can't be a double albatross. Just because the Americans make things up doesn't mean it's correct. Because a double eagle... A double eagle would be two under doubled, which yeah, would be four I know, under. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it can't be a double eagle just because the Americans say so. A condor's a double it eagle. It hasn't <laughs> caught on in Britain. And what a flop for Mark. Flops a boat here. And Dave firing for 5.2, so just going to put on our calling shoes, I hope. Don't want to do any raising here. we got position. Going to have a little tank up, just make it look like we have a tougher decision than what we actually do. Do you think somebody's opened the door? Yeah, it's a bit fresh in here now. There it is. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> okay, King on the turn. And it could be a card that David is going to get after it on. Ace King, big thing, part of his range. King Queen going to be in there. Some bluffs like King Jack, King 10. Just going to continue setting the trap. Making the call. And clean as can be river card. And is Dave going to unload the clip here or is he going to slam the anchors on? Got half pot back. And it does come with a well timed check. And Mark just going to have an easy all in here for half pot and will be end of hand and then going to give you the correct answer. I doubt Dave's calling ace queen high. To be honest, you're with ace of hearts like. If our opponent did have a flush draw, we would win. Queen, Jack of Hearts, Queen, Ten of Hearts, Jack, Ten of Hearts. So we literally beat three combos. And against our three bet size, I know it says four bet, but with the straddle on three bet size, like going to be nine, eight suited, seven, nine suited, ten, nine suited. So it should just be a fold here from David. And we will give you the correct answer. Go on, then. When it falls. Cracking cup of tea. I like it. What's a good cup of tea? Cracking cup of tea. Yeah, it's one it's one thing thinking, okay, my opponent can have Queen Jack of Hearts, he can have Jack Ten of Hearts, he can have Queen Ten of Hearts, he can have those three combos. Yes, he can, but he can have nine eight suited two combos, nine seven suited two combos, nine ten, jack nine suited, queen nine suited, ace nine suited, some ace king, uh, sorry, not ace king, some king queen perhaps, king queen, king jack of diamonds. Like, it's one thing deducting, yes, our opponent can turn up with bluffs here, that we beat, but then it's another thing actually thinking about the value he has as well and just thinking about those combinations like probably 15 to 20 combinations of value and three of bluffs and that's that just meet the eye and that's assuming our opponent's playing well perfectly as well and we'll have the correct bluffs because in live poker people don't bluff enough and that's another factor to take into account it would be very speculative yeah, it does just get out of the way. Good fold, but I think we had to make it. Uh, so, go on then, put me out of my misery. Uh, Jack Nicholas at the Masters has had a total of 506 birdies. Wow. He's had 506 birdies, but that's not the answer He's we want. not bad, that Jack Nicholas, I reckon. We want Tower's answer, bad. and we're going to give you three minutes. He's not bad. If you haven't guessed, you can get a guess in. Uh, 
for one yes. per account. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's in for the Ace 4. What's with these Ace 4 and Ace 5s today? Well, Matt is a set of, effectively, Matt is big blind, and well, effectively, Matt is third blind straddle, and Tom is big blind tower, so this is effectively blind on blind here. And we're not playing 300 big now, we're playing 600 big, so Tom effectively has 27 big blinds. So Tom has opted to raise three and a half X, and we've opted to shove 27 bigs with an offsuit high low ace X. So it actually is okay with the straddle in place. Valerie's just said, wow, you've got to be the closest I've ever got to the correct answer. She's guessed 501. Nice. The problem is, Val, I'm answering. Yep, that is the big problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that Tom's going to call this off with Queen Jack. I'm going back to the hand, the, the four bet pot, the gun open, the plus one, the plus two. I didn't actually realise in that pot that the straddle was on. So oh, it was right. actually just an open gun. Three bet plus two. To be two. fair, I've never seen a struggle in the GKP. Well, well, here we go. T well, Terry Jordan gets them on all the time. He gets people to put the straddle on all the time. Man, we're yeah. starting a problem, Jerry. Uh, but on the eight six deuce board, if it was an actual four bet pot, if it was an actual gun versus plus one versus plus two, we have not hardly any raising was what, if any, hardly any raising if any, and then. If it was a straddle pot as it was, then yes, we can have a lot more raises. But the straddle threw me off. I think that was probably the first hand that the straddle come into play. And I just thought it was a four bet coup, gun versus plus one versus plus two. But what a table tower. These guys just sat down and thought we'd put on some entertainment. And stick on a straddle. Imagine just getting drawn to this table going no Wait, what are you doing it's a straddle <laughs> no well, I'm not doing it we have to <laughs> I'm not straddling <laughs> so David gonna raise cut off with jack six suit here Paul flats on the barn we should have really got Mikey to just put the blinds as two, three, six at the bottom. <laughs> so the last 20 seconds after this hand, we're going to close the comp. <laughs> oh Barry and Tom lags out gets it through so guys you've got 20 seconds to get your guesses in come on then get them in how many birdies does Tower think Jack Nicholas has had at the Masters 20 seconds the correct answer was what 506 yep. 506 that's pretty good <sighs> pretty good pretty good pretty good so 10 seconds Nine seconds. <coughs> Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh, yeah, that's three. See, Straddle's been declined from under the gun. He's not doing it. Boom. He stood up. He's gone. I'm not straddling I'm no not more. Straddling. I'm here to play proper poker. <laughs> the comp is. Oh, there we go, comp is closed. 
1425 from BRM. 1000 balancing. 1000 for. Anyway, if that's the winning answer, I'll give you the money myself. So 506. And I only had 10 seconds. So what? It's an easy one. I thought you'd get really close. Well, I have. Yeah, up for debate. But so I thought it was quite an easy one to figure out. I can well, you know me and my maths in my head quickly is not very good. But I did go 25 years, four birdies around, four rounds of golf. And had a few. Had a, you always had a few. I've noticed that. Well, you'd you. have to. You always had a few. You know, that, that's, that was my reasoning. That was my reasoning. My reasoning was, he played the Masters for about 25 years. He's obviously played it for longer. Uh, 25 years, four rounds of golf. Uh, four, four birdies around it, ish. Ish, because you're going to go over par and not have any birdies sometimes. So that would be 100. Four rounds of golf, 400, and had a few. That's what I know. That's what in my head. In ten seconds, everyone who's got around four hundred is sitting like that at their screens. So I went four hundred and had a few. Anybody got around four hundred? Anybody got around four hundred and fourteen? Four one four. Not bad. No, it was a decent guess. Not I thought. Bad, not I bad. thought I actually was nice. I actually thought you'd be within within fifty odd. Oh. But yeah, within a hundred, just yeah. as good, just as good. Four one four. Uh, Who got close? Did anybody uh, get close? Uh, not close, to be fair, Tower. The closest was actually eight away. Eight. Eight was the closest, and that was four two two. Four believe two it, two. Believe it or not. Yeah. Who was that? Poker Mel. Oh, yeah. Bring the pie to win a cup. Poker Mel. <laughs> Mel Simpson. Congratulations. Uh, I need one thing from you. And that is your alias you play under on Grosvenor Poker. Carl Guinness came in. Yeah, Carl Guinness, 405. 405, nine off. Nine off. There was a 400 from Carl Jeffrey. See you at Goliath. See you at Goliath. Uh, there were some good guesses. Valerie Wiley probably got the closest to the correct answer with 501. But 414, I guessed. Quickly in my head. That's what I did. So uh, 414, well done to Mel. Uh, I think uh, I think I think I know her name on online anyway. Oh, you know her name. Okay. Yeah. I think it's Millie Molly Mandy. Okay. I think, but I don't know if it's a capital M or an M or an M or whatever it is. M Millie Molly. So so you're giving me three names that are all can, you can all spell in different ways. Yeah. That's the so right. how am I supposed to put that in the spreadsheet? Millie Molly Mandy. There we go. In the chat. Thanks, Mel. Thank you very much. I didn't much. know how to spell it. There you go, Get, even getting congratulations from Valerie. And back to the action. Straddles off now, boo, but... Well done, Melanie, says Val. And well done, Mel, and well done, everybody else. Got close. 414. See, if I'd have done 30 years, times me four, times me four, that'd have been 480. <laughs> that'd have been better. I just thought it'd be in 25 years. Because when Jack Nicholas were playing, we'd have paused for the war and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have stopped for everything, wouldn't we? 50 euro token going in. Oh, it's not actually, I've just I've misread it. It's not 50 euro for the uh, mystery bounty, it's 50 euro for the mini high roller. Mini high roller is even better. Which is on Sunday. The mini high roller. Very nice indeed. Well done to Mel. <laughs> nice one, Kev. Catch you tomorrow. Off to have a beer and see Paul Weller. Enjoy Weller. You do need to know his individual stuff, old Weller, because he doesn't do too much of the jam stuff. But uh, should be a good night watching the Weller. One of the best. Pocket sixes for Mark and the cutoff opens to 1k. Enjoy your evening. Trip tens. Just like Andy Oxby's with really, uh, flop trips. Oh no! You played for 30 years. I just said that. If you did 30 times, 4 times before, I'd have come to 480. And then add a few. Add a few. I could have got it right. You could have got it I right. I could have got it bang on. <laughs> oh 
Oh man! Cheers, Richie. He didn't actually pay for 30 years. Counterfeit central for Mark. Mm. I'm going to continue firing here, but this is actually a really good card to see for Andrew because. Sorry, I've got the action wrong. I thought Andrew was the aggressor in the big Andrew's check raise flop. So it's actually the complete opposite of what I said. It's an awful card to see because our opponent would see better king and just call a raise. Queen of spades, river. And uh, if Mark can unload here, now he's going to shut down and see who's up against the trip tens, but terrible turn to see for Andy Hawksby. Thought it was Mark in the big on first glance, but loves to see the check back. He played 40 ta 45 times he played at the Masters. Wow. 45. 45 times. So he was on, a, on average. He was on average like 12, 10, 11 under. Wow. The man's good. 45 times. That's pretty good. So Edinburgh continues, numbers slowly rising, but uh, it is one of the quieter stops we have had for a long, long time. But it'll still be a nice juicy pop by the end when the turbo comes.
90 in the main today, bringing the total up to 144. Turbo starts at 9. <laughs> Off to Wembley next Sunday to see Coventry City. What are they? Sniper King. Off to see Coventry City play at Wembley. Oh, it's the semi final of the FA Cup, isn't it? Playing Man United. Everybody's saying that the draw was rigged on purpose. Not sure how you could do it. But it is what it is. Enjoy the day, Sniper. Coventry City at Wembley. First time in years. Probably first time since 87 when they won it. Unless they were in playoffs sometime. We'll be in Coventry on the 25th of July till the 6th of August. That could actually be the first weekend of the football season when we get to Goliath. Could. The uh, 6th of August weekend. It could actually be the first weekend of football, the new football season. Is the straddle back on? No, please. Uh, the straddle must be back on because Mark's opened under the gun with 10 3. <laughs> has to be, right? And this was a limp pot over the straddle from under the gun, so it can do exactly this as Matt. I think a nice one to go for the check raise with. Paul never having a better jack here. It does just relinquish the thought. Can Goliath tickets or live credit be transferred? For example, could I give a ticket to the missus and vice versa? Yep, indeed you can, Frankie. Obviously, she needs to be a member of the Grosvenor Casino. Transfer them over. Just so can I transfer it to the missus? She's better than me. And uh, away you go. You have to say that exact line or it won't work. Can I transfer it to the missus because she's better than me? <laughs> or else you don't get it transferred. It's in the rules. Ten eight five rainbow. Yarny buys for one K. David gonna float with some nice back doors and overcard. Not the turn that we're looking for though. Jack of Diamonds. Just a complete whiff on this board now, no draw, but it's gonna float to bluff. Quick fire for 3k, 60% up. Thank you. 
Just over 10 minutes into this leg, uh, into this uh, level. In the blinds at 2 4 with a full. I'm confused, Tower. Because the last three hands we've had a raise to 1k under the gun. Yep. So I don't actually know. What's well, a 500 chip? That's not the greens are 1k's. Oh, the greens are 1k's, yeah. 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 I thought so, it was yellow. So I'm not sure if this is. Is that a, green or yellow? If it's just a coincidence oh, green. that all three players have opened under the gun or if they're doing a round of straddles mm. again, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm not going to call a 6 on the bottom. Okay, I don't think it is on. I think Mark just actually asked if it looked. So just calls the King-7 suited and Yarni going to come in. Five-way action. And the flop you like to see is Mark, 7-7-4, rainbow. And never continuing here, Gary, into field when we go five way. Just going to be checking. And expect Matt to do the same with some nice backdoor equity. Now the diamonds on the turn. Bring to the nook for draw for Matt. And Mark going to go for the check raise here. <coughs> I'm going to get the opportunity to do so. Pull fires out. 2.5k. 3 to 1 on a call for Matt. Doubt we're going to be folding the ace of diamonds, but we do have three players behind us who could reopen the action, but can't see how we let this one go facing one bet. Also, may assume that some 7x might start leading. Wow, Matt's going to take initiative himself here. Making it 5k, clickety click. And now, really interesting spot for Mark here. Because as soon as he cold calls Tower, yeah. it's just alarm bell central. Like, he's not going to cold call a 9, he's not going to cold call a 4. So, his cold calling range is going to be trips or better. And then maybe because Matt's clicked it and we're still getting a nice price, he'll have some 10 8 of diamonds, 8 6 of diamonds, maybe jack 10 of diamonds. But real condensed range now for Mark after a bet raise and we cold call turn. And Matt's going to be so aware of this that any river other than a diamond, he'll just be giving up on even the like five of hearts. Yes, we have this six interaction and our opponent can't have 8 6 of diamonds. But. I'd be really surprised if Matt went off this here tower just because the range of hands our opponent's going to have basically eight ten of diamonds and jack ten of diamonds, which we beat anyway, and Matt going to snap fold. Just knows it's a seven once we're faced with the lead. You're on that one. Mark your leader, 88,000. Nearly double chips to Matt, who is in second place. Lines are 2 4. Thank <laughs> you. 
Balls all in. Open sends for 16. He's out of the way. 10 off for Gary. Let it go. Cloudy Blackpool. Well, at least it's not rainy Blackpool flipper. It's like it's been for the last six months. Never known it as wet ever. Under Britain. Not ever. Any part of Britain. In the wettest 12 months on record. Am I right? 12 months. It has been soggy. And they're all raving about two days of warm weather over the weekend, saying how it's going to be amazing and get to 70 degrees. What, this weekend? Yeah, down south. Oh, I'm, the, oh, I'm not down there anymore. You're up north. Yeah, I'm, I'm And you're up north this weekend as well. Oh, yeah, Manchester. No, you're up north this weekend, like Saturday, Sunday. Edinburgh? Yeah. Uh, and you're not, you're not down London. Shame. And they're all raving about it because it's going to get to 70 degrees and they're trying to make people happy about it. Um, it's just not working. I like that. That's like optimal heat, like 15, 17 degrees with a light breeze. Really? Yeah, that's like no. perfect. I don't like it too hot. Right? No. I 25 like, and above. Nah. A bit of a gold, Goldilocks with weather. Just right. Oh, 25 and above. 25 to 33, I reckon, is perfect. I can, I, I'm a shot, like literally go away to a hot place. I will sit in the shade all day. I'll have that umbrella up, <laughs> literally. You're like my mate to golf, old Nick. He plays at golf with an umbrella up at 20 degrees. Don't blame him. And it's not because of the rain. Yeah. Turn out the space for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it one K to go. And Yarni with the Kings. Because Paul's opened off a 15 here, Tower. We want to make this like 2K. 2.2k, something like that. Just accounting for his stack size. Yeah, 2.5. Glad we didn't go for the, the full 3x, but just sometimes got to take our opponent's stack into account and pull off opening off of 15 bigs means that our free bet size needs to be smaller. <laughs> Jack out flop flop five seven. Is it a, a thousand pound main event next door? Don't get a five pound rebound. Sounds like a five pound rebound. <laughs> 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 that celebration sound was the sound of Frank finally sitting down after cleaning seat three, four, and, and the inside rails. It, it, it was actually Frank who started the celebration as well, believe it or not, sat next to the comms booth.
So 35 minutes of this session and we've had the straddle on. <laughs> and we've still got the straddle on. A nice fight from Mark. Ace Jack off facing the gun open, just gets out of there. and take for Matt. There we go. Hold on a sec, Tao. I can pass me your book. I'm going to need to translate that. I need, I need your book to translate that. Sounded like William Wallace. <laughs> Sound like the invasion would come when William Wallace was stood at the door. <laughs> Who in the chat would like the table you can hear on the feature table <laughs> next session? We're going on break in half hour, uh, about half hour. Who in the chat would like this table you can hear sat behind the comms booth on the feature? I use McTavish. So I'm Scottish and I didn't even understand that. <laughs> Shall we try and get them on? We'll see if we can get this manic lot on for the penultimate session of the day. Mark. ISO in here with the ace free and Matt Davenport just says you're full of it mate I don't think you got it you're full of it I know Paul Clements is going to be super wide my jack eye is probably in front I'm going to get you to fold your ace high well, that's exactly what he's done and Matt gets it through shows the jack 10 off suit Oh, Abdul's here. Abdul Kadir. Ah, Paul uh, Clements drawing thin. Yeah, Paul Clements. Well, he's got the heart. Well, he's got the heart. And he asked about chugging the eight of hearts down. Oh, oh no way. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back down, Paul. So, the national winner tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we'll just shout the eight of hearts in. <laughs> Valerie says, yeah, get them on, we've been trying to hear you translate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him another one out of the book. Do you know what we should do? Let's get him another one out of the book. Do you know what? You we'll know get this one out of the book. We've got the book. Scottish slang. You know the uh, the, Birthday, Facebook, the Facebook uh, subtitles. I'd love to see them when we got the Scots on the table. The Facebook subtitles. When you watch on Facebook and you have subtitles on. Let's see if I can. No, I want to see if I can find you. <laughs> what about that one? Lang may you lum reek. Lang may you lum reek. What does that mean? Uh, lang, lang lay your mum reek. Is it if your mum's not had a shower in a few days? Is it is the old dear? She hasn't. She hasn't had a bath or a shower. Lum reek, not mum reek. <laughs> lang make your mum reek or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> lang may your lum reek. <laughs> Wishes somebody good health. Oh, is it? Obvious. Opposite then. Obviously. No, obviously. <laughs> Go on then, one more. 
One more. And this hand's over. Come on then. What you got for me? You want to run out old? Deny gee me any guff. 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 I want another one of these. You better not give me any like asshole. Is that what that is? Deny gee me any guff. He's dinny. As in don't. How is dinner don't? Dinny. Dinny don't. Dinny give me any guff. He's don't give me any trouble. Do these just, do they just make it up, the Scots, as, it, as they go along? But you've only just realised, yeah. haven't you? <coughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to have fun with that book. This is it. <laughs> you should know that one. Good night, no, do that. Don't do that. Good night, no, do that. Don't do that. Yeah? You need to order that. Gone. He's gone. He's gone in all day, that. Please don't do that. This is a great book, by the way. I'll tell you what. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> your mum's reeking. You, the way you pronounced it, your mum was li- reeking That's and she needed a bath. Like, yeah, these, these Scots, they can be a bit offensive sometimes, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was part of the uh, the vocabulary. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, like two Scottish people, they'll sit there and just have a conversation with each other, and you can sit next to them, it's like they're speaking a different language, Sarah. But especially when you get like the Dave Blackmores, when you go really northern. If they're speaking too fast, very difficult for me to to understand. He, st- he, he said something to us once that stuck to me, and I still he still don't know. I still don't understand what it is, and I don't think PK knows what it is. Go on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I dare. It might be rude. <laughs> he said. He says to us one day, "Go away, run up the hump." And I'm still don't. And I still don't even know what it means. He still never explained to me what it is. <laughs> There we go. Cheers, Morris. <laughs> and confirm, we're going to get the featured table for next session. We're going to put the rowdy bunch on. Oh, dear. We'll get the rowdy lot on for the feature next session. We're going on break in about half hour. And I'll take that 15 minutes to sharpen up on this Scottish slang. <laughs> This time next year, Tower. <laughs> Better have the beat machine at the ready. <laughs> the cheer you just heard was PK walking over to the table to tell them they were going on the feature. It wasn't. It was actually. It was actually. They just watched the live stream and watched your pronunciation. Of of long of of long may you long reek. Pocket threes for. Paul Clements. <laughs> right, theoretically off of 21, probably goes into the muck, but we know Paul likes to get involved, so not surprised to see him open. you got a pair. Yeah, I mean, against Paul, going to be free betting to call off here as Tom. 
20 effective, so not going to choose that full 3x, probably around 2.9 3k around there. Oh, he is going to go big. That looked like a deep reach. Does go for the full 3x. 3.7k. <laughs> and is Paul Clements going to run it with a pair? Or is he going to let this one go? Let's just get out of the way. Tom Lagzow picks up. So we're about 25 minutes left at this blind level. Fires at top, makes it 12. Marks it with 10 9 suited. Andrew here on the barn. Nice little squeeze spot, potentially. He's just going to opt for fold. Tom been fairly active. Maybe he could have taken that one and found the squeeze. Off of 16, exactly. Paul just going to be defending a shoe. Put the 8 9 suit. Four, four, six on the flop. <coughs> uh, seems like one that could continue here for sure as Tom. Flush out some equity of overs. Still likely, or still can have the best hand. Goes for big bet. Big, big bet, I should say. Over pot size from Tom with the fives. Happy to run it versus Paul. He does just get that one through. Sevens. Opens gun. In the open gun, the thing is still straddling. Gonna need the beat machine for sure next session. <laughs> uh, 
greatest table ever. I might actually <laughs> run to Wilco on a bike and get a splitter and some earphones so I can listen in with you to the table sound. <laughs> Ice cream, you scream. David here goes with flat with the ace queen. Facing gun will have flats. I think we'll have some three bets. I think maybe slightly more flats than three bet, but will be a mix. And that's in from the big with the king for offsuit. There's seven two two clubs. David top bet. Decent kick at Mark. Same threat. David Johnson. Bits out on the air side flop. Mark. Called once. <laughs> Boom. That'll do nicely, he says. What a turn to see for Mark here turn in trip sevens and David with a hand which I doubt is going to be folding already been some dynamic between these two as well I think it was and they played the big pot and Mark had fours full goes for a small 30% on the turn throws them in this is cool King of Hearts River, so with Queen of Hearts in hand, I think David could be struggling to find a fold here. And let's see what size Mark comes with. Seven point two K on the end. Three quarter potish. David makes the call, sees the jack seven, and down to 12.2. 20 minutes to go until the end of this sesh, and then a new table. Nice, quiet, relaxed next session. <laughs> Clems in again. Mark sees an ace, it says call. Clems got the 9 7. Does he survive? Still the same. Still need a nine or a seven. Diamond for plenty of outs. Doesn't see any of them. So Mark takes out Paul Clements. Paul's gone. Might have a re-entry after the dinner break. See uh, after the uh, next break. 
see what happens. Oh. It's going to be pie time next session. Well, it's to be 20 past 7 when we have a break, so 20 to 8 we come back. Mm. Is that a bit early? A bit early. So if we aim for 20 to 10, mm. pie supper, something like that, yeah. Like it. Like it. For Dave, David, opening makes it 3x 1200. Yarny, fairly loose pill. I say it off in the small. I think it should hit the mark, but wants to get involved. So the flop, Yarny with his eight. King, 10, 8, so both flop a piece, check it check. Mm. So going to the little check back here with top pair, mixing one in, going to have to fire now though, two flush draws on the turn, it does throw in a 5k chip from the looks of things, but did announce 1500, quick call from Yanni, so half pot and off to the river. Seven hearts on the river. David gets the check mark. Yeah, it just comes down to size. He's going to choose it. <laughs> Once we check flop, pretty clear value bet here. We're kind of under repped as well. Get called on 10x, maybe some 8x non believers. Good fold from Yarn at 2.6. <clears throat> ah, what's that? It makes a bit of sense now why that table's a bit. A bit rowdy. I've just been given the list. All right, okay. Uh, for the table we got after the the break. So we've got James Ram, absolute beast of a player. Phil Canal, yeah, who watches the live stream. Uh, James McCauley, Paul McCauley, Paul Green, King Shook Gosh, Picasso, Andy Headley, uh -huh. and Paul Clements is back. Back in. So we have got the McCauley brothers. Paul the, Green's got to be on the old uh, stars. Paul, he has to be. Paul Green and Paul Clements. Picasso. James Rand. There we go. That's the table. That's going to be a session and a half. We might not even have to say anything to I might just be able to go watch. To be honest, if the table is as rowdy as it was this session, we could probably sneak off for 20 minutes for pies and no one would notice. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Players all in, that's uh, C number one. Well, I thought he said all in. Obviously not, just a raise. Oh Bernie, it's coming on the feature after the break. 
half past seven is when they will be on the featured table. We're on a break in ten minutes. So twenty to eight. Sorry, yeah, yeah. they'll be on the food chart. Twenty to eight. Ten minutes. Run a break. Uh, Frankie Thomas says, "Can I send a can I send my pal a ticket for Goliath if he's self excluded online only until after Goliath? Will they still be able to see his ticket that he sends?" Uh, oh. Don't know. I think that will be one for online. But yeah, I swear we had that question about an hour ago. No, no. Yeah, well, we didn't. We didn't read it out. I'm pretty sure I did, but I said I'm not sure. All right. Uh, so PK. Is just any any update on the, on the oh, answer? Okay. Any update from Frankie on the answer? Okay. So the answer is you will be able to register him for Goliath, but not via a transfer ticket online. So then you'd have to sort that out, and then if you got to Goliath and the online team were there, I would ask the question. If someone self excludes, you can't send them a ticket. Up and down for Yarni. Checks through, eight of clubs on turn. So Ace Hyatt still in front for Matt versus Yarni specifically, but unaware of what David's working with from the big, and he's going to come out leading for just south of half. Morning. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. There's a bag full here. What's happening here? <laughs> no way. What's what happening here? I've got from a size 30. Barry, Barry what are you hitting? Oh, my word. <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> the infamous Barry Wyatt. Barry Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, just, I just embarrassed him. <laughs> I, do, I, gave him, I gave him a drive in. <laughs> 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 no. Right, tell me, I, I assume you're not a medium. No. Cheeky ass. No. <laughs> you assume he's not a medium, you, should, you assume correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few of them for these guys. What's that? Is this, is this, What's this, that tiny? Is this uh, L, a large. a large? I'll squeeze into a large. I might have to breathe yeah, in a little bit. Since I used to get you walking in the <laughs> it's funny, I, oh, I, no. I drove here with a hat on, right? Didn't have the t shirt on. I parked outside and I said, Right, give me two minutes. I need to, get, I need to, go, to, the, I need to go to the car. And I went to the car and I put this on there. He says, No, I'm not going <laughs> to. The, the, the picture is great. <laughs> Here he is. So, here he is. Here he is. The new attire for the week. Look, Westlife Barry. How do you come up with all this? How on earth do you come? Hold on. I'm gonna, uh, Barry, you better get on the feature. You better get on the feature this week. We, we will keep these and I'll put that on when Barry's on the feature this week. Easy, you've got one yeah, on as well. Oh, I've got everything on, guys. Everything. How do you come up with all if this? If you tell me I'm going on the feature, just facts. Just, facts. <laughs> just genuine facts. Yeah, just genuine facts. I know a lot of the, a lot of the Scottish boys, so uh, they've been around the focusing for years, so I just, I just remember these facts about them all the time. And I just feel the need to share at times. So. Does that mean um, when uh, Billy's on the table, you're going to bring us in a Bitcoin each? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you money, Hess, because I think it's worthless now, guys. So, 
Uh, uh, I know that's. <laughs> excuse me, the old one. The guys, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much, Barry. Shout out to. Martin Gallagher. Who Martin helped, Gallagher. Who helped us. Martin. Thank you very much, Martin <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> so there we go. West Life, Barry. The, the media, the, the media you know t shirt fits. You know how, how good, how good. I will just show the camera quickly. How good is this Photoshop to get Barry in there? Look at him. It's like he was meant to be there. <laughs> Alright, five minutes to go, we need the breather. <laughs> Fifteen minute break, back and we will need the breather because we have got a corker of a table, not necessarily in terms of poker talent, but in terms of drinking beers and a bit of banter. It's going to be a session and off when we're back at 20 to 8, but last five minutes here. Deuces check from Dave, Matt probably happy to show down the ace jack, I say, but goes for the bet and does get the better hand to fold. Nice little pick up from Matt. Get the table mic turned up next session, says Scotty. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'll, I will take when when he's on. I'm going to keep this here, and when he's on over the weekend, I will put the. Do you know what? Just looking at that, by the way, it's not going to fit me. So it's going to be skin tight. I think you should try it on. I'll, uh, for, the, for the for the fans. I'll squeeze into it. I think you should try it on for the fans. I'll try my medium on. Poor Barry, he turns up, he thinks he'll take a shot at the live MTTs in Leeds last year. He gets on the live stream for the first time and, and his mate and, and his life has just changed. <laughs> his mate has just dropped him in it. Oh, Ace Jack for Mark under the gun. No, that weren't Westlife Barry, that was Barry Whitehead that, that brought us all in the merch, even though Barry Greenham was uh, stood behind him. The best thing is as well, uh, Bar Barry Whitehead says I had to pick him up on the way in, so he's picked him up to bring him to the casino. He goes, right, mate, I'm, I've also got a few tops with your face on I'm taking in today. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which one is he? <sighs> Is it? I'm looking upside. I'm looking upside down. <laughs> to be fair, it could have been the fifth one. Just one of them left, didn't it? Or has there only always been four? There was always there's five, weren't there? Really? I, I don't know. And Ace King Eight Mono All Clubs Matt with ten of clubs playing in hand. Ace Jack for Mark actually best of it at the moment. I'm gonna go for a small bet on the Mono board, just shy of thirty percent. for Seabet here, gets called in two spots and one of the most over Seabet spots that you see here, the Ace King X Mono, as the early position opener, we're actually meant to be doing a lot of checking when the big blind's involved and it just comes down to the flushes we get stripped off but does go with bet nonetheless gets called in two spots by worse and going to get another street here from Matt going to the river here Doubt Matt's folding after picking up Broadway draw to go with flush draw and top pair. But even like the, the players that you consider as, like I consider as good MTT regulars, even on these boards, I see so many people just see the Ace King X mono opening from EP, just instantly see bet it. But when you actually really delve into the spot, a lot more reason to check regardless of holding like we'll have some bets obviously but a lot of our range does start doing a bit of checking uh, enough of that because matt's rivered the best of it and it's going to go check check and going to be going matt davenport's way well, looks like we're going to squeeze in one more minute 45 on the clock 
We've got a clock there, Tower. If you don't see it, you go like that, and you go like that. Oh, yeah. You can see Bra oh, I thought you were a Bryson DeChambeau. What's the texture or something? <laughs> On the right-hand side. Uh, yeah, I prefer an extra oh, large. I wanted to see me in the I prefer, do you want, do you, there's your large pack. Oh, oh, please. P, P can have Could the large. <laughs> we'll we, we sell it to the chat box. Anyone in the you chat box? Get yeah. to the action tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe you swapped t-shirts. Well, I've got an XL now, so and he's, he's got one spare. Do, 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 do you think if we got, um, do you think if we got uh, Westlife Barry, because we've now got a spare top on the feature, do you reckon Jordy might would let us have the dealer wear one? If he's in seat five and the dealer's dealing, how great would that be? He's in seat five and the dealer's got his, his face mm. staring back at him. I wanted to see you try and get a medium up now. That's what I was trying. Mm, won't be happening. <laughs> More action, last hand of the session, 15 seconds on the clock, so this will be the last of it. And uh, Tom, I'm off to go and find him. Going for the. Oh, we had joy, we had fun. <laughs> oh, so that's going to be an end of hand, going to be shoved from Miani for just south of 40, 38 to be precise. And then Andrew not going to call off tens. I think he'll now let them go. And obviously Tom not going to be calling off ace ten off after choosing to squeeze. It's kind of close for Andrew. After we actually flat pre and we're not, we've probably got the best part of our range. I guess Jacks may flat at some frequency, but probably got one of the best hands we're going to have in this scenario. But don't think we can call off here for 40. Yeah. Does let it go. We're on a 20 minute break. We will see you. Look at him. Look at him there. Look, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you in 20 minutes. And earphone users, beware. All I'm going to say. See you in 20. really fought him for it so I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that takes out the second person on the final <laughs> look at that it always <laughs> happened is it the queens the set queens it's because all the other three have all gone and it is not queens full this time Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in, straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, Innie. And do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. 
Oh no, he hasn't as well. Ace five three for Tim Slater. That's another terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes. Big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed. Oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine. He is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Oh, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green, eight, two. That is that it. Is it. We've we got have a champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, go. Rutter. Get out of it. Get, Get out there. of it. Rudder wins, Vic Meta yeah. second, fantastic, well done.
now. I don't want to see a jack or a six. No! Jeez! <laughs> Gentlemen, on Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history! <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been. And people are still buying it.
44 players as it speaks, and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. And um, you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest Goliath ever. A lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, guys, well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three we'll just have a quick word with uh, with paul paul, paul murphy goliath day three tomorrow yep we just bagged up how many 19 million 25 000. big big stack nice stack how's the day been it's been good been getting nice cards yeah making good plays so yeah. been happy yeah mix it mixing it up uh it's a lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just, you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your tables today? Well, I've been on about five different tables. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. That's you, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44. And then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. <laughs> Paul, many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all-in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow. Yeah.
answers because I'm double up on the big one. Give the answers to someone on dance floor. All three of you guys are here. Oh, they moved your whole table. You want to heal? Oh, Frank, you're banned from this room. So. See, open. Frank, here you go. That was my seat at the beginning. I didn't even sit down. I lost my first stack, and I never even sat down. I don't understand how you lost it with 6 honestly. I about to turn the fucking table over. I said, even if this motherfucker's bolted down, I guarantee I can fucking pull the fucking bolts out by pushing on the bottom of the table and that fucker's going over. <laughs> I, I, know, I know who the best looking guy on this table is. It's almost like me. You're, you're right, sir. What's your name? Paul. Paul. Frank. Thanks, me. to me. <laughs> Back for another two hours of poker, and I see James McCauley already sporting the Westlife Barry attire. <laughs> Got it on for the session. Love to see it. Run you through the table, guys. Rowdy bunch in front of us. James ran in one, Phil Canal in two. Uh, James McCall in four, Paul Green in five, King Gosh in six, Paul McCauley was in seven, but you busted just before the break. Uh, good friend of mine, Picasso, Andy Headley in eight, and in nine is Paul Clements. So let's do this. Absolutely, let's go, go, go. Next sesh. And I've got Tower's book at the ready because I feel like there's going to be a lot of translation. You're going to need it. That are needed this session. Phil kicks it off with a 3x open from plus one, makes it 1500. Paul Green in from the hijack. And Paul Clements defends, flops it up and down. Looks like a quick C bet from Phil. Looks like 40% up. Paul Green not going anywhere, and Paul Clements now going to take his price to the turn. Two and a half on the turn. Recording two spots here. Be surprised if we saw another barrel come in, but Phil. Not bothered. Goes for another streak. 3.2 here into two players. Might have been shutting this one down, Tower. Once we get called in two spots, not folding out a nine. Also, not folding out a spade draw once we go this size. And even hands like fives through eights. Might even stick along for one more. Facing such a small turn size. Right off to the river. Seven of spades. And Paul, could he ever lead here as a bluff? The flush completes. Checked over to Paul Green in position. He's just going to fire up, and there'll be two quick folds. First decent size pop down Paul Green's weight. They get to the feature and they basically go mute. <laughs> They've got the cameras on them now. The lights are on. It'll live up.
Picasso, A7 Suet on the button. There's it up to 1.1. James Ryan Corley. Still to one gap as that'll do, he says. <clears throat> it actually flops best. Yeah, interesting one for Picasso here versus Big Blind. I think either or could be fine. Got the back door straight both ways, the back door clubs. I'm just going to put some chips in. Just set up a third. James Rand, bottom pair here. You expect him to take the one off here versus Button specifically. With the four deuce. And much better to have like four deuce here than nine deuce suited, eight deuce suited, queen deuce suited. This type of stuff just meaning that two pair outs are clean. Won't complete a straight or anything like that. Forget that. I'm going to go for this approach. And snap fold from Picasso. Flushes out 30% of equity. Oh, I thought Paul McCauley must have busted just before we got the break. But he took an extended break. He was late to the party. And you can be late when you got 100 BBs in the stack. Mm -hmm. James Ryan off the 26. Going to have a double with a 10-9 suited in with the call. And Phil in the big a couple of ducks. Ooh, very nice spot. Phil's just missed here. Seems like a very clear jam, especially when it's pool opening that we know will open fairly wide, if not very wide. Queen, Paul, three, four. Paul, Paul Clements and James Rand never playing any traps off this stack depth, so we find a pair. Seems like a very clear jam. Clements not in. And we would have picked up old Clements. Paul weren't in. Okay. Paul Clements. Folded piece. Yeah, had him in. Just going on what I see in the action. Yep. Even still, without the call from Paul, call from James in the small sub 20. I think potential spot missed there. doesn't miss the spot. Yeah, moves all in. And Paul McCauley, Ace Jack suited. 18 big blind shove. So ace 10 off would go into the muck for sure. So I think Ace Jack would be close. That ace Jack suited is going to make the call. And I'm hoping to chop this one up. Yes. We're going to chop it up. I'm already singing. We've got it. I've nailed it. <laughs> We're going to chop it up. <laughs> Don't you know we'll chop no, it up? Just, 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 yes. Spot on. 
evening, Richard Whitmore. How are you doing? Did you cash in Ireland, chaps? Yeah, we both cashed. We did, both of us. We did. One of the, one of us had a winning trip. One of us didn't. One, one cashed off of one bullet. One cashed off of about thirty. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Would you like to choose? Who had the thirty bullets? And who had the one? Couldn't win an all-in, Rich. Winning, losing. <clears throat> Flip him. Oh, it was terrible. Could not win an all in. Didn't matter. What was the cash like? Um, the, the, the first night I played was a very good game. Very good game. Uh, and the second game I played weren't the best. Ah, okay. Uh, but didn't really play too much cash out there. I had two sessions, but. That's we'll try nice. again next year. That's what we'll be doing, trying again next year. King Oakman from Gun, James Shovin for 24. And Seven's not going to be calling here because James shouldn't have sixes for deuces here. Facing Gun, not going to shove these hands for 24. Uh, therefore, it's a situation as King that we're either flipping or we're dominated to two outs. Next session is upon us. Seven sewered for Picasso. This is to 1.1 over to Paul Green in the small blind. Looks like I'm going to go for three bet here. Nice and juicy, gets it through. Yep, we'll both be in Manchester next. Is it Wednesday we go Manchester? We will be there so Wednesday. We've got two days. Monday, Tuesday off. And then yes. there Wednesday, okay. Yes. Indeed, indeed. with the tens opens to fifteen hundred. No action. I'll try and do some sort of giveaway. I've got another ten twelve tokens to give away over the weekend. So Excellent. we've got twelve to get rid of. We'll do another one later then, round right about 10-ish. After the last break. Pie time. After pie time. After pie time, when we'll all flop with pie. <laughs>
<laughs> nice one, Rich. We will see you in March. We're there Wednesday, working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So 85 suited. Starts with complete, full checks option with 9 4. Check. Both players could definitely have a stab here with their holdings. Would we'll achieve folding out some some better hands, and looks like Picasso is going to take that initiative. Paul, cool. not going anywhere. With a gutter ball of his own, and nine high actually best hit. So if Picasso can find another barrel here, no he can't, Paul actually bluffing with the best of it, gets it done. in the t-shirt imagine imagine james just on breaks pops over to the petrol station and someone that don't play poker they don't know the story they see him wearing that shirt bloody hell i never knew we still have westlife fans in scotland <laughs> Dennis says, Rick, what's with the t-shirt because obviously she don't watch the stream yeah. she's working all the time yep what with the t-shirt this is westlife this is barry barry used to be a member of westlife but no he didn't <laughs> <laughs> no he didn't he did. Ask him. And he's like, no. <laughs> no. So I had to tell her the story. <laughs> James, nice little one to just squeeze jam. For 27. Gets it through. Jack this time. 
Thanks, yeah. 1100. Paul Snap, three bet from plus one. Mm -hmm. I'd personally be folding here as James, but we'll see what James comes with when back on him. James Ryan has to get out of the way. Not, not easy. We've got three Pauls and two James at this table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, James does go with call, like ace jack off, suited we'd come along, but do get ourselves in some tangles some of the time out of position, facing a range that should be very strong. Always mention rule of thumb when we open gun and we get free bet. Ace jack off, ace ten off, king queen off, all these offsuit broad ways that aren't ace queen or above. A lot of the time, best way to proceed is with fold, but Paul went with uh, James went with call and wins a pot. I would not have. Holding down to Phil. He says, well, I'll just make it up with the bind at two five. So I just called the initial raise from Paul Green. Yeah, flatten the small for fifteen. Be some stuff like ten nine suited, Jack nine suited, maybe like King Queen off in there for Phil. Pretty condensed range. Flatten small facing gun off this stack size. Checks over to Paul on the 357. Looks like it wants to continue. <clears throat> Always has a stack, Paul Green. Yeah. Always finds a way to amount a decent chip stack in a poker tournament. James gets floaty with King 8. No heart in hand. Must have some plans. If turn goes check, check, and let's see. If plan is going to be activated on this river, it has to, right? Once we float king eight, can't just check and lose the ace high. Going to mistake. Do that 4k, but it's just working it out. It's like half, 32. Oh no, it's 4k. Got the chips wrong. Mr. Green. Well, it's not the box, gent. It's uh, it'll be the cards. Unfortunately, there'll be a, a cracked chip somewhere in one of the cards. We'll get the action tracker to uh, change the cards if it uh, continues. Yeah, fair, fair play to James. Oh, it's yours. How do I am apples, Mr. Them, Green? How <laughs> many says? You've won a GUKPT, mate, but. You might How do you like them apples? <laughs> you might have won a mini and a min and a 25.50, but uh, not one of these. That might just liven the table up. Yeah. Couldn't wait to show it as no, well. No, no, not so wait. As soon as the cards are sliding over the line, he's like, here, have these. Obviously, box five, it's, it's never the table.
So the latest session level seven and eight of the day. Still got the turbo running at nine o'clock as well, guys. We have indeed. If you fancy getting in, I think it'd be a quiet turbo. Well, well, well. Well. Are we still doing the um, the GUKPT seats giveaway for the chip leaders? Does the we still have the chip leader giveaway? Well, the six registered at the moment for the turbo. You get yourself in. You got a good chance. Got a very good chance. Say, say if that gets twenty. The best chance. 20, if that gets twenty runners, thousand pound buy-in, yep. fifty quid in your pocket essentially in terms of EV. Equity of fifty quid just from buying into the turbo. Yeah. So. Good shout to get into the turbo. If you bag up the chip lead, you get yourself a little extra Brucey bonus to your KPT seat. And yes, every break we will change the table. We have just returned from a break, so we've got a good hour and 45 before another table change. Yeah, real mixed bag this table, Jen. Good little one to watch. for James, been a good start to the session for him, confidence will be moving as well after getting that little bluff for him versus Paul and King just sends it in for just shy of 17 and King 10 of clubs here Mm, it's an interesting one. I think it's actually fairly close. Cut off versus small blind. The king ten suited specifically. Like king queen suited would definitely call. Mm, maybe we do fold this one. King jack seems like that sort of king jack suited. Seems like the sort of limbo area. But it's going to pay off anyway. Can't fault him for it. I think it's a lot closer than it looks on first meets the eye. But going to like what he sees. Got two live cards in between us against the, the ace three of clubs. T-Boys here. So the ace still in front. Both hit. They need to fade kings and tens. And now jacks. And it's a deuce.
this out of the way. Fill on the fill, fill can out. Did they all have a coffee at the break? They must have done. Definitely calm down a bit. Yes, water and not pints, that's the thing as well. Never seen Paul Green not play without a pint in his hand. Change man, he is. James Isaac Seward. Interesting videos. Good evening. Tuning in to level number six of the day, two or six seven of the day. Also, it looks like the Lacey are going to get the job done regardless of holding. Hello. So, Paul Green chip lead it with Paul McCauley on 53k. suit into the muck, Paul Clements not playing the whip, blind on blind between James Ryan and Phil. Phil <laughs> 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 
in the cut off 20 bigs <laughs> 20 pulls makes it 1500 and the race Paul Clements takes it through yeah no they've ever had three poles on the same table and two Jameses. The yeah, old Clems is funny. Probably seen half of Greg's today. It is, certainly did. He literally must have walked in and said, I'll have two of everything. <laughs> King should flop in the absolute world. We're getting no action. Until I'm blocking all the hands that can call us as well. No one out there with a smidge. for James. <laughs> and dynamic already set between these two. But Paul not going to be getting any action. Well, I say that. A 9-5 off. Size choice from Paul, right on the money. Uh, uh, quick fall from James on the button. Paul Green, back to chip lead on the table.
So Picasso, Andy Headley, out of the way. James Jack Nine of Clubs makes the call. Paul Green with sevens involved from Button. King not going to peel the four or five suited from the small. Not wanting to go multi way here. Paul in the big. Has he got some ideas? Squeeze incoming. And we'll lose James Ram, but. I don't think James is the type to let the Jack Nine of Clubs go, and that's going to bring Paul Green in as well now, closing the action three-way. Nice size choice from Paul McCauley here. Nice, juicy 5X. Is this father and son, James McCauley and Paul McCauley? Um, I would just, guess so. Is it just the same surname? Um, I'm not sure, but I may be able to be guessing so. Oh, look at the flop for James. Pair and the flush draw. They're not related. Thank you, Cards Up. Cheers, Cards Up. Good to know. Cards Up. <laughs> Just the same surname. Gets it done and shows the Jack Nine of Clubs to the table. <laughs> Cards up. I'm guessing you know the pair. Yes, I will bring you up the schedule for GUKPT after this hand. We will indeed. Chenziting in the chat. Thanks for tuning in, Cheng. <laughs> Jack, uh, flop. Jack, oh, King Jack, seven, two downs. <laughs> Continue with his middle pair. And King not going to peel the gut shot. Two quick folds. So here we go. This is our schedule for our GUKPTs. We are in Luton next, then London, then Leeds, then a break, then Goliath at Coventry, then back to the GUKPTs in Luton, Blackpool, and the Vic to finish off the year. And also the 888s, if you're going to get involved in those, Manchester next week. Then a bit of a break to London in August. And then September in Leeds, end of September in London and October to finish off the season for the UKPL. Plenty going on. Uh, Picasso's name is Andrew Headley. His online screen name is Picasso. He's an artist, you choose which. <laughs> 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 
the same artist as you, isn't it? Terrible tipster artist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we had, we, had a, we had a bad week together, and you you're back what, the week after you backed them, nailed on. Oh, he yeah. said, he said you laid yeah, it on making money, on. making free money. He said it was a double. I can't remember the double he told me. He but. laid it on thick for you, and you believed him. There's a pull opens button, 8 3 off suit. That is getting after it. I'm going to run into the top pair of Paul Clements and really hoping Paul finds the check here because could have got a bet out of Paul for sure but now going to lose our custom up Paul just going to have to let the 8-3 go yeah. King Queen for James all aboard the limp train. Could have definitely gone with open, but I'm assuming wants the limp call. Paul Green and ISO, same hand, suited variety. Ace 5 suit for Picasso, thinking about potentially jamming. And Paul Clements, in the boots, again today. is very small however I guess it's the size we have to choose if we want to choose a free bet not all in we want to choose a size that doesn't give us a direct price if our opponent shoves on us for the times that we have bluffs as well balance all that malarkey bet with the 4.2 king queen of clubs <laughs> love to see paul find check here tower yeah love to see him find it we got less than one spr we can get it in over two streets even one street if we want you know, we're looking down at chips Shows him the king of clubs. here starting to hammer 24 but I think Phil may actually be south of that if I could see open jam here to how I feel is as short as I think he is if he's got like 8 9k in this stack let's just go with jam let's see what Phil was working with oh seven and a half even more reason to set him in 15 bigs effective
pose it. You're not going to fall asleep today. That's probably good. Yeah, a lot of people do, but no, I'm a fan. Apex suited for Paul, opens at 12. James Run here, Jack. Nine of spades on the bottom. Starting the ham at 28. Could just see Cool here. Let's play Cool. James wanting to defend with the Jack 3 in the big, or is it going to hit the muck? Keeps me guessing this man is going to fold. Who's going to be the first with a Westlife theme tune song for the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Green Eye Flock, Queen 7 5 up and down for Paul McCauley. Floating in position. Three clubs on the turn, so brings the flush draw as well as an up and down it. Yeah, so just expect Paul to barrel now relentlessly. Mm. May even just shove for 150%. Mm. It does go with double barrel. James lets it go. Yes, Mr. McCauley. It's a good nothing, It's a very good nothing. James, you're still Good job, we didn't ask the uh, comms box, <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Question regarding an XML file, whatever one of them is. I thought that was the size of a t shirt. Yeah. Extra large male. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody on YouTube in the chat answer Vanessa regarding an extra medium large file XML Pocket sevens for Paul. Let me share a hunts to be fair. Yeah. And I'm going to come to the chat box after this moment because I've got someone that can back me up now. Here's three, three flop. <coughs> Probably check, check now on the turn after Paul Seabet gets called on the hunt for showdown. Not folding out an ace, not folding out a three. I'll still ahead of some flush draws. Do expect to see check. No one's helping Vanessa on YouTube. Vanessa! I can't help, I can't help you either. Okay, so uh, Paul going to go small here to check that river. That's all this can be. So just checking back all rivers that aren't a seven. Little, it ain't. Going to be check, check. There we go. Check, check. Whoa, is he going to turn the sevens into a bluff? He's getting, nah, he's getting called here. Yeah, uh, for that really. price, he's getting called, that's for sure. It looks tiny. What's that, 26? Yeah, he's not not getting pulled to fold when he's getting four and a half to one. No. 
think he'll just ponder it up and eventually flick in a call. Yeah, I just can't fault getting this price. It's one of them cycles expecting to see a better race, but we only need to be right such a small percentage of the time. Be surprised if Paul folded this with what's in the pot and what's we got. What well, we got a call here. Well, um, there's a call. Yeah, nice call from there's Paul. There's a call. Come on, then. What's the story? Right, we have got yeah Mr. Bondy, Joe Bondy, in the chat. Hey, Bondy. Uh, Bondy. Not only is he the worst caddy of all time. He was also my partner at Happy. golf on Monday. Yeah, I had my putter out and he told me to put it back in my bag. He, was, he goes, excuse me, sir, you, you, you do realise you've got a putter out. We're 200 odd yards from the hole. There's a water in front of us. You, you, you got a putter? <laughs> so, Bondy's in the chat. This was the man that witnessed one of the greatest pars you'll ever see on a golf course. Driver, putter, wedge, putter. Four for four. Thank you very much. Four for four. The, proof, the proof is in the chat. He will back me up. It did happen. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> and, and he'll tell you, I even called the shot. And I put, he's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm going to putt this. Yeah. And then I've got my, my wedge in, my best club. And then I'm going to tap it in for, for four. <laughs> the um, scenes tower, the absolute scenes. Uh, Ace four suited for James. I would have liked to see three bet here from James McCauley against James Rand. Just the three bet call this off for just north of twenty. <laughs> the best played hall of golf I've ever seen. Stroke your next one, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when he told us the story the first time, Bondi, I tell you what, we we, we, we were aghast. We couldn't <laughs> believe it. The chat box went wild. <laughs> the club selection. Driver, putter, wedge, putter. It's something you don't very have. The, when he actually said, my second shot, I creamed the putter. <laughs> He says, I can't believe it, and I was there. <laughs> it was a good round of golf. Lovely day for it we got, though. We got an absolute boomer of a day on Monday. Nice. 16, 17 degrees, no rain. And James going to go for a second bet here. And probably what I thought Paul Clements was doing last hand, small size to just check back river. Assuming check, check, now in order. And do expect the snap check back. James Rang going to take it with the true paces. My mate Picasso, his distribution not been great. First hour of this session. Paul Clements, Ace Four suited, opens the 12. King Jack off here for Phil, probably just wants to fold this off for 15. I guess it's Paul Clements opening, so maybe we can actually do this, what he's doing, like versus LPMP. Seems like one that we would send versus an open versus EP. Becomes a bit more dicey, but versus Paul, I actually think I kind of like it. See Paul, probably be pipping 50% plus so far today. 
Therefore, there's going to be a lot of hands in there that do just get out of the way. Some nice removal with a king and a jack as well. He's going to call off with the ace four suited. And Phil can out. You're going to need to hit to start the spin. Here we go. Does he do it? Not on that flop, he doesn't. So, some runners. Straight possibilities, but king on jack needed. Queen not changing a thing. King on a jack needed. And it's nice. seven. Seven, Phil out the door. Well, lucky Phil. Fives. Ten nine in Greek. Terrible flop for both. King Jack Jack. And Picasso, I don't know where the good shot does make the call. Instantly goes 6 6, and the queen that Picasso gets there. So it's the straight. Not getting any chips off James, as we know, but. Making a call on the flop means he's going to get the chips. Whoa, the pocket five's cool. Wow, James. The castle just shit the lot. Shit the lot. A lot. He a lot. He didn't. The guy saw it in the middle pin. Well, they the got shot for the queen with a straight. I thought it was a bigger bet. But it wasn't. So Picasso up to 15k.
Is that a rocket Brian Davis is going on about? Lucy, like what's that? I don't know. Guessing a rocket. A Lucy locket. Don't know. No one on me. Is that in the Scottish slang book? I, I, I'll open it up and have a look. And uh, you know what? I love this from James. Absolutely love it because he's been doing a lot of limping. And if we're doing a lot of limping and we're incorporating limps into our strat, we need some of this in there. We need some big hands. We need some monsters. And uh, just snap, limp, re-raise. And it does show the booties to the table. And may actually give him a bit more credit now when he limps. It's going to be less isos going in. Lighter versus him. Thirty degrees in Cyprus. Lovely. Thirty degrees. There you go. That's above your comfort zone. I'll get my shorts ready, Mehmet. on it Ian Needleman. Evening Tower and Jay, just got home. Hope it's a good table tonight. Looking forward to Towers treble. Towers Edinburgh treble tomorrow. We're on it, well, Ian. What about my lucky 63 Aintree? Well, absolutely, that's always something to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah. Grand National Day. I'm actually going to go home. I'm going to have a good hour, two hour horse study tonight and I'm going to pick some absolute boomers tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. Alright. <laughs> I'll be on it. Yeah, you're, I'm sure you will. I will. In pennies. You'll be laying it. That's what you'll be doing. <laughs> Interesting one here, because blind on blind, one that I do expect James Rand to float. But it's a fairly big size from Paul, two thirds part. But I think our hand, blind on blind, just too good with position. Uh, he is going to let it go, and guess that's down to sizing. Decent fold was up against the top pair, top kick up. <coughs> he won the last two races at Cheltenham, let me tell you, Stephen. He won the last two. The other 46, yeah. he didn't. The last two horses I've backed the one. There you are, Stephen. I'm on a bit of four. The 46 before that, yeah, none of them won, but we'll forget about them. <laughs> Always look at the current form. Current form, exactly. You wouldn't see Tower throwing someone that's lost 46 in a row. In his oh, actually, you would. You usually do that. <laughs> throw, throw someone like oh, that. Oh, wait, to I can't wait. There's lossy mouth in it. No, they're no. not on the coupon. Not on the coupon. You don't find them on some some sites. Exactly, Stephen. All about the form. Seven of hearts on the turn. Ace ten still good for James. And Paul just gonna check this one down the whole way. I think once it's checked a river there, ten high as Paul, we gotta go for the double delay. 
I thought we'd see delay C bet, didn't see it. And then thought a double delay had to come in with just 10 high, but just happy to show down the 10 9. Same good for James. <laughs> the weather makes a lot of difference as well, don't it, for the old horse racing? Whether it rains yeah, so, or not. Yeah, I, think, I don't know what the forecast is for the entry to Mono Beach. Soft ground at the minute. It was heavy, to be fair. It's warmed up a little. Yeah, he could never do the way. Picasso will do the same. After Paul opens to 1300, lines up now, three and six. Paul Clements here, Ace Jack Seward, gonna come with three back. Really like the size choice as well, off of this stack depth, just north of 30 with position. Nice little 2.6, 2.7. Very tidy from Paul and other Paul, Mr. Green. It's got the Cowboys in the big blind. Beautiful. So cold four incoming. Probably around the 9k mark. Size I'd like to see. Yeah, tidy stuff from Paul Green. And now Paul Clements, unfortunately, sir. We have to let this go. As a EP open, we free bet. And now the big blind wants to cold four. Never doing it with a worse ace. Doubt Paul Green's ever going to choose to bluff this spot. Best case scenario, we face tens, which might not even be in there at full frequency. So it's annoying have to fold such a delicious looking hand, but going to have to see what he comes with. With the ace jack of spades. Yeah, fair enough, we know Paul likes to get amongst it. And amongst it he gets it. Honestly, very attractive price he's getting, but I think Paul Green always gonna have us drawing to three outs minimum. Oh Paul Clements gonna get himself in a bit of trouble because Mr. Green has flopped to set. Is he not a Cluedo character, Mr. Green? He is. He is. He's also Mr. Green. Have you read Mr. Green on Google? No. Mm. So 2.4k from Paul Green and Paul Clements calls. Now 40% pot left back. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. Wow. Paul Clements is out the door here. But he does have outs, yes. He has plenty. Ace is Jackson twos. And this is just pretty grim. Ace, Jack, Deuce. And he's not. <coughs> I can't see anything else. Oh, look at that, he says. He has to turn the cards over to see him as he's all in. Ace, Jack, Paul Clements. Ouch. 
Paul Green builds a nice stuck which is 77 kit. Always doing it, Paul Green. Always finding a way to get the chips. James Rudd raises to 1.2 with the ace queen and James McCauley is going to be calling with the king queen. Aaron King going to have a nice easy shove here with the ace king. Don't think we want to free bet not all in off 24. I think it's just going to be an all-in and a call from James. James Rand, that is, that will be calling. And two Jameses in the pot. Triangle in. James calling. And James McCall is going to get out of the way. What do you call this, Tal? When we need a word for it, when you're dominated in two spots. You can't hit a king, you can't hit a queen, you need to hit a king and a queen without an ace car showing up. What should we call it? I don't know, it's just... Not dominated. In trouble. In trouble, yeah. <laughs> Works. No, can't do it, Mr. McCauley, you can't. The Hotspur. The, the Hotspur, because it can never win. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good shout, cards up. Someone bar him. Where's Mick the Mod? Get him, get him out of the chat box. The Hotspur. How dare he? <laughs> Cheers, Buzzer. Can't use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Double domied. Oh, yeah, it does eventually fold. So the ace king, as James Wright, strangle now, going to need a queen. Some chop outs. So Jack, nine. And Queen needed to survive for James Rand. Queen for outright. Jack on nine for chop. Oh, oh wow. Just the Queen. <laughs> just finds the three hour on the river to get the double. And tough one to take for King. Now to three big blinds. The lady. On the end for James Rand. I was just saying about 
I almost talked to you to stick your talk in here. And I was like, hang on, I don't want him in here. Oh, I mean, it was so funny. You're like, I don't want you calling. It was the most honest thing ever as well. <laughs> I was leaving the rat. Yeah. It's like, he's well known. Uh, I'm not minding. I'm like, I'm just going to uh, yeah, I should be going Vegas, interesting videos, should be off to Vegas, haven't booked it yet, um, can't really see any reason why I won't be out there yet, usually book it a month or so before, so Vegas will be next stop that isn't work related. Actually, maybe not, because uh, Tower mentioned to me the week we got off in between Luton and Manchester, there's a little mortar festival going on. So, I was having a look at flights, they're quite cheap, I might pop out there for three days, not, not a long one, but just for like two or three days, something to do, ain't it? But I've got to get it through the uh, the chain of command, let's say, first. <laughs> Before mortars on the cards. Yeah. Picasso is just going to see that. Take it with the ace nine. Giveaway today, that will be the final session. <laughs> We've got lots to give away, another 12 tokens over the three days. So we're going to have to squeeze them in at some point. James Ace 9 off here. Do expect to see open the fact that we are six max effective low jump here, but does just choose to let it go. Maybe. Hmm. I'm surprised. I was thinking maybe a couple of reshove stacks, that's why, but King's only got two and a half bigs, only reshove stack. Could really be Picasso that will only have some sends from big, but that was just take the tighter approach. King is in the King 10 suited and is dominated by Picasso. for us for King Shuck we lose King unfortunate Ace King versus Ace Queen that was the defining hand 50 BB pot unfortunately couldn't fave three outs on the river and we'll have the option to re-enter if he pleases Oh, 
Yes. London Sevens and they had a dressing up theme and it was monsters and I went dressed as Jimmy Savile. Did you actually? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Nice, eh? Mate, All the, the guys loved it. Girls the girls were raging, yeah. But the theme was monsters, so... You, you did right. technically fulfil the remit. C5 reminds me of a TV presenter from the 80s. Not Edmonds. Can't remember. I think he presented Tomorrow's World. Flipping egg. Tomorrow's World was a great programme. It was about Tomorrow's World. And they, they predicted everything really well as well. So good. I can't remember who was in it. I know it's not Maggie Philbin because she was, how, she, she how was would, the woman. How would Stableford? Who? How would Stableford? Maggie Philbin was the woman, and I remember that because she's Keith Chegwin's sister. Oh, there was loads of presenters. Ah, there you go. <laughs> then it's not Peter Snow, surely. Raymond Baxter. Well done, piano cat. Ex-wife, was it? Maggie Philby. Oh, yeah. Keith Chegwin was Janice Long's sister. You're just saying names now. No, no. No, no. Keith Chegwin was Janice Long's sister. Didn't he um, do it with Dominic Nugent as well? Were any part of it? Oh. You're just, you're just shouting random names, I'm sure you are, so I'm going to join in with the, uh, yeah. the conversation. Richard Stilgore, that's a shout, Carl Guinness. I've called him Richard Stilgore before. I don't think Richard still go did tomorrow's will, did he? Why are you, why, why are you looking at me? He's gone, did he? <laughs> Richard Stilgo was brilliant on the piano, doing the old, uh, li doing the old limericks and all that. It was very good, Richard Stilgo. Uh, yes, Carl Guinness has nailed it. Uh, uh, Jay, any movement with your golf bets? Yes, uh, two are right offs. Matsuyama and Fagala, unlikely to make the cut. Uh, but I've got Cantlay and Aberg. Uh, I've done four bets. I had Matsuyama, Fagala, Cantlay and Aberg. So Aberg and Cantlay. Flying the flag. Flying the flag. Team Sweden and America. <clears throat> Paul opening King Lou Seward makes it 1300. James in from the small with a King Six Seward. Six, seven, nine. Let me call. James with the bottom pet. Might go for stroke. Three diamonds turn. for James. Oh, please check James. Please yeah. check. Try and get Paul to bluff at it. He has. And a snap call and a snap hand turnover. 
Love the check from James on the river. Kept the bluffs in of his opponent. This is why we don't lead, yep. especially against an aggressive opponent in the pot. And Cal Morial comes to the table. Oh, you ain't. Takes the seat of Paul Clements in ninth. Hello, Jello. Quasheron. Hello, Jello. What kind of name is Kalejero? From now on, you're going to be called C. <laughs> what kind of name C? Great movie. And I don't watch many movies. There's Davy Gallagher, legend. Yes. There's a program on BBC News Channel called Click. Very similar to Tomorrow's World, says Elderly Mania. Oh, BBC cheers. News Channel. Cheers, Andrew. Who watches the news? Joe, the only time I watch the news tower? The only time I watch the news uh, is probably when... No. I would say... To be fair, yeah, so, sometimes <laughs> I cat, cat, can, can catch a bit before me. I would say when you rarely. walk into the room and Alice has... What the, the, the only time I'll ever watch the news is when I'm staying away at a hotel and I wake up in the morning, I'm not sure what time it is, I can't find my phone, so I turn the telly on and the news have that clock at the bottom of the screen, don't they? <laughs> so it's like a personal watch. That is the only time I would tune into the news. <laughs> I haven't watched the news in years. To be fair, you thought, well, well the, the stuff you, still, you thought was still happening in the world on a regular basis. Yeah. The Queen was quite a funny one, to be fair, that was... Cow, <laughs> <laughs> mm. just going to fold Jack Tim from plus one. Interesting video says, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal and Tottenham in that order, 13 to 2, not a bad bet. Okay. To be fair, with Match of the Day these days, you can watch it on iPlayer straight away. Like, even if you're half hour late, if it's like 11 o'clock, you're like, really? oh crap, I've missed the start of Match of the Day. You can just go on BBC iPlayer, really? click on it, and watch it from the start. Can you really? Yeah, you can. Well, that's clever. <laughs> that's pretty clever. Kieran Cook, my team versus yours. Tomorrow, we've not gotten. You're on telly at home, half past 12. I thought we had Newcastle Sunday. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, 12 ha half past 12. Yep. 12. So when we start streaming? Exactly when we start. 12 .30. Obviously. I, I had a feeling it was Sunday, but. 12 30. Kick off. Where's it at? Um, is it at St James's? I don't think so. Yep, yeah, it is. St James's, what's the score going to be? 3-3. Three, three. I reckon... I reckon 2-1 us. Really? Yeah, I reckon 2-1 us. We always concede. You'll go 1-0 up, we'll win 2-1. Well, that's a good Paul squeezes up the ace-king from the small. Doubt Paul Green going to come along with Queen Jack off, but we'll see. Does get out of there.
Cal with the ace 10. We'll look at the diamond draw for James Run. And Paul Green. Card not showing again. And he's box five again. Could be the same card, we know that. And still best for Cal. Why has Jamie Nixon not played this? Because he's going to the Newcastle match tomorrow. He's playing here all week. He's played the eye roller. He's played the minute. And uh, he's not playing the main because he is off to the match tomorrow. Obviously final tabled and second in the high roller. Yes, I did ask that, Mel, if they were related. And I did use father and son. I did not know that. I, I, I hope James doesn't watch back the stream. Or oh, Paul, you don't know which one I meant was father and which one was son. <laughs> James Ron Ryan are gonna bluff at this here. <coughs> Big bet as well. 9k half of Cal stack here. Nine into eight, so over bet, 110%er. Mm. The thing is here, problem with for Cal is James can still have ace king, ace queen, ace jack that Potentially takes this line and goes for value, knowing that Cal would just lead his three X or yeah. boats. But he won't have many threes or fives in the time, will he? Yeah, but raising he can, under the he, raising, raising he can value bet the ace king, ace queen, this type of stuff though. But Cal does sniff it out, and ten nine of diamond shown. Cal gonna take it with the ace ten up to thirty five k. Nice hero. Cal up to thirty five thousand. Like we go three way to flop. James Rand just gonna play heavy check with most of his range to the imposition player. So still can have ace king, ace queen, so on in there. minutes to go guys that will take us to the final break of the day we will have a rotation of feature table and we're going to get those pies in the oven big shout out to Mel Simpson brought us in a selection of pies Suited. Opens from cutoff. Makes it 1200. Uh, I don't at the moment, Jen, 
What will happen in about five to ten minutes time, PK will come in the comments booth, he'll give me a sheet of paper and that will be in the next feature table. Players just heading out on break live. Obviously need to transfer chips from outer to feature. And when they are transferred over, PK will hand me a list of names and I'll let you know who we got coming on after the break. 20 minutes to go until then. Raising take, getting through. Let us know what prize you want. I'm putting one there, and then she's going to take it to the chat. <laughs> Oi! Well, we Supper got, time, we baby. We've got to choose the prize now. Well, you, well, it's breaking 20 minutes. Off, let's have a look. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm guessing that's one for you. Uh, more macro. Make the mods, mate. Where have you been? Make the mod. Right, uh, what are we going for? I'm going to have, sorry, two, two, two mac and cheese. Okay, here it comes. So we'll chop them. Two mac and cheese. There you go, that's two. Uh, Donna and cheese. Oh. Now you and PK. Oh. That's another two. And then, shall we chuck a lasagna in? Aye. That'll do. Go on, David. Beautiful. I think you might have to ask Mikey, he might want a preference. Oh, I'll go, ask him. go on, ask him, he's on a break in a minute. Supper sorted for the team, thanks to Paul Camel. <laughs> I've also got uh, a £50 token earlier on by winning one of the uh, Tower and Jay things. Surprise me. All that for surprise me. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll chuck a random one in there. Stick one more on the on the tray. What have we got? What is that? That's, yeah, I don't really. Biopud steak. Is that biopud? That's what? black pudding and oh, steak. Pudding. Boom. There you go. There we go. We'll pass that. Thanks, Mel, for all the uh, for all the pies. Poker Mel comes in with the supplies, and we're going to get them on the break. Hey, Bob. How are you? <laughs> How are we doing, Bob? I'm fine. <laughs> nice one, make the mod. Playing live poker on the break at the moment. Nice one, make the mod. Good luck, and we'll see you. Uh, <laughs> see you soon. You didn't win the giveaway, Bob. I'm sorry. Thanks, Mel. Mel says in the chat, enjoy. We've uh, we've got uh, one of the members of staff to give them to the. Uh, Chef and he's going to warm them up for us. And our break is in when? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, perfect. Go take them to the chef tower. 15 minutes for the break, perfect. It's what it said on the packaging, Kev. Buy pud steak. I just read it out. My pudding stick. <laughs> hey. 
I'm not running serpents from gun here. I used to do suitor for cow. Cut off one could potentially use as free bet bluff. Call okay as well. Gonna make this up four way with the fours. Ten, nine, three. So on first glance, Paul Green with the best in it, but unaware of Laurinus's holding here. Out of position to cap. James going to call with a dummy and gar and backdoor diamonds to go alongside it. Looking for a seven. There's a queen of hearts. Uh, gar turned double gar. Jack now working for a straight as well, though it would be to the dummy end. Potential to be up against the king and lose a decent sized pot. So if met with a second barrel here tower, should be hitting the mark, the 8-6. James agrees out the way. Paul Green, 120 bigs with the wind at 3 6. 10 minutes to go until the end of the sesh. Frank's got his big bag on. Wandering him out again. <laughs> 14 in the turbo. Yep. Six for James out of the way in the cutoff. James McCauley gonna open button. One we can free bet here is Paul at this stack depth. Call gonna be fine as well. Does have the additive of keeping dominating hands in. But we'll have a little mixture here. Starting the hand. 60 plus makes it 52 does take it down Paul Green nice stack to have you'd be happy taking that through to day two with 60 plus bigs watching this stream is missing me missing work at the Maybury working in the card room it's a great place to come How many times today have we seen this hand? Just lost count. Completely lost count. Over 15 for sure. Yeah. We nearly hit double figures first session of the day. Is he getting any action? He is. Paul going to defend 10-5 of diamonds here. Facing the two and a half exa. here we got gut shot backdoor diamonds for Paul and one that could potentially be used once in a while as a check raise as a bluff 
will be calling most of the time, but I think it will be in there at some frequency. And Paul does go after it. Sorry, I thought we had 10 6 of diamonds. He's got 10. Oh, I'm just thinking, where's he got? Yeah, he's got 10 5 of diamonds. I, I had it as 10 6 of diamonds in my head. I've looked back up his hand, and that, that, that 5 was a 6 a minute ago, Tower. I'm telling you, that 5 was a 6 a minute ago. Uh, ignore that. Does go for a check call with the back doors. Eight of spades on the turn. And Cal picks up nut flush draw to go alongside his aces. And one that could potentially check here, Tower. 8x advantage from the big blind. We can keep our range wide and perhaps induce some bluffs on the river. And Cal doing Cal things just in case. Ace of diamonds on the end. And we are going to get a bluff out of pool here. Doesn't look too big, but 1900. Six, seven minutes. Two of the break. Ten seven for James Ramp. James McCall, he looks down, he gets out of the way. Paul Green with a jack four, and we're doing anything with that, the old flat tire. Couple of fours on the bun. Raises to twelve and Paul. Couple of kings. Making it 5k, nice big size and choice out of position. Morris. Oh, we didn't go 5k, you actually went smaller, a lot smaller. 38 from the looks of things, 32. Tiny. Lorenus comes in with the fours. The fours connect as well. And Paul McCauley is going to do chips. All of them. I think Tower. Just going to call here as Lorenus keep bluffs in. The usual. We've got position. Don't want to raise and fold out a hand like Ace King, Ace Jack. Want something to catch the top pair catch a piece that they'll continue barreling on. So good to just see the call. And clean as you like for Paul. Just looking so good for us here. We're thinking, yes, we're going to get it against Queen Jack, against Queen 10. King Queen, although we block, Ace Queen maybe, that didn't elect a four bet rip. <coughs> Two SPR. Fires for half, just under. Oh, he doesn't. Slightly less. 3.6 here from Paul. 3.6 into 11.6. So just shy of 30%. Setting up a pot size river jam. Needs like an ace of hearts or something along those lines. A queen actually would be a great card for him. It's nice too. Yeah, just good night, Paul. Have to go for the values. It's just so dry as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. 
Well, he's going to choose a not all in size in here, so. These spots are so weird. So, so strange because you sort of get yourself in the rabbit hole because Laurinus is going to jam here and Paul's got 8.8k back. So Laurinus is never jamming a queen, he just calls. So therefore, once he jams, we never have the best hand as Paul and no one ever bluffs this spot. No one's going to bluff once they give Paul that price. But this is where we get in the rabbit hole situation because if no one bluffs this spot, Surely you should start bluffing this spot because no one bluffs this spot and everyone knows that. But everyone calls anyway because yeah. of the price we're getting. And look, there we go. Paul just snaps it off with the kings. But I find them such strange scenarios at the poker table. When you bet most your stack and someone puts you in, giving you a ridiculous price on a call, it's never a bluff. And we know it's never a bluff, but we always still call anyway. Yeah, <laughs> And he puts all his chips in, I'm still calling. They can't have the best hand, surely. Speaking of force, Mike Leonard. Uh, ace Queen should go in pre there, right? Button versus small. So Ace Queen shouldn't really be a thing. And if it is in there, maybe, I guess, one hand that we could potentially beat. But I think that just probably just calls anyway. But yeah, Mike Leonard, exactly that. In theory, it's a good bluff spot because no one bluffs there, but everyone calls anyway because of the price. It's like, oh, no, it's never a bluff, have it. Chuck it in. Yeah, nice hand, <laughs> off to the cash desk. But if you could actually find the opponents that recognise that it's never a bluff and do actually fold at a high frequency, if there's many out there, then some exploiting to be done for sure. And just a call from James. Yeah, little block on the end from Cal. And this is going to be the final hand with less than a minute on the clock. Colin Gillen's in the building. Da -da -da. Turbo. Turbo. Uh, oh. So is this the last hand? Uh, it is. For sure. Last hand of the sesh. And then a 20 minute break, back at 10 o'clock, final session. <laughs> James McCauley gonna be betting. And then just calls. There's the race.
So James, so everybody's off for the 20 minute break. Yeah, and this is getting through, not calling off just south of 20 with A6. We are going to take 20 minutes, put some pies in the belly, and we will be back at 10 o'clock with the final session of the day. Lauren has never call in here, it shouldn't be at least. Just maybe trying to let James know that he's not opening light. But there is the fold. In. See you in 20 minutes, everyone. I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. Oh. Look at that! <laughs> it always happens, is it? The Queens! The set of Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Tens going, oh, he took some straight in, straight in, he's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is, oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, and, it, and it, do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, oh no, he hasn't as well, he's 5-3 for Tim Slater. And that was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. With the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here, sort of ten needed. Or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth, and it's a nine. He is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Oh, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green 8 2. That is that it. Is it? We have a champion. champion. Have double champion. Go, Mr. go, Stu go. Rutter. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Five. Fantastic, well done.
I don't want to say a jack or a six. No! Jeez! Gentlemen, on Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history! <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been. And people are still buying it. Kings and clubs and queens fall on the end.
shout in the stream. There is the shout in the stream. Let's go, he says. to 44 players as it speaks and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest Goliath Thanks ever. A lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, it goes well. Keep Thanks it going. Lot. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Hi, Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yeah. And making good plays, so yep. I've been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your table today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can, especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, all, that's always what you need. You, it, can, you, can, you can manipulate that, but 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44, and then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can I'm dream, excited. can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Paul, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all-in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
And we are back, guys. Another two hours of poker will bring us up to close for today. New featured table coming up. We'll run you through the players. Callum Hamilton in one. Abdul McKit in three. Yusong Tang in four. Hock Lai in five. Steve K in six. The Westlife Barry sporting the hat in the seven seat. Barry Greenan, George Wyatt in eight. And Alan Jacobson in the nine seat that's the table we've got for the next couple of hours comms cam not working at the moment of poker Barry Whitehead in the chat Westlife Barry on the feature rumours are he's wearing the underwear with his face on them too I don't I don't doubt it Barry I don't doubt it so, your song I'm going to kick off If, is that an open? Is it a limp? It's the big blind. That's what that is. I thought the button was on Alan, but Alan obviously just moved to the table, not dealt in this hand. So it's going to be George on the button. Open it. Raises to 1600. And Abdul in the big. Abdul finishing second in this event last year, losing heads up to Ludo. So looking to go one better and just sets George all in after his button open. And George, quick fall from him. Time and we're on till tonight, uh, round about midnight. Midnight sounds good. Midnight. How's everybody been? Break over, last break done. Mel, unbelievable, thank unbelievable. You. Thank I, you. I had more than I should have had, Mel, but thank you very much. I even tried the lasagna one, I branched out from the mac and cheese. They were great. Thank you very much. Oh, are we back live on uh, Facebook? Everything. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing we're down on Facebook, maybe. So I'll put the message out to PK. <clears throat> Abdul, nice, nice sunglasses, bro. Good to see him on the table. And a decent stack of 70,000. 
Oh, look who's on the table. It's seat number six, seven. Westlife Barry. The Barry. Unfortunately, what's that? We can't show ourselves because the comms cam's not working. What about now? <laughs> what about what today? About? <laughs> we had joy, <laughs> we had fun, we had Barry in the song. There he is. <laughs> there he is. The Westlife Barry. <laughs> We've got him. Look at this as well. I've got to show this. This is great. Look at him there. There he is. Centre stage. Westlife Barry. <laughs> hey, yeah, <hey>, yeah. <hey. laughs> And every time he wins a pot, we might have to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pocket freeze for Abdul. Opens on the bun. Over to your song. <laughs> He's five off, maybe thinking about going for the free bet as a bluff, but just gets out of the way. And hot kit. Yeah, I like this from Hawk. I think 30 slightly too much to shove a hand at this stroke versus button open. Want to try and get some induces in here from some worse ASEX, some King Queen, some suited Broadway, King Jack, King Ten suited perhaps. And even freeze here for Abdul. Wouldn't be surprised if Abdul just said the words, I'm all in. Pocket pair, button versus big blind. At 30 effective, we open button, big blind free bets. You'll see it be sent in from time to time. These smaller pairs in this dynamic is just going to let it go. Gives Hock. Credit for a hand. So funny as well, Tao, because we're obviously on break. I've quickly put my stuff on. I've quickly popped a loop before we're back. I'm walking. Bob, the valet, sees me, looks at me. He goes, he's walk we're walking past each other. He's like, what? Well, he goes, I'm not going to use it. What the are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is what I got from Bob. That's what I got from Bob, the valet. <laughs> and he didn't know the legend of this man. Where is he? This man. This man on me at. He's even on the back, believe it or I mean, not, as well. Scotty two, Scott, Scotty two stacks. He's on the back as well. Oh, Look at that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Poor bloke. He thought, you know what? About six months ago, I'm going to try this live poker stuff. I'm going to do a bit of traveling. I'll go to Leeds, see how I get on. First time. He comes and plays. He gets ridiculed on the live stream because he's the number one Westlife fan <laughs> in Scotland. A month later, his mum comes in the chat and says it was all a lie. But he's stuck. And here he is under the gun, Queen 9 suited, opens the 1700. And he actually came in with the t-shirts with Barry Westwood as well. <laughs> uh, Barry Whitehead. Abdul going to mix in a sneaky little flat here. Does have some merit to it. Has the addition of keeping in stuff like all the ace XU here, the ace jack off, the ace 10 off hands that would open from gun, king queen through king 10, this type of stuff that would fold to a free bet. So one of the positives of just flatting here. I can obviously just go for free bet and Steve going to say in, oh, okay, I know why Abdul was flatted here for this exact reason. Because he knows that Stevie K, short in the big, knows that he will move in some of the time. And when he does, Barry will call whatever he's opened. And now we get to reopen the action. Here comes the action. <coughs> Reopen up. 
Mitch what size Abdul wants to make it and he's just going to go with Jam and Westlife has to get out of there so Stevie K going to need a 6 Good luck getting out of this one, Steve. Exactly. And off to six. Oh, oh that one! one. Then, <laughs> where does that come from? <laughs> Still needing to fade the works, clubs and barries. And, and does. Wow, you see that flop? I'm already at the car park. <laughs> Stevie K, more than a treble. Wow. Now he's got. 16 bigs to work with. <clears throat> On face it, Facebook's going back on in about uh, 30 seconds. I'll have the unders. Have the waist nine off, gonna open from hijack. Defend 10 3 off. Not looking the most. Uh... So puts on his loose shoes. 8 8 deuce rainbow just to continue from Abdul. And Westlife gonna float the 10 3 off, so bop bop baby! <laughs> <laughs> King of Hearts on the turn. <laughs> And Abdul, ace nine high. King will be better for our range, but not folding out an eight. We'll target some deuce X and some better ace highs that didn't elect a three bet, like ace ten ace jack from the big. Is Abdul gonna fire the other barrel? And to be honest, if I was Barry sat there, someone with them sunglasses on, when you're looking like that, gonna be difficult to to continue against a man in this attire. <laughs> But forget that double float with 10 high, Barry Greenan. And the Queen of Spades, the check marks Abdul's, but uh, Barry's having none of it. Has to lead River, right, Tower? We're not That's floating 10 high twice to check River. Look at this guy go. Full hand was over on the flop, but Barry <laughs> making things evergreen again. <laughs> and now the ace nine of Abdul. Just can't call. We need specifically this to happen. Barry has to float twice and bluff River. Like, you just can't call with Ace-9 high. Gonna have to hit the mark for Abdul and what a move from the Westlife. <laughs> like, our kicker doesn't even play as Abdul. Yeah, has to fold. What a boss, Barry Green and Westlife Barry with the hat on. Oh, we're going to enjoy this session. Uh, we've got one more giveaway coming up this session as well. I've got two 30 euro tokens to give away, so okay. we'll probably do that about 11 o'clock. Uh, when I've run out of Westlife puns is probably when that's going to happen. <laughs>
the song Queen. Ten off. Probably close to break even open from hijack, but I think you see a lot of players choose to open that one. Maybe something to do with the two reshuff stacks behind, which actually makes sense. We've got Stevie K and uh, George in the big, both with stacks that can go for shove over our open. Uh, we have two more hours. Yeah, round about midnight. <clears throat> and Vanessa says, where can we purchase the Westlife Barry merchandise from? You need to, you need to speak to Barry Whitehead. Barry Whitehead. This time next year, Barry Whitehead will be the biggest selling merchandise <laughs> person in the whole of the world. Everyone's going to get on board. He's going to be a millionaire this time next year. <laughs> um, George raises it up with the Jack Six. Callum with Ace 9 Good opens to 2k. See you later, Bob. Thank Cheers, you. Bob. We had joy, we had fun. Oh, <laughs> we did. And the raise and take for Callum. I don't want to get involved. song with the ladies. It's 18. Barry Green and out the way. Do the same. Callum going to defend 5 3 in the big. Got the chips to come along and look at this for a flop. Queens and a flop boat and trips for Callum. Oh my <coughs> words. And this is going to be huge. It depends how it's play tower. Uh, because your song will probably check this back fairly high frequency, but he's going to find the bet. Just against big blind range, he's just going to have complete whiffs when we block the top pair and it's a paired ball rainbow. There's not much to get called by. So the fact that he has opted to fast play this and is met with a raise, it could be the lot now. We start the hand 100, well, 90 effective. Uh, this is set up central. And always call it now as your song. We're not going to three bet here. Simply because once Callum raises his range for value raises, it's going to be a 3x, maybe some strong queens, but we block that heavily. And then he's going to have bluffs, which are just fold into the to the free bet on the flop. And we want to keep them bluffs in. Something like four or five of clubs. We want them to turn a flush roll. We want them to turn an up and down. 
And the six of hearts is the turn, ringing the flush draw. Uh, Going to be difficult if I'm Callum to get all chips in by the river, but I think we want to go fairly big now, bringing a backdoor flush draw, and it's going to go for the overbet here. 15 into 12.8. And then your song just going to continue, or at least should be, just call in with the ladies. Keep bluffs in of our opponent. If he's got a three, we're going to get the money anyway. And like, if you're sitting there as Callum now, tell you're like, lovely. My opponent's got aces, they got kings, they got ace queen, they got king queen. We are winning a biggie here. But. Unbeknown to him, your song sitting here with the nut bow and calls again with position. And now is your song going to be guessing the lot? I'm guessing he is. There's the all in and there's the snap call from your song. And we hate to wow. see that as Callum. We hate to see the snap. We know it's the ladies, maybe sevens. Well, not sevens, maybe sixes. Sevens with full turn, but as soon as we get snapped, we know we're losing a biggie in your song up to 150k. What a hand. Not much to say about it, Tower. No. Cold deck. This run out. You do very well not to double your song out, no matter your song up, no matter who you are. Hundred and fifty K at this stage. Two levels to go. Four, eight and five one to finish the night. They're gonna have a giveaway at eleven o'clock. So just 20 in the turbo. Hundred and seventy-three total. Day two binds. Plus the rest of the turbo. Plus if you want to chuck it in with the blinds at four eight with twenty mix. Uh, with twenty thousand stack. And Razor Kev has just bagged a 1k live credit. Very nice indeed. Well done, Kev. Some fantastic value on there. Some great satellites for the live credits. They are brilliant. Evening, Jim. Jim Marlow comes to tune in. You want to see what Jay's wearing? You do. You want to see it? Wait well, he comes back with the tees. You want to see what he's wearing, man. Five into 30 into 110 into 1K. Fantastic, Kev. Well done. Four five seven flop bet two point one from Barry. Alan calls. Now we get a check from the Westlife. With the night. <laughs> if it's a Primark V neck top, I'll get the beers in for the weekend. <laughs> 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 
He's on his way back in with the teas very shortly. Wait till I tell him. <laughs> no idea. So the river. Jim Marlowe's entered the building. I says, you I said, just you wait till you see what Jay's wearing. He says if it's a Primark yeah. V-neck jet top, he's gonna get the beers in all day. <laughs> Got the hat on. <laughs> the Westlife Barry merchandise has arrived in Edinburgh. <laughs> look who's look, who, look who's in Westlife. <laughs> just great. Whoever photoshop that. Whoever's doing that photoshopping. Oh. Unfortunately, Jim, you've joined us uh, half hour into the session. I've used up most most my Westlife puns. I've I've shot too early, but stay tuned because there's a few left in the locker. And here he is, the Westlife with the Ace Nine. It's in the nine on the river, but. Uh, <coughs> And Barry White had in the chat. All my own work, guys. Well, Barry, you've got a business proposal. People in the chat want the merchandise. Where can, where can they buy it? Already asking. Where can we get the Westlife Ferry <laughs> T-shirts from? You might have a little business plan here, Barry. Yeah. You just see next GUKPT, GUKPT loot, and Barry will be set, out, set up outside the casino <laughs> with a stand <laughs> with all the Barry Green and merchandise. And, and if you want to sell hundreds of t-shirts, get Barry Neville involved. Because <laughs> he can sell from the back of his, back of his car. <laughs> oh, that's great. Gonna let it go. <laughs> so the last session of the day finishing round about midnight. Back tomorrow at 12.20 with day two. 1K per hat, says Barry Whitehead. <laughs> <laughs> Who sang You Raise Me Up? Was it not Ridian, 2007? Got through judges' houses with Sharon Osborne, and then next thing you know, second week in the X Factor, he was singing You Raise Me Up. You remember Ridian, X Factor 2007? Someone in the chat's got to remember Ridian. No. <laughs> Ridian, X Factor. X Factor 2. Do you know like Japan, South Korea, World Cup? Oh no. It's like another one of those. I've got these weird every like year, there's something. There's something I remember really well. 2007 X Factor. Ridian got through Sharon Osborne, judges' houses. She was his coach, and he sang You Raise Me Up. I remember. See, Jacob remembers. He did Dancing Queen for his audition. <laughs> what, on his own? Yeah. There was four that sang that originally. <laughs> I'm glad someone remembers. See, every now and again I come out with these uh, these blinders tower. 
Ridian looked like something yeah, out of he Twilight. Did, he did. He, he had didn't have white spikes. Yeah, he did. did he? he did. You remember him now, don't you? Oh, my word. <laughs> he does. We got him. Oh, my <laughs> word. But I don't know who originally sang it. Westlife and Ridian are the only two I know. Ridian? He never, he never had a hit with it, surely. <laughs> He never had a hit, surely. I'm pretty sure he did. Ever. <laughs> the things you hear on these these streams tower. <laughs> if you're watching Ridian, <laughs> did, did you have a hit? Seventeen years ago. <laughs> oh man. If I had a sat if you would have said there was a guy on X Factor with white spiky hair, who what was his name? I would have still been sat in this chair until Edinburgh <laughs> next year to come up with a name. Let's just try and find him. Wow. There we are. <laughs> X Factor 2007. There you go. Ridium Roberts. Hang on a minute. 2023 announced retirement. <laughs> From what? <laughs> what Tesco's? song just shoving button yeah very effective behind and hock with a nice easy call well, i like to call this yeah you, 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 you just told me so why this chip leader you're doing handstands and cartwheels tower because yeah. the great thing about this your song doesn't shove tense yeah so he's going to have all the smaller pairs hands that we dominate so effective yeah just always going to have the best time with nines yes sometimes we got to win a flip Three. As good as it gets. Absolutely. Just fade in the West Life on Turn or River. Oh no way! Barry! Wow! Making an appearance. So Ow. down to two outs. Yo, you do the right thing and you call correctly. And you get unlucky. Unfortunately for Hawk, your song up to 174. Uh, King uh, Harry asks, how many big blinds does King Shook have? He busted just before the break. And Barry White says, interesting fact, Ridian actually has a tattoo of Westlife, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Blast from the past, that though, Tao. You never would have heard that name again in your life if it wasn't for me. It's amazing, the human brain, isn't it? Uh, you can now remember who it was. Gonna do a giveaway at 11 o'clock. Got plenty to get through, so I'm gonna throw two tokens out for the next one. Why are you doing it? What's the plan? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Can we? Can it be a tower, things? Well, like if you want it to be. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have a tower, things. We might flick two morning to close out the day. We could easily flick two morning. Do one each, it's only half past ten, we've got 90 minutes. One at eleven, one at half past. How's that? Okay, that sounds fair. Oh, George opens the 1600 from Gun and your song has a glance over but lets it go. Oh, 
everybody. Just to get out of the way. Oh, one of the best tunes ever on the uh, system somewhere near the bar. I just thought of something. Oh no. Imagine the people that are sat at the table. Let's say your song, for example. He's sat at the table, he's unaware of all the Westlife Barry drama, and you've got a picture. You you see someone across the table, and they've got a hat on with, with themselves winning a poker tournament. Because I, I know what I'd be thinking if I was your song. I just literally thought of it that moment. If someone sitting there is unaware of the Westlife Barry scenario, I'd be thinking, who is this bloke with a picture of himself winning a poker tournament on his hat? And Stevie K going to shove for 12 over Abdul's cut-off open. Doubt Barry's going to be calling off fives. Seems like a close one here for Abdul for 12. And you like an ace nine suited, a king jack suited, pocket fives. I know Barry had five, so very unlikely. And it does let it go. Stevie K takes it. You're spot on, Jim. This is what I'm doing for some people. He says, I wonder how many Google searches Ridian and Noradine Nabet would have gotten over the last couple of years without this stream. I am keeping them afloat. That's a cork and Noradine Nabet. Only Moroccan ever to score in the North London derby for Spurs. It'd be, I tell you what, it'd be an amazing heads up final battle if it's Westlife Barry and seat four because it's got the best line your, your, ever. Your song, Barry. You could tell everybody <laughs> this is your song. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Elm John versus Westlife Barry. <laughs> You're going to get one of your song's mates coming in the chat now going, actually, he's actually got a tattoo of Elton on the back. <laughs> and here he is again. What a session it's been for him so far. Started with around 60k up to 174. Obviously had that huge cold deck versus Callum in one. We're going to be opening with the tens. And we've got Will I Am in C3. <laughs> it's the glasses that do it. No, 
not the best flop in the world, was it? Your song with the tens and a flop of Jack Queen King, but it does have an open end. It. There's the king. Not the best go for Alan either. Yeah, you're gonna hate that as Alan with the Queen Jack here. Song decision point here. We'll just take a free one or potentially turn this one into a bluff. And I think this is the best way Taking to a free one, absolutely. proceed. I'd love to see the one BB with the intention of free betting as a bluff here from Alan. It would be so sexy, but it's just going to go for bet. Makes it 2.8. And it does go small. 30% up, just shy off. And nothing. Your song beats now with pocket tens. We actually block the hands that we would beat. Some 10 8, 10 7 suited, this type of stuff. So can't see how we ever get to pay this off. Got the chips, but for do would be surprised. He was coming in here. Let's get out of there. Flop 10, 6, 5, bottom pair for Cal. And the flush draw for Barry. The nut flush draw. Callum does have a piece facing 40%. Gonna take one off. Eight of spades on the turn. Some leading here with the bottom pair. Gonna have some advantage of straights. Three of hearts on the river. So Westlife just with ace height. Callum now checking with his fourth pair and it's Barry Green and I'm gonna bluff at this, he's not. Five good for Callum. Not the run out we're looking for for Barry. minutes we will move to a giveaway
George Robins, 16. Abdul defending 9 6. Flop King 10 3. Chet raise here from Abdul. Getting after it. And he's going to get George out of there. Nice little move. We done a master's question earlier, Jim. We did. You weren't tuned in for the giveaway earlier. He goes, as it's master's week, Jay, do a tower thinks on bridges. I've been watching the golf all week in case tower asked the question on bridges. <laughs> to Callum on the button. We'll just fall into the opening range. Seven seven rainbow. So check small bet over to your song. Don't know what he's working with. He's for the forty percent. Up does Callum. Someone will be making their way to the feature. Yeah, the juice of that. Be going straight in the big blind. Whoever it is. Move from the big blind. Oh, I've got a couple of hands here. Might have been a table break. They're the worst ones when you break the table. You've just gone through the blinds, plonk under the gun. So you're some cool links. They're going to get to play this one from Callum's perspective and does pick up up and down on the turn. I think one that we probably do just want to check and realise equity though. We're not folding out a nine, we're not folding out a seven. If we get check raised, we're going to have to fold our hand and not get to realise our up and down. That is going to barrel. I guess we, we do fold out some ace highs that call once versus button. I guess we target that part of your song's range, but this 6 also have an interaction with the 6-8, with the 8-10, 10-6 suited. Hands that aren't going to be folding. I think we just target such a small proportion of 
your songs range that's going to be folding the ace highs maybe the jack 10 the jack 8 that does get it through nonetheless so I'm guessing your song just with ace high maybe jack 10 jack 8 200 bigs at this stage it's amazing massive huge So the final one level and ten minutes. Around about midnight we finish there's obviously a certain number of hands at the end of the night. Uh, usually four, five or six. There's the button. In play in seat number six, name not been inputted, but is involved in the hand to make it. Putting in the name. <laughs> and it's Nick. Nick comes to the table and says, We're going to call with an ace. They very well were three betting to six point four. I thought they were two green chips. What we were just calling that. Six point four. And we're gonna see a flop. Jack, Jack, King, Flop. That's a re redraw for Abdul in C3. Three point six to call for Abdul. He does have the back door royal. <laughs> so he does make the call. Two of hearts on the turn. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Is that another song title? <laughs> <laughs> Picasso grabbed me. He's just busted. Uh -oh. One and done. I said, you're flicking in the turbo. He goes, no, I think uh, I'm just going to head back. So I was just having a little chat with him.
three bet pre from Nick. Call from Abdul with ace five. Bet Nicole. How far is Longmouth behind? Your song Crazy Shove A7 off. When did Hawk bust? That must have been a good 30 minutes ago. Indeed. Yeah, it's the shove you, you, you know, I don't know why I'm speaking, you're watching on 30 minutes, 30 minutes behind, but it's one that you'd see at final table from the chip leader. Say if we were at an FT, your song was massive chip leader, lots of ICM pressure, yes, I could get behind it, but at this stage, it does seem a lot of BBs to be putting in the middle. And I'm going to be moving to the giveaway, guys, in about three minutes' time. And I've got a question in half a tower. Yeah, it's a tough one, Stephen. Like, you can jump back in, but you've only got... 20 or bigs, it's like 25 at the 800 level where blinds are going up, they're already up live. So yeah, literally you'd have 20 bigs. And uh, it's an awkward one. Some players will, some players won't. open brave one with your song on his left but haven't seen much from your song in terms of aggression pre so if our opponent's not attacking us still obviously would fall but Abdul liking to get in the mix and going to be a nice easy all in for Steve going to be a fold just some saving face here he is again where's the west life where is he there he is so i can climb all mountain <laughs> you raise me up so i can turn the sea. <coughs> Where are we coming from? Well, we're going to a giveaway. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's giveaway time, guys. We know Abdul's always folding. If you are watching and you're new to the stream, need to run you down the rules briefly. Simple as this. I'm going to ask Tower a question. He will write down on his piece of paper. Two closest guesses to Tower are going to win themselves a 30 euro token on Grosvenor Poker. One guess per account. Any multiple guesses, I will pick up on it and you will be disqualified from this giveaway and all future giveaways. And do not guess until Tower has wrote his answer down. I don't want you giving him any clues. Right. <laughs> right. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so, Tower. Why are you laughing? In 2007, Ridian Roberts oh, appeared on The X Factor. When he was knocked out, a few months later, he released his first album, which no, was didn't. called Ridian. That was his first album. No, he didn't. What I would like to know is how many sales was there no. for Ridian, the album? I'll give you 10, 15 seconds. We're Absolutely looking for... Absolutely <laughs> zero. We're looking Not for any. How many sales for Ridian Roberts for his first his mom, album? His dad, his brother, his sister, himself. Sharon Osborne. He's in. Good luck, everyone. He's got his guess in. Ridian Roberts, first album. Ridian, and actually only album, I believe. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I, why do you sound surprised? Oh, can't believe it. He only had one album. How many oh. sales for Ridian Roberts' album, Ridian? How did you even come up with that? Well, I just thought I'd go with the, the norm. God, oh, man. Good. It's not a good question. <laughs> I think it's, it's a great ridiculous. question. Ridiculous. 
Can I just now? Now I've wrote my answer down and probably made a fool fool of myself. Why did he actually do well in X Factor? Yeah, he made the final. He sang "You Raised Me Up" with Catherine Jenkins in the final. Did he? Yep. Catherine Jenkins, he the sang, opera singer. He sang "You Raised Me Up." I, I think it was Catherine Jenkins. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty clued up on 2007 X Factor. But I'm pretty sure it was Catherine Jenkins. Wow. Uh, Kev, the question is, uh, Ridian Roberts' debut album, Ridian, how well, many sales? Ridian Roberts. <laughs> Nobody knew his surname. Nobody. <laughs> Back to the action. George all in for 15 with pocket eights, ran into the queens of Stevie K. So, going to need to find a snowman. Well, George is out. They'll check the stacks because they're very, very close, no matter who wins this. It says George is at risk, and we'll find out now. Yeah, we'll definitely find out. Uh, it was 2008 that album was released, and it's me answering the question. I, I answered the uh, question. Uh, it's, Tower, it's Tower answering the question. I asked the question, sorry. Mr. P. Man, if that makes a difference, the question is, does anybody know even who Ridian <laughs> is? How can you forget Ridian? He was a legend of the X Factor, and he's up now with Wagner. Who? <laughs> Wagner. You, you must remember Wagner. Wagner. Yeah. No way is Wagner a thing. <laughs> Roy Seifer is in the box. 5,100 in writing. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Jamie Walden knows. You know, Brazil, Brazil's three, he ranked third on Brazil's three most famous people behind Pele and Ronaldo. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Valerie, you have no idea. I have no idea either. But if you Google 2007, just Google Ridian. Ridian Roberts. R Y D. E-O-N or something like that. It comes up with a guy with bright white hair. It looks like something out of Twilight. Pocket twos for your song opens to 2.3. We'll still track the action as it goes along. I agree, Jamie. He was a legend, old Wagner. Were he the one that looked like Engelbert Umpenink? I don't know who that is, but... What? I don't know who that is. You know who Ridian is, but you don't know who Engelbert Umpenink is. <laughs> That's got to be a made-up name. <laughs> That's not oh a real my. person. You <laughs> can tell me how many records Ridian sang, whoever he is, but you don't know who Engelbert Umpenink is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who Engelbert Humperdinck is. That... <laughs> That can't be a real name. <laughs> That's not a real name. I'm not having it. Uh, your song with deuces. This stack depth should be folding. We'll see what occurs. It's gone pretty mental in the booth for the last <laughs> session. <laughs> what I would do is wait, wait till my reaction. Yeah, that's probably your best bet. That's what I would do. To be honest, anything over 10, you'll be surprised. You you thought it was just his mum and his family that bought, that bought the old... Uh... <laughs> yeah, bought the lot. question is, uh, Ridian Roberts, 2007 X Factor finalist, his debut album, Ridian, how many sales <laughs> did it have? The, the, the thing is, I actually don't think there's a debut album. I, I really don't. There is. <laughs> it can't be. Oh, man. Your song did go with call. I'm not sure about this one. Maybe it's okay because it's cut off versus hijack. 
may sound pretty crazy, but I'd probably actually prefer Jam over call for South of 30 in these two positions. Now off the check check flop now is going to have a small turn probe. And after this hand, I'm going to reveal the correct answer, see if we can give you any clues. It's whether I burst out laughing or not when the real answer comes on. And he got to the final of X Factor? Yep. Okay. Not many people have sung a duet with Catherine Jenkins, Tower. That is true, to be fair. To be fair. Can you imagine trying to have a conversation with Jay at the poker table? He doesn't realise that the Queen's died three months before, but he knows Ridian's back catalogue. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, TM. And Nick going for raise here. And this does look strong. Check back flop, raise in position. And doubt your song is going to get to continue here. The thing is, Tower, like, when I was at school, my brain was like a sponge. Everything I watched, saw, I just seemed yeah. to remember really well in detail. Yeah. But as I got older, my brain sort of selected what I wanted to remember. I couldn't tell you much about X Factor any other year other than 2007, because it was the only year that I think I recall watching it. Uh, but enough of that, because we are going to go to the correct answer, and then we'll give you five minutes to get your answers in. So, poker face at the ready. Debut album, debut it, debut album. The only album. For Ridian Roberts, which was Ridian. called Ridian, sold a total number of 600,000 <laughs> copies. What? 600,000 copies. No way did he ever sell 600,000. He must be skint. 600,000 copies of Ridian, the debut album for Ridian Roberts. Never. 600k tower 600k i'm not having it I'm not having it you've got a minute get your yes in oh man oh what's the song we uh diane jenkins on it Catherine Jenkins. Catherine Jenkins. It might have been. It oh might yeah, have been. Diane Jenkins was my next door neighbour when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Evening Diane, if you're watching. <laughs> Evening Diane. Queen Temp Allen, blind on blind. Looks like gonna get aggro, goes for raise. 600,000? Yeah, 600,000. Nobody's ever heard of him. Yeah. God, there were some nutters around in to, to be fair, I, I bought 10 of them copies. He bought the <laughs> other 690. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no. See, I said wait until you got a mind got to tell off me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so Callum here, race 10 suited. Both options available. At 40 effective. I think one thing that's key here for Callum, once we do go for the free bet, have ideas about what we're doing against a four bet already. As like I'm even blind on blind, I'm not going to feel comfortable calling off 40 BBs with Ace 10 Seward, especially in a live setting. It does just go for free bet, and Alan going to come along with Queen 10. So you'd after the next hand, give you the correct my answer. <laughs> yeah, for those asking, the question is Ridian Roberts' debut album. Ridian, Can how. Just call him Ridian. No, he's called Ridian Roberts. I wouldn't go around just call. Oh, I do call you Tower, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you can yeah. call me The Tower. The All Tower. Right. The Tower. But Ridian Roberts' debut album. Ridian, how many copies did it sell? The actual answer was 600,000. We are looking for Tower's answer, though, and we will give you till the end. Off the riffle. I won't say end of this hand, just in case someone's just tuned in. We'll give you a minute, 60 seconds. And we will close the...
Chomp. Jack Seward for your song. So we'll give you till the end of this hand, guys. End of this hand, then I'm closing the comp. Don't insult me like that, TM, please. Jeez. Do you remember the winner of 2007 X Factor? Don't insult me like that. It's one of the best winners of all time, if not the best. Draw McKeldry. Leona Lewis. Was it? Everyone knows. You know, Leona. Hallelujah. Yeah. That was that was Alexandra Burke, just to let you know. <laughs> that weren't a Leona Lewis, but good try, good try. You're looking for bleeding love. Maybe. That's what you're looking for. Maybe. I'm not sure if she actually sang that in the final, though. Might have found it. <laughs> Ace Jack Seward, Abdul, going to be defending, you expect. Yeah, she done a moment like this as well. Good shout, Mike Leonard. So which song won it for her? I'm, I can't remember which song, but it might have been a moment like this, actually. I think it was a moment like this, coming back to me. And then Bleeding Love was her first single after she won. You know, the Christmas number one stuff. I'm guessing. And look at this. When we're this deep, we got trip jacks. We've got a straight flush draw. Could all be kicking off here. Who was her mentor? Can you remember who her mentor was? A mentor? Yeah, do you know like Sharon Osbourne was really and you go to judges' houses? Yeah. It was the best judges' house to go to. That would give you a clue. Weren't it, it, weren't it her out of that group? Her out of that group? No. no yeah. She's, she's not, not a singer, she's just got a famous sister singer. Oh. She never sang, I don't think. Oh. That should help. You know about Danny Minogue? Yeah, Danny Minogue. That's Kylie Minogue's sister. What, she was a... She was a X Factor judge. She was a mentor? Yep, she was. Danny Minogue's had about 15 albums. No, she hasn't. Back to the action. So, oh, it's a diamond on the turn for Abdul. And this could get juicy. It depends on the option that your song takes here. Obviously, Big Blind going to have plenty more flushes but I think our hand's still too good to just be checking back. Still potentially want to try and get free streets here. for 4k 40 percent are in i think as abdul here we want to make this pot larger and there is the raise and only option to go for your song is cool here this is tiny though here from abdul I would have expected a bit more meat on this one out of position. But it does make the decision nice and clear for your song. Should just be cool it. Calls a 5.3 just with trip jacks. The nine ten of diamonds for Abdul is leading at the money at the moment. Does it pair? Do we find the ace? The river's out. It's the nine. So Abdul 
with the check mark with the flush. And this is why I like going bigger on the turn here now, Tao, because we want a lot in the pot to get value on the river. So I'm guessing me 4.3k? <laughs> and I guess your song might think about raising against this size. But it does just go with call cool and wow, Abdul could have got so much more there, Tower. Abdul's probably left a chunk of big blinds on the table. So what's the under or overs on Danny Minogue albums? Uh one, maybe two. I, I didn't actually know Danny Mo Minogue was... I didn't actually know Danny What Minogue. did I say? Uh, how many did 15. I, how many did I say? Danny Minogue released 13 albums. See, I, I honestly thought Danny Minogue... I knew Kylie Minogue. And I thought she was on X Factor at the time because of her sister. And was just like a joke. Danny Minogue released five studio albums, eight compilation albums, 28 singles. I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't tell you one. And she doesn't sing. So anyway, well, less of that. Simon Cowell don't sing. Louis Walsh don't sing. <laughs> oh, they're absolutely correct. It's like, this is, you get people that judge, not that sing, right? Who did, who did Louis Walsh invent? Uh, Jedward. Westlife. Did he really? Yes! Oh my word, Barry's never told me that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to close the comp in about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. <laughs> so get your final guess in if you haven't had a guess. On how many albums does Tower thinks Ridian has sold? And if you don't know who Ridian is, he was in 2007. Oh my word, you're spot on. I've just read something and it sort of kicked something in me. Yeah, TM says the winner was actually a guy called Leon Jackson. Leona was the year before. He's right because they had that brother and sister act in the final. I can't remember their name. They were a brother and a sister, like high school musical. Someone will tell me their name. You're spot on, TM. You're actually right. It was the Leon well, Jackson, the small, small scouse kid, I think he was. Weren't Michael and Janet Jackson, was it? And Ridian finished second, and I think the high school musical brother and sister were third or fourth. You're spot on. My apologies. <laughs> Good thing I weren't on Mastermind with my chosen subject. Would have looked the right idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> King Forsui for your song, Free Bets to 7.9k will be working. Same difference. Thank you very much, Douglas MacArthur. And there you go. And there we go. So we're going to close the comp in 10 seconds. And he weren't Scouse, he was Scottish. <laughs> same thing, I can't under understand a word either of you say. So it's the same thing, Mark. I so can't basically, yeah. you know, cock all about <laughs> X Factor. <laughs> Them two years, it's sort of mashed in my brain. Five, four, three, Two, oh. one, stop the clock when the comp is closed. Let's get rid of this it was silly question. It was 17 years ago. <laughs> I've done well to remember Ridian and the high school musical brother and sister. Same difference. But yeah, um, Leon Jackson won it. Ray Quinn was from Liverpool. Uh, yeah, he was. Oh, was he? He still is. But Scottish, Scouse, same thing for me. So like, the struggle, <laughs> struggle with the ear, like, same thing. <laughs> so anyway, the comp is closed. Sorry about that, we waffled on a little bit, but uh, that was quite entertaining. So, so Ridian apparently had had a few sales. Yep. What were it, 600,000? 600,000 Ridian had. He's, he's, he's added a note on that, hasn't he? He has. He must have done. He's added a note on that, he certainly has. Uh, but, we will have a winner because uh, I... I had no idea. I really, really, really had no idea that Ridian were going to sell, but <laughs> as he got to the final... He got runner-up in the X Factor, he's got 100,000 people voting for him, of course he's going to sell albums. Well, as he, went, as he, as he got to the final, I didn't realise he was runner-up, and I, I honestly never heard of him, and I don't think he ever got played on Radio 2, so I went randomly for any number I could think of, 
and I went for 71,000. 71,000. That was it. No, no, I no guessing, no working out, no thinking logically, nothing, literally. 71,000 was a number, and uh, that was it. So I was miles out, but... Uh, two people are going to win tokens. Yes. Uh, one person has locked one up who guessed 72,500. That was Winster on Twitch. Well done to Winster. Uh, and we got a tie for second. Oh. Mike Walker and GS Sean guessed 75k. Uh, so Mike Walker and GS, if you're in the chat, I need a red or black from you. First guess will play precedent. And we will do the next flop for who gets the token. Dominant colour, red or black. So Mike Walker, Gia Sean, red or black. Winster, I need your alias on Twitch, please. Go, go, go. Give us the... Gishon says... Red. There we go. Says red, so, so he's in the red and Mike corner. Wa Mike Walker is black. Mike, you're black. G. Sean was in first on Twitch, so Mike Walker, you're black. G. Sean, you are red. Dominant colour on next flop. Oh, that was a mad 20 minutes. Thanks, Winstar. Congratulations. Well done, well done, well done. Wins to call is wins to call. Yeah, see here, Walsh. Welsh had 77. So we're on a red or black flop when we get one. For the other token. Imagine making yourself look so silly to claim you know a lot about a 2007 TV series and you can't even get the winner. <laughs> and it was the 2006 series you were going on about. <laughs> At least I didn't start singing Hallelujah when I said Leona Lewis, to be fair. I like that one. It used to be good, The X Factor, though. I remember back in the day, it was like Saturday night TV, everyone would sit around the telly, your family... You'd all watch it. Can't wait to do my question on 2006 X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie K off a of 28, King 6 off, Abdul been <laughs> relentless with the opens. I'm just going to show the ace. We might have to. We might have postpone your, uh, your question tower till tomorrow. We've got 35 minutes left of the day. Okay, that one took 25 minutes. <laughs> what happened? Popeye always better, says Ian Roberts. <laughs> and Tower's revenge tomorrow. I'll ask the 1990 Rotherham Strikers question. <laughs> Not even a team, though. <laughs> 1925 we were born. Stevie Key in the small. A couple of boots here, and this should be getting in pre tower. This is one we do want a free bet, not all in off of 27. And probably going to be around the 7.5k mark, maybe 8 around there at this stack depth. We want to make it a size that if we were bluffing, we could still get away from it. 
does go slightly smaller. Moves for six and a half. And your song with clear as day jam. Pocket eights, cut off versus small. 27 effective. Should be an all-in from him. Frank's back. He's still got the bag in his shoulder, still got a pint in his hand. That pint's been glued to his fingers for the last 12 hours. He's got one of them special bags, you know, it's got like a little pump in it with a small <laughs> little tube that just fills his pint glass up. <laughs> Be lucky to see Frank without a point. So there's the all in for your song. There's the snap from Stevie Key. And for someone that was down to 3k, if you recall, Tower, King Six Suits, Stevie K. He was he swapped was indeed. dead to two outs. He pinged the offsuit six on the offsuit turn. He trebled up. He then doubled up and now got a chance to be up to just shy of 60k. What a spin this could be. This is a good so far. <clears throat> Needs to fade. An eight. And he gets a much needed double. Boom. The boots hold. Nice double. Just reading back up through the chat because I missed some stuff when the giveaway was coming on with all the answers on. Jay Perko, I do remember that. On Harry Hill, remember Wagbo, the love child of Wag well, Wagner and Susan Boyle. On Harry Hill, <laughs> and they come out and they were fighting on Wagbo. I do remember that. Wagbo. Wagbo. What a great show that was back in the day. Harry Hill's TV Burke. Fifteen odd years ago. And Jamie, spot on. Tower. Love how you had a problem with someone being called Wagner, but you're totally comfortable with a guy called Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> <laughs> That's who my question is going to be on tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Better do some research on old Engelbert this evening. About 30 minutes to go of the stream, guys. Around that, big thank you to everyone that's been tuned in. Thank you to Barry Whitehead as well for the Westlife Barry merchandise great bit of merch there he is there he is look, look at him it's just perfect you wouldn't even know that he was photoshopped in would you you wouldn't I didn't think he was <laughs> I actually thought he bought a Westlife I just thought of something. Uh oh, we missed the red or black flop. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. And so did everybody else. We'll do it now. We'll do it now. Next hand. We will do it now. We will do it. Don't don't go checking back. Oh. We're not. We, he said, he, that was a false alarm. Uh, Mike Walker, you are black. G. Sean, you are red. Yes. Uh, next hand, as this one's a raise and take. <laughs> ah, Mike's already said. Did I get the token? I'm guessing. Oh, is it, is it? Let me go back. Let me go back. I should be able to. I've got the times that these were posted. You I got the tube. I can, I can see. Yeah, I can see what. You got the tube. What flop it was? It was the uh, all ink flop, wasn't Six it? Minutes ago. So there we go. Black, 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 black. Yeah, it was you, Mike? Good shout. Mike Walker, alias in the chat, and yet you will have the to token. Commiserations, G. Sean. Well done, Mike. And there's actually no. There's no way you can even argue it because even the flop yeah. before that was black. Yeah. And then the, when we said it, when we were still doing giveaway, it was a red flop. So nice one, Mike. Well done to Mike. Just need the alias you play on under on Grosvenor Poker, and we'll get that sent to your account some point this weekend. Your song with the Ace King.
10 10 deuce, two spade board. And I think one that can definitely check is your song. One of these boards, another one that do tend to see as overly C bet, like big blind gonna have a 10x advantage, gonna defend all suited 10s, and then like 10 7 off plus. completely different if it comes 10 deuce deuce because the deuce x does reduce drastically and then obviously we can't have more c bets at a higher frequency but another one of those boards that i think players just sort of are happy to continue on not actually realizing that we'll do some checking it takes it down nonetheless that's the chip leader Still need your alias though, Mike. You can't just say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Need your alias so we can credit you. And then anybody who wins tickets, let us know how you do with it. Got a couple of decent caches. Andy McKenzie's coming to the table. Oi, oi, McKenzie. Go Goliath final table last year. He's going to Vegas this year. How do you get on the feature table? Uh, play the tournament, most importantly. Random draw to start the day. And then tables chosen by the floor staff and our social media guy, PK. He'll help pick it if we have characters on it or chip stacks or sponsored professionals, anything like that. And that's how you get on. And every session we have a change. So we have five different tables every session, every day. So tomorrow's draw will be for day two, and we'll have a random draw at the start of the day to pick the feature table, and then they'll get chosen by the floor during the day. I think it's Eagle. Okay, Mike, I'll put Eagle down, uh, and then tomorrow, if Tom starts crediting some, it will let us know if it's uh, alias or not. Alias Ridian underscore Roberts. <laughs> But do you know what? This live stream mm -hmm. has probably created the first 20 plus Google searches for Ridium Roberts <laughs> over the last five years. Five? Fifteen. <laughs> 
People will be downloading his album on yeah. Spotify tomorrow. He'll be thinking, he'll be saying, where's all this money coming from? Who's buying my album? Who's been talking about me? Here we are. Sass. What a session for Stevie K. 3K comes to the table after the break. Nearly 2,000% stack increase. Don't mind that at all. Basically, feel like a free roll, these ones. So the last half an hour is upon us. So many hands at the end of the night, whenever that'll be. We'll pause the clock and find out how many hands he'll be. Good to have Andy McKenzie. Come on, Andy! Little video of the Goliath. For Gareth makes it 2k. Last <laughs> oh, 30 minutes of the stream. For Gareth, unfortunately, no hold cards for the other two. Continue. Abdul calls with position. Abdul mentioned it earlier. Comes second in this event last year, losing heads up to Ludo. Gareth joins us for the last half hour or so. Heard some good things about this man from Ireland. Bit of a youngster. Plays some good poker. I think one to look out for. He's going to grace us with his presence for the last half hour of the day as King of Hearts rolls off on turn and even two way here seems like a very tasty double barrel here for Gareth even in a multi-way situation once we bet into three players like all this King 10 King Jack stuff that Abdul may incline to float heads up less likely to float in the three way coup with someone behind and really big fan of this double barrel here from Gareth just north of half it just puts all the 9x, the 8x in the cage already. Jack 10, Queen Jack, Queen 10 all going to have to get out of their hands that will be in the corner range of Abdul. But Abdul having none of it here. He's going to call once more. 
of its estate. Who hasn't insta folded here? Let's let it go. Let's see what uh, Gareth's got in mind here on the River Tower because it's going to be interesting on a on a black river card. It's a two of diamonds. So Why does it always have to be so easy? <laughs> Why can't we see if the man's Gareth got the, the triple? I wanted to see the triple, but now we just have to bet the nuts. Yeah. It's so boring. I'm just betting the nuts. And that looks heapy. 80 percent off on the end, just north of. I love to know what Abdul's got here. Sets with just one chip. Eight nine suited would probably just one chip. So. Maybe he's got the king high flush draw here. Interesting. Could have a hand like king queen, king jack, king ten of diamonds. Could be in there for Abdul and thinking just going to be jamming. But he's got the look like he's not posturing tower like it's cool or fold. He's posturing like a man that still has raise as an option. But now I think this sort of turn around, look at the screen think that would suggest to us that doesn't have king x of diamonds and thinking about calling or folding and he is going to pay and gareth gonna cement what looks like the chip lead yeah he just flicks him in the muck unfortunately we didn't see what he had but uh flicked them in the muck and gareth 118k and now on 208 with the pot We beat some turn calls, here. I'm saying probably check check in a brick, ace jack of diamonds because he still beats some turn calls, but we don't beat many. We don't actually beat many because the the front door diamonds for Abdul, there's not actually much in there that's uh, other than king. When we have the ace and jack of diamonds, it's literally king queen of diamonds, queen ten of diamonds, king ten of diamonds, and the king x is obviously a hand we don't beat. So one combo we don't beat of diamonds. And then the, the backdoor hearts is only going to be jack 10. Same, same, jack 10, queen 10, queen jack. So literally only three combos there as well. So it's not actually too many combinations that we do actually beat. The three combos of worst flush draws. Well, the one combo, let's say, because the king x uh, we're behind to anyway. But And then... The backdoor hearts is only going to get there in the manner of the jack 10, the queen 10, the queen jack. Very slim amount of combos. So I think we probably would have seen the triple. Obviously open to interpretation. Only Gareth will know. Takes a huge one nonetheless and probably good for a chip lead and a GUKPT seat to go alongside it. And here he is, Westlife Barry, Ace King, 34 bigs, one that want to go for the free bet, not all in with, try and induce something from your song. Yep, you raise me up to 7.3. Yeah, nice juicy size in, I think very good, probably on the nose for this stack depth. And your song, got a tidy one to potentially peel if we're deeper, not sure he's going to be peeling. When we are working with just north of 30 effective, 35 to start the hand. I'll probably just toss this one into the muck and say to Barry, I'll see you again. <laughs> and thus, nothing's going to change, Tower. Nothing. All the puns are still coming. <laughs> I have a dream that Barry's going to win this.
around about 20 25 minutes to go until the end of the day get a certain number of hands to deal when they pause the clock Just flat and ace queen on the on the button. Well timed flat as well. It's Callum with the ladies here and Westlife going for the squeeze. Raises again, three bets to nine K this time. I hope he's got a hand tower, otherwise might be going home. Is that one of theirs? It is one of theirs. They sung home. They done a rendition of home. I expected a round of applause for that. I didn't even know they'd done a song <laughs> called Home. <laughs> he did. I've All got... in. Triangle. From Callum with the Queen. Stevie Key's got the Ace Queen. They'll go in the muck, unfortunately. Yes, they will. Because he's got 48 bigs and 40 bigs for tomorrow. And um, the Westlife is going to say, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Clock should be pausing any time around now with around 10 11 minutes to go. And then we'll draw for the number of hands. Yep. Barry Peel's King 10 suited on bar now in, in the big with a couple of craps. Defence. And off this hand, we will be drawing for a number of hands to play. Is it going to be four, five, or six? The deal has been uh, shouted. Get me a few haggis on Sunday. How's it pronounced? Haggis? Haggis, yeah. Haggis and fatties are probably the most haggis. Queen, Jack, Jack, flop. Up and down for Barrett. <coughs> this is your song. Checks. Three point one from Barry. We've got two year song. Yeah, nice from Barry. 
assuming you get an eight high out of there, maybe an under pair to the queen and jack. And that will take us into the final four, five, or six. 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 Funny, that's great that because it's very relevant to me. Stevie K got to pick the last card. He picked five. Yep. If it was six, hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five. If it was sorry, if it was four, he wouldn't have been in the big blind. But now he's got to play the last hand in the big blind, and he was the man to pick four, five, or six. This is one of five. One of five. <laughs> Stevie Key's got a big smile on his face, knowing he doesn't have to put a big blind in. No, I think he does. I think no, he this does. Is, That's this is one of five. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, of course. So if he picked six, yeah, it would have been the other way. What a life for Stevie Key. Gareth opens to 2K. Check the flop of ace, jack four, two of hearts turn. Uh, it's plus five sticky the cut for the masters plus five and if I'm lucky it might get to plus 14 and me man Rock might still be in mm -mm. have you ever seen a cut at plus five uh, don't think I have I do not think I have Yeah, plus five. There's fifty. Uh, it's fifty in the ties, and five over makes it fifty-three players for tomorrow. Fifty-two players for tomorrow. So John Rom, who's five over with three to play, is hanging on. He was one of the favourites, wasn't he, John Rom? Yeah. And Tony Fino and Wyndham Clark and Justin Thomas and they're all five over. So three to go. Three to go. Great last session. Really enjoyed it. Concentrated on the poker when we've had to, but been a real ball of laughs in the booth. We've got a community that loves us. Oh, yes. We really have yes. proper community. We've got a community that brings us in not so much chocolates, biscuits, donuts, where uh, uh, things, pies, and everything else, but merchandise. merchandise. Yeah, that's it. We've got merchandise on. We have the best community in the industry. We do. We do. Everyone that tunes in. Whether it be on the regular or whether it be just once in a while, always great to have the support and the chat do make this job so much easier. That's why we always try and give something back with the giveaways, yes. with the tokens. Indeed. 
So Callum opens on the barn, makes it 2.2. And Andy McKenzie here versus Barn. Eights will do some free band, especially at this stack depth. And this is one time we will be doing. Perfect size as well, literally. He's found the money size, 9k. I was going to say around there. Very nice for Andy McKenzie. Spot on with the sizing. I'm going to take us into the penultimate hand of the day. <laughs> Turbo still running. If you fancy your shot at this, can still buy in tomorrow for day two. Chip counts for the day <laughs> in two hands time. <laughs> Cheers, Gav. Sorry we couldn't get any golf in this time. Hope to be up in May at some point before we all depart for Vegas. That's the plan anyway. But uh, we'll try and get up either May or early June, see what happens. I know we've got Leeds on in June, but before we go to Vegas, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we, the country starts to dry out. That would be nice. would be nice. Yeah, one that can go for free bet here, hijack versus car. I think this is perfectly fine at some frequency from Callum, but just gets it shoved in his face from Alan with the good form of Big Slick. I thought direct day two binds were stopped. Nope, not Marlon Dingle. They can bind to day two. So final hand of the day, guys. One more end. And then closing up shop, but back tomorrow. Normal time, 20 past 12. Stand. Gareth would have had 10 8. Pocket six is for Andrew in the cutoff. Opens and Nick with Queen Jack. So we are going to go post last hand. Seems like pure defend. And off to the streets. So we're we'll bagging up after this final hand. Cheers, Sticky41. And Gav Patrick. Yeah, thanks, Call the Fish. Everybody else. Vanessa. Been watching Vanessa. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa says, I'm curious about this treble thingy. I'll be there on the dot. I'll tell you what, Vanessa, <laughs> keep being curious, okay? <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> Curiosity. Killed, killed, the cat. killed the cat. What a great band they were. Yeah. What, killed the cat? Curious to kill the cat. Oh, what, they were the they, band? They were a, they were I a, thought that was just a saying. They were a band in the 80s. Well, it's too yeah. late to start a debate, so uh, I'm just going <laughs> to move on to You're the just gonna nod. Yeah, just going to nod. <laughs> just agree with you this time, yeah. Curious to kill the cat were great in the like, in mid-80s, about 86, 87, something like that. They were brilliant. And, uh, Nick's got one here. Turn in. Misfit. A fluff draw. Could do some leading here as Nick. And like, maybe versus cutoff is kind of close. But we will have a lot more flushes in this scenario as Nick. So is okay to lead? I think it's fairly close. If this was versus plus three or below, I'd love it. I'm not sure about cutoff specifically, who still will open like the 5 6 of diamonds, the 5 7 of diamonds, the 6 7 of diamonds. Gonna have a lot more flushes as well, but we will have some more flushes, so don't mind this from Nick and Andrew. Over to him, tough task, 
to call here with sixes. We do have the diamond in hand, but can be drawing dead versus a turn flush. And I agree with the fold there. Difficult to continue. And Nick refuses to show. That is that for the day. That is it. There are the chip counts. And Westlife Barry has bagged. Da -da! There he is. I mean, we've got to get him out again look, tomorrow. Look, look, I've got him in between our heads. <laughs> and there he is. The threesome. The threesome. <laughs> that banana armor. There we go. All bagged up. Gareth McMahon, 209,000. Andy Orchard's had a good day on 136. Ludo, uh, 25.9. He bagged up. Uh, Dan Gormley's bagged up as well. Callum Gordon. He's all, uh, and, and Cal Morial, 63. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Wow, yeah. Turns up, spins a bullet into 63k. Off he goes to day two. Yeah. Standard Cal. We've got another champion in the field, Luke Porter. London winner, leg one this year. He's bagged a decent bag. Paul Green. Paul Green. He's won this before. 2016. He has indeed. So we've got two champions, four Luke, champions. Ludo, in, Ludo won it last in, year. Uh, Edinburgh. So we will have a full collated chip count tomorrow when we start at 12.20. Will we see Westlife Barry on the feature? Will we get this out again? <laughs> oh, will we not? Anyway, we will see. Uh, thanks, everybody. What a good laugh for day 1B. Uh, it started early, and I know it uh, was a little bit uh, slow to start, but we've had a good laugh all the way last, through. Last four hours today. It's been terrific. super, super. And I, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. And uh, a lot of people say sometimes you can, you can talk too much poker, and sometimes you can talk too much about X Factor 2007. <laughs> Come on, the Ridian Roberts. Especially, especially in the wrong year. Ridian Roberts. <laughs> No, Ridium was 2007. I got that bit right. Ridium was 2007. I got the winner wrong. Leona was the year before, but brilliant. It was a long time ago. We will see you tomorrow from 12:20 when the team return for day two. How many make it through the turbo? How many bangs do we have for day two? You will find out as soon as we start. Thanks for tuning in all day long. This has been a great day on the live stream circuit. From all the team, we'll see you at 12:20. Ta ta. Good night. I finally won something. Like, are they mine? Yeah, they are. Oh, hold on. Give your bags in your seat. I think they are. Like, I've never won a sat before, but I have won money playing poker. Like, it's not. Good luck tomorrow, guys. Good luck, everyone. I hope you got the seat. I did, I did, yeah. How much do you bag? 209. So bad. At the tram store. I have no idea. There's fucking bollocks in that table. There's the adrenaline in one place. Yeah. Never, never played like that before. Yeah. What'd you get?